everyone, welcome everybody to Main Day out here at the 35th Annual Pro-Line April Fool's Classic, brought to you by Eaton's IRCR and obviously Pro-Line. We also have TLR, Team Associated, Reedy Power, ProTech, RC, Hobby Wings, Savix, Racer's Edge, Shell, Focus Lids, Mod Live Media, EFX of Mobile De Detailing, LMR, and Mod. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are getting everything dialed in here for some awesome racing. We have 62 races to get through today. Starting us out with 13.5 Pro Stock 4-Wheel Drive Buggy D Main Event. I'm sure there are going to be a couple bump ups going into the next ones. Maybe cameraman Chris knows how many bump ups that we have. Two bump ups from each race. And then I do hear that there's a special caveat for a lot of these guys that are out here. The bump ups, they will only get... Um, they will only get their main and then two A mains if they get into those A mains. Um, so with how it works and how many classes that they have, it's impossible for these guys to be able to run all the lower mains and all the A mains and push those guys in. So they get two mains. So that's kind of a bonus for the guys that automatically made the A. They're going to have a little bit less people. Thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys really enjoy the coverage today. And um, it's going to be a fun one here we have a couple guys in this one it looks like it looks like three i would just bump all of these guys yeah it looks like they're, these guys are all bumping yeah that's how i would do it so they're gonna already bump it they didn't even go yet <laughs> so they're gonna bump all three of them not actually racing so they're going so i will step off real quick guys and i will talk to you guys soon enjoy the racing enjoy the racing thank you guys okay marshall stay out there up now to be race number two next race number two 17.5 super stock and if i can get the three drivers that were in that quick little bump up race um, I need all three of you out to help Marshall, please. Or the ones that can't Marshall, I need you out to help Marshall. Okay, up now, race number two. You don't need Marshall. Oh, that was race number two. Race number two is up. You guys all made it the bump. So I didn't see what race number you guys are bumping to. Okay, truck, let's roll them out. I need somebody at the top of the stairs, please, from that last race. Jackson Bailey. Or from, watch straightaway, guys, watch straightaway, watch straightaway. Mike Craven. Scott Foskater. Ryan. Josh DeRacota. Okay, straightaway is closed. Daryl Ma, are you here? Daryl Ma, are you here? Here comes Scott, and I know Dan's on his way down there right now with his truck. Okay. Your lineup for this one, your starting at the one spot is Dan Paul. I know he's on the way down there. In the two spot is Scott Maynard. In the three spot is Sugar Muffin. In the four spot is Mike LeBan. 
Guys, we're, we're, we've got a grid, so pull up. Dom's going to help you guys out and get set. That's the two box. That's the... That's three. In the four is Mike Levan. In the five is Josh Dakota. In the six, Daryl's not going to make it. We'll leave that one open. In the seven is Jackson Bailey. In the eight is Ryan Boskinner. Close enough, I think. And in the nine is Scott. Who's that truck in the back? Richard. Oh, Richard not checked in. He's in the 10th box. He's in the 10th box. Richard Steiner. There we go. Okay, I believe I've got all my drivers in this one. I need a marshal from that last race. I have three. I need one of you to the top of the stairs. There's 10 trucks in this. Oh, Footy, why do you move your marshal spot? Come on, Footy. Okay. Footy's going to the top of the stairs. <laughs> Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing at the sound of a tone. This is our first official main event in the 35th annual April Fool's Classic presented by Pro Line. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Watch the end of the rhythm, watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the triple. Work together, guys, work together, work together, work together. Keep it clean, keep it smooth. Out front, it is Danimal, Dan Call. And the two spot is Mike Levan. It looks like it's Jackson up the two now. It's Dan and Jackson. Remember, guys, we are bumping two, bumping two. Work together, work together, work together. Watch the triple, guys. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Your leader can call. Run that X ray, XT2. Yellow, green, and white through the rhythm. Jackson Bailey looks like he's running a 22 T. Solid white ride. Mike Clavan right there, right behind him. Looks like he's running an associated truck. Watch sweeper, guys. Watch sweeper, watch sweeper, watch sweeper, watch sweeper. Those are the leaders working with you. It's Dan Call out front. Hot off the race is Mike Clavan. Work, work together, guys. Work together. Watch in the straight. Watch in the straight. Go wide on sweeper. Go wide on sweeper. Go wide on straight. Go wide on straight. Tough break there for Jackson. He got his little map trap. He knocks him down to third. It's Dan Call out front, still just cruising away. It's Mike, or Dan, Mike, Jackson, Sugar Muffin, Scott, Josh, Richard, Ryan, and Scott. Watch the rhythm section, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Watch burn, watch burn, watch burn. Somebody's playing with some light switches over there. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Dan Call is still your leader. Going through the rhythm section. Second, not too far back from him. Your leader down the straightaway now. Watch straightaway, watch straightaway, watch straightaway. Good driving. Oh, tough break there for Mike. <laughs> Tap the pipe up front. Watch up front, watch up front. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Tough break there for Dan. Jackson Bailey jumping into the lead. Your leader down the straightaway solid white truck. Second place is Dan Call, the yellow, green, and white truck. Remember, guys, leaders come up on you. Give them some room. Thank you, Joel, for getting Mike fixed. Tough break there for Mike. He lost a lap on that one. 
Drop back, right back on track, right word, right in between the two drivers he went off track with. Watch in the triple. Your leader, solid white truck coming into the rhythm. Second place is Dan Call, the yellow, green, and white truck coming through the rhythm. Third place is Sugar Muffin. Let's find him on track. He's coming through the table down the straightaway. He's got about a straightaway to make up on second place. See if we can get a battle for the bump spot. Second place is the white, orange, and teal truck coming through the rhythm. Your leader getting around, getting on the straightaway. We got a battle heating up for the lead. Going through the stairs, they are nose to tail. Work together, guys, work together. Work together, your leader's getting into each other on the triple. Here comes third place. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Your leader still, Jackson Bailey. Dan Call right there. Mike Levan's right there with them. He's a lap off that battle. Oh, John getting it wrong in the front section. Jackson getting it wrong, wrong in the triple. That puts Dan Call back out front with 20 seconds left in this one. Third place is Sugar Muffin coming through the rhythm. Top three drivers are separated by about two straightaways. Watch the start of the street, watch the start of the street. Watch in the rhythm. That is time on the clock, guys. Racing to the line, racing to the line. Your battle for the win. Coming down the street right now. Taking that one, Dan Hall. Jackson Bailey coming home second. And it's Scott. Mike Clavin done. And then Sugar Muffin bringing home four. Waiting on to Scott and Ryan both break. They both break. And that's a race. Taking that one. Dan Hall, 14.508. Jackson Bailey, 14.511. They're both going to be bumping up into. You guys are going to be bumping into race number eight. Race number eight. Dan Collin, Jackson Bailey bump into race number eight. Thank you, Marches, for grabbing the blowers. I should have plenty of drivers out of that race to cover my corner, Marshals. 21.5 stop 2WD money. D main. I need my marshals from that last race out there, please. Hustle after, hustle after. Let's keep the program moving. Okay, I've got Ryan out there. I've got Mike. I've got Scott. I've got Richard. I've got Jackson. I need two more marshals, guys. Two more marshals. Two more marshals. Hey, John, you're a lane too far in. You need to be one lane back. Perfect. <laughs> Sugar muffin is flustered. <laughs> I need marshals, guys. Marshals, marshals, marshals. End of the triple, end the bucket. End of the triple, end the bucket. Let's keep the show rolling. Let's keep the show rolling. We got 62 races to make it through today. Thank you, Sean. Of course, Sean's out there every time. Thank you, Tony Sadison. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's check them in, guys. Check them in. Let's keep the show rolling. Watch front section. Watch front section. This is race number three. 25 stock two wheel drive buggy. Deep Skyla Liz Brown. Heather Judd. Josh Dare. Santiago Espinosa. 
Okay, straight away is close, straight away is close, straight away is close. You're firing order for this one, your DQ. Danny Gallegos in the two spot, Skyler Bader. In the three, Andrew Batman. In the four, Santiago Espinosa. Guys, make sure the black one, or the red lines on the back is your position. It looks like third spot is right there in front of the start finish line. Fourth is the start finish line. Guys, you need to scoot up, scoot up. It's not that hard. Jackson, can you show Danny where number one is over here in the corner? It's not that hard, guys, not that hard. Um, Jacob, you're in the five. Liz, you are in the six. Cameron in the seven. Daryl in the eight. Josh in the nine. Heather in the 10. And Dare in the 11. So what, what position? Third position is Andrew Batman, which is that black car. Third is up one. Fourth is Santiago Espinosa, which is the start finish line. Fifth is Jacob. Jacob's in the right spot. Sixth is Liz. Liz is in the right spot. Seventh is Cameron Ford. Cameron's right there. Perfect. Eighth is Daryl Ma. Perfect. Ninth is Josh. And tenth is, or tenth is Heather Judd. And eleventh is Josh Dare. Perfect. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Work together, work together, work together, work together, work together. Watch the front section. Work together, guys. Be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient. You're not going to win the race in the first corner. Let's work together, guys. Let's work together. Out to the huge lead after lap one. It's Santiago Espinosa. Oh, uh, sounds like Josh lost an idler bird. Just throw it down on the corner, Jackson. That's fine. That one's not going to be fixable. We'll watch front section. Watch front section. Watch the rhythm. 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 That was your leader getting it wrong. That looks like it's going to put Skyler Banger out front. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. And the two spot, what a camera in four. Watch front section, watch front section. Announcer's curse. Work together, guys, work together. Be patient, be patient. Watch the triple, watch going in the triple, going in the triple, going in the triple. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Work together, guys, work together, work together. It's Skyler out front, Santiago on the two. The camera's still right there in the three. Work together, work together, work together. Your leader, let's find him on track. Into the triple now. Coming through the keyhole, short shoot, rhythm, double, double, single. Your leader is the solid red car, orange window, white wing, yellow wheels, through the sweeper. That is your leader. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Josh, looks like that's Josh there, upside down. Your battle's starting to heat up for a second. Johnny Oga has it, Cameron wants it. That is your closest battle in the rhythm section. Johnny Oga gets it wrong in the table. Cameron gets it wrong getting on the straightaway. That is Jacob right there taking over third. You got a three-way battle for your bump spot. Johnny Oga into the rhythm. Jacob into the rhythm. Cameron into the rhythm. Watch the straight, go wide on straight, go wide on straight, go wide on straight. Let's find Santiago through the double. Jacob getting it wrong, coming in the double. Cameron getting it wrong, coming in the double. We're three minutes down, two minutes to go. Three minutes down, two minutes to go.
Watts the triple, Watts the triple, Watts coming in the rhythm, Watts coming in the rhythm, Watts coming in the rhythm. Watts the straightaway, Watts the straightaway, Watts the straightaway. Watts the short shoot, short shoot, triple, triple, triple. You good, Richard? Work together, guys. Watch straight away. Work together. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Your leader is still Skyler Bainer. Looks like it's Jacob into the two. Jacob coming over to the double. The leader is right behind him. Good drive in there, Skyler. Santiago still in the three. Santiago jumps on the straightaway. Watch straightaway go wide on straight. He's going in the rhythm. He's going in the rhythm. Go wide right on straight. He's going in the rhythm. Watch in the rhythm. Watch in the rhythm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Your leader getting it wrong in the rhythm, but he's got to lap up on second. He just got to put it on cruise control. Make sure his car doesn't break. So he can bump into the seat main. Your leader getting it wrong in the triple. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Watch the burn, watch the burn. Remember, guys, we are not racing bumper cars. We are racing race cars. Race cars aren't meant to hit other race cars. Watch the stairs, watch the stairs. That is time on the Masters. Daryl, keep going, Daryl, keep going. You'll be done when you cross the line. Your winner, Skyler Banger. You'll be done when you cross the line, guys. You'll be done when you cross the line. Josh Dare done. Jacob Sparrow done. Waiting on a couple more. And that is a race. Taking that one. Skyler Bainer, 14.505. Andrew Batman coming home second, 13.513. And Jacob Spera, 13.517. Skyler and Andrew, you guys will be bumping into race number 11. Skyler and Andrew into race number 11. I should have plenty of marshals. No one of my drivers should have left the driver stand. I should have plenty of marshals. Hey, Andrew, I still need you to marshal. I still need a marshal. Up now, race number four, 17.5, Superstock 2 will drive buggy D Bang. We've got, a, looks like a five car race here. Um, I need, uh, Santiago, you want to get started straight away? Start of the straight. Okay, let's roll that gentlemen, roll that gentlemen. Jackson Bailey, Marco Warner, Scott Maynard, David Brent, Dave Coffin. Okay, straight away is closed. What's going to find out? And the one box. It's going to be David Brent in the two, Scott Maynard in the three, Jackson Bailey. In the four, David Coffin. In the five, Marco Warner. The four spot is the start finish line. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of tone. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth, guys. Race is not won in the first corner. Work together. Work together. Work together. Work together, work together, work together. That was a tough side-by-side -side contact. 
Jackson from the three spot, already making it around. It looks like David had a bobble on lap one. So it's Scott out front, Jackson the two. David in the three, and then it is Marco. Watch coming in the double, watch coming in the double. Watch the berm, watch the berm, it's clear. Work together, guys, work together. Remember, guys, we are bumping the top two, top two. So if you guys are out front, maybe work together. It doesn't matter which position you get. You guys will both make it to the next main. Watch the triple, guys. Watch the triple. Watch coming into the table. Work together, guys. Work together. Your leader is one of my volunteer marshals from yesterday, Scott Maynard. He's out front with little Jack Bailey trying to track him down. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Watch the sweeper, go inside, go inside, go inside. Watch the berm, watch the berm. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. That was my second place driver up, Jackson Bailey. That looks like it's gonna put David Coffin into the two. Jackson right there in the three. David Coffin last time by, reached that hot off the race, 19 flat. Watch in the street, watch in the street. Watch the front section, he's going in the stairs, going in the stairs. We've got three way battle for the How are five. you guys? We're this beautiful morning, morning. looks We're like we have a battle together. here for, looks to be third and fourth, yeah. down that straightaway. David Watson, Jackson rolling over. It's like Jackson, Bailey, and David Brent having a battle. Jackson, I think, was one of our bump-up drivers in a, a D heat, I believe, as we're following along with him. Heading down that straightaway. And looks like David Brent going to take that one over. Three down, two go, three down, two go. Down the straight. Be right back. It's Scott, David, and Jackson. Close the battle in the battle for a second. Coming into the rhythm section now, David's going for the line. Jackson taking the inside. Jackson Bailey now up in the two spot. David Brent right there behind him, coming down straight away. We got one, ten, walk straight, walk straight, walk straight. Go right on straight, go right on straight, go right on straight. Watch the straight way, go inside, go inside on straight, go inside on straight, go inside on straight. It's clear, you're a battle for second down straight away. Jackson has it. David walks it. Watch the top of the stairs, watch the top of the stairs. David the kids are on in the front section. That's going to give Jackson a little bit of breathing room. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Josh is out there running laps, keeping it clean, keeping it smooth. Tom out of the race, it's still David Goff at 19 flat. Scott got 19 3, Jackson 19 3, David 19 3. Watch in the rhythm, watch in the rhythm. It's still Scott and Jackson. Watch the rhythm, clear. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. That is time. You guys will be done it when you cross the line. Bringing home second, Jackson Bailey. Bringing home first, Scott Maynard. David Cobb is out across the line, and David Brent.
stretch here comes Marco. Taking that one down, Maynard, 5507, Jack Mealy, 14503, and David Brand, 14512. Scott and Jackson, you guys will be bumping into race number 12, race number 12. Set your cars down immediately, come on out and corner, Marshall. Marshall, 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 Marshall. That's going to be my go for probably the first half of today. Only going to the first half of today. Once we get into the B main, B main, we should be good. We might need volunteers here and there. There's a couple people with some of the things at Camp Marshall. If you are one of the people at Camp Marshall, if you can find a volunteer for yourself, that would be greatly appreciated. That will help you the program a little bit. Try to get out of here as early as possible today. Hey everybody, how is it going online? We are with you here, getting all dialed in. Thank you all for tuning in today for our main events as we filter through our lower mains here. Where are you guys from? Where are you tuning in from? Who are you cheering on? I know we got a lot of guys here from uh, Whip It RC. We've got some guys from Moore. Um, we got some San Diego crew up here. Who else do we have? So each little, uh, we have a kind of a crew from, from each one. Coming out here, oh, Tacoma RC. We've got a good grouping from them. So anybody kind of within an eight hour radius, they've, uh, they've made their way out here. One of 44. What's happening, buddy? Good to hear from you. I haven't seen you tune in all weekend. Let's go Cameron from Marcus. BJ Williams, what's up, buddy? I haven't heard from you for a little bit. Good to hear from you. I was up till about 3 this morning getting in all those pictures, so hopefully you guys like that. Been working uh, super late nights to get those TQ uh, special photos up and do the all the cool photography things because our main photographer isn't here so I've been trying my hand at it hopefully you guys are liking that so we're starting to set up our grid right now we got our cone hit counter sitting at 62 Caleb, start finish line is your box. Start finish line. Thank you. Thank you. Jack, Cameron, you went a little bit too far there. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the toe. All right, as we get this one going, we even have a little flag guy out here. I'm at the. Grab some photos of him. All right, and we're off. Oh, had a couple more cone hits right there. How how many cone hits were there, Chris? One or two? Okay. One more cone hit there. Putting us at 63. Coming up and over, we got a gaggle of cars right here from three, four, five, and six. We're gonna follow along with those guys as they're coming up and over and down the street. Oh, getting in to get each other and able to keep it together. Oh, third place, gonna tap out of this one. He's all over the place. He can't get on the right side of the track. As still, oh man, these guys all over. As still your three, four, five battling out here. Which one, how do you find which race number they're on? Just look at the top right, it says five of 62. Oh, somebody getting in a little bit off kilter. As we follow along with your leader, Darren, coming through up and over the doubles. 
Oh, he hit the cone. Did he hit the cone, Chris? So another cone hit there for 64. So Dan Branberry, Darren Branberry, coming by the line, your leader, making his way in the blue and purple car. Our cameraman Chris going to be keeping an eye on the cone counter for me. Cone of shame, as we call it. Oh, into the end of the straightaway there for your leader. Leader going upside down there. We're going to get that instant replay of him hitting the end of that wall. Oh, got a little caution flag out. I like this. He's, oh, man, it's anarchy out there. Seconds right here, climbing over each other. Oh, that's a battle. We won't get on it right now as Daniel goes into the lead right now. Daniel Gallegos into the lead. Darren and Caleb in tow. Oh, going through with two minutes left to go. Battle for second going up and over the tabletops. Down the straight here for Darren and Caleb. 130 left to go, 130 to go. Second, get it wrong, oh! Someone getting high sided right there. Turtling on that jump. Three way battle, everybody's all over the place right now. Oh man, cars are flying. Marshall doesn't know what to do. Still gonna be Daniel Gallegos in the lead of this one though. Caleb and Darren gonna be battling it out. Let's see where we're at right now. That looks like everybody's kind of spread themselves out. Oh, Josh and Darren coming by the line together. That was three and four. Oh, I hear Josh may be broken. Maybe so, maybe not. That's three and four that we're having a battle, but I think they separated now. They're gonna be on that left-hand side coming onto the straightaway. There goes Darren. Darren goes to the three. Josh in the four, Cameron in the five. So that's three, four, and five, all battling it out, coming into the triple section. With 10 seconds left to go. What is the significance of the cone counter? Because a lot of people hit the cone. The cone is over the triple, so if you try and, uh, if you don't try, if you just go and uh, you're missing the landing, you could shoot past it so people hit the cone, almost like a cowbell. So Caleb Fraga coming there at the end for that P2. Daniel Gallegos. Got to lock that one in, so Caleb and <clears throat> Braga getting that one. And we don't have many of these guys' as photos. We're the best we could. Uh, all right, let me see here. Cheering on Josh Durr for all in. 
Christy. Go Kobe. From Reno, Nevada. Right on, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in, guys. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe, everybody. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Also, we will be giving away Team Associated B7D Skull Candy Skull Crusher Headset and MIP Black Handle Tool Set. A mod puck system. A couple other goodies, some mod swag there. Go on to that link that we're posting if you guys want to support the live stream and have your chance at winning some goodies. We've got to do more trivia. I need another, another trivia question, questionnaire. We'll do we'll do one for like the end of it what uh, what do you guys think that the cone hit counter is going to go up to it's like price is right but who's ever closest so what do you guys think that the cone hit counter is going to go up to For those that are looking, you can see that yellow cone sitting right there off of that triple. So that's the cone of shame right there as we call it. That is what everybody's hitting as they come up and over that triple. And they can easily cut that corner if the cone was not there. One of 40, 198. William Sink, 395. Oh man, you only get one guess. You only get one guess. Who's ever closest will get a BOGO waffle ticket for the, for the waffle. 135 here for B. All right, we're about to get this one started, guys. Mark Talley going for 215. Now right, we got the little flag man out there. Oh, these guys getting into it. Been over. All sorts of loose. Getting on it once again. Down that straightaway, Corey. Someone hitting the wall. Two seventy five here for Cindy. Stairs. 
Ross the sweeper, Ross the sweeper. That was your leader. No, that wasn't your leader. That was Scott. Scott's in the three spot right now. Your leader's coming down the straightaway now. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Your leader is that purple, green, and white ride through the rhythm. I hope everybody had a lot of fun this weekend. At the 35th Annual April Fools Classic presented by ProLine. Our sponsors, TLR, Team Associated, Reef Power, ProTech RC, Hobby Link, Savox, Race of Edge, HRP, Shell, Focus Lids, Hob Live Media, EFX Mobile Detailing, and LMR, Lindsay Mobile Repair. It's still Corey out front, David Brett in the two. Work together, guys, work together, work together, work together. Second is coming through the rhythm now. Watch triple, watch triple, watch triple. Your second place driver through the sweeper. Thank you, Todd Kirby. I appreciate you giving them a little bit of room. You are battling with the car right there with your talk. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Three down, two to go. Three down, two to go. Scott trying to go big on the triple. He's trying to make up a little bit of ground. He's got an 11 second gap to make up to try to get in that two spot to bump. Watch sweeper, watch sweeper, watch sweeper, watch sweeper. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Scott making the triple. Here he goes. Watch the mean Gene team is here. Myron Dye and Gene Romero. Watch the end of the straight, watch the end of the straight. Work together, guys, work together. Casey's out there in cruise control, but here comes David Brent. He's not too far off his rear wing. Marco, you're working with the leaders. You're working with the leaders. Thank you, sir. First by the line, second by the line, tapping the pipe, rolling into the wall. Watch the sweeper, guys. It's clear. Watch the triple. It's clear. We got 30 seconds left in this one, 30 seconds left in this one. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. It is Corey, David, Scott, Todd, and Marco. That is time. Nobody has done yet. Nobody has done yet. Nobody has done yet. Corey, come on. Taking that one, Corey bringing home seven, second, David Brett, Scott, here's the last two coming down the straightaway now, last two coming down the straightaway now. What's happening guys, it's going to be Corey taking that one, David, Brett and Scott, our top three. They should have had a bell to the cone so you could hear it every time it hits. Yeah, true, true. I already told you, what is it? SHLT, please. The guys hit the cone. We count how many times they hit the cone. It's pretty simple. There's a lot of hits on the cone. It's for fun. It's not that serious.
Is there a sensor in there? No. When we see a cone hit, we add to the cone counter. What's going on, MRST? Hello, hello. You guys are all here for a day of viewing some cool racing out here at the April Fool's Classic. We're into our C mains, but man, oh man, do we have a slew of A mains to get through. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe, guys. All right, looks like we got a full grid in this one. Let's see if we add to the cone counter here. Oh, man. Everybody making it through pretty clean on that one down the straightaway. Oh, at the end of the straight. And a little bit wrong there. Able to keep it on all four, so. Your one, two, three. Starting to break away from the rest of the pack heading down that straightaway. Looking good here. Coming through the doubles. Oh, cone, cone hit right there. That was, that, that was your leader taking a cone to the face. Through the triple, going way back on that one. Oh, caution right there. Oh, man. We had another cone hit right there. Second place doing it. Your leader's all over it right now. Going over right there now. Leader going over. I will show you in that top left corner right there. That is going to be an instant replay. That was your leader going and just smacking that cone. His body actually uh, seeing that left top top left corner. Tries to land on the inside. He would have made it too. Bam! Cone of shame. As we're on it once again. The leader 
are coming through the triple section here. Going to be Dave, oh, Dave Lindsay coming off the straight. He's going to be either in the green and black. Dave Lindsay should be coming by the line here soon. Halfway through, Garrett. Down the straightaway here, looks like possibly, no, Dave Lindsay's still your leader. Second right behind him, gonna be Garrett. Battle for the lead, up and over, oh, side by side. They're both upside down, those are your leaders. Both of them kind of getting unscathed, first ends up tipping over, back on it again. These guys need to work together, man, they are. Oh, that's third place right behind him, Scrimo. So Scrimo, oh, oh, Scrimo goes over. Did he hit the cone? No, I don't think so. So Scrimo gonna take over that too. He's in the bomb pop looking car. The yellow and pink with the yellow wheels down the straight. That's gonna be your battle right there between Scrimo and Garrett. Art Scrimo versus Garrett. Scrimo getting caught up on the pipe. A little bit wrong, it looks like Change of the guard there, coming down the straightaway. It is Garrett versus Scrimo. Oh, Scrimo goes over. The Batman doesn't see him. Scrimo with only one second left to go. Oh, it's gonna be a heartbreaker there for him. Garrett's gonna be happy with that one. Able to grab it there at the end. Currently at 68 on the cone hit counter. Where's our uh, cone hit counter connoisseur, Kyle Killy? Someone give him a call. Dave Lindsay gonna grab that one. David Davis, or sorry, David Johnson, my bad. 
Okay, number one's over here. Two's right in front of Todd. Three is right in front of the start finish line. In front of the start finish line, Lance. In front. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Kirsten, number two's up here. Okay, perfect. There's Mark, David Johnson, right there. All right, Bogo guys, here's a good one. For a BOGO in waffle ticket, is what is going to be the top spot. three in it running order? In the what is the top in the three in yeah. running order? Those are two bump drivers. So you could say, like, uh, okay, say the spot. names, last names. Right top three in running order. Marshall's we'll let you get ready. through the first lap Let's here. Get those guesses in. Get those guesses in for a BOGO waffle ticket. What's the top three in running order? Keep it clean, keep it clean. Oh, man. Keep it clean, keep it clean. I will call out rough driving if I see it. That was a decent start to this one. Oh, Christian coming a little short on the front double. Dave, the corner, Marshall. Ooh, first place going down. And we'll shut it off now. I think you guys are a little bit behind me, though, on the time frame. Looks like Lance going to be taking that one over. It's Lance Schwab out front. I didn't see what happened to Rick. Did you have a third? Maybe he had minimum? Well, Ant's going to be in the lead of this one. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Work together. Walk the sweeper. Walk the sweeper. Walk the sweeper. Work together. Work together. Walk the front section. Walk the front section. It's showing Lance Schwab out front. That is the white, green, and purple. Cross the straight away, cross straight away. Go inside, go inside, go inside, go inside, go inside, go inside. The 320 go left to go here. Lance still leading this one out. Mark going to be in that too. Your leader, Lance Schwab, white, green, and David Johnson and in the three here. All right, it looks like we had three people guess. That was in the time frame right there. Oh, leader getting it wrong. Oh, your leader breaking down. Watch the straight, watch the straight. Joel's running out there to go grab and see if he can fix it. Watch the end. Oh, he breaking down. Ah, someone breaking down. Leader breaking down. Leader breaking down. Unfortunate there for them. Lost the bird, lost the bird, lost the bird. Work together, guys, work together. Libram, Bailey, Johnson. It is now Mark Iberheim out front. And Shofo Jackson Bailey from the 10 spot in the 2 spot. 210 left to go that here blue, for Mark, blue, your blue, leader. David Johnson now taking over the lead. Work together, work together, work together. And Ron was second and third. Oh, all of them. All three of them together right now. Up and through the doubles, through the tabletops. Oh, no. David Jensen now Johnson now taking it over. Johnson, Bailey, and Mark. My bad, David. I apologize. It's David Jackson and Mark. Chris Shepard. Right on. Thank you, Chris. It's David Johnson out front. That is the white. Your top three battling out right now. Super close. Let me know how the sound comes through with both announcers, guys, if you'd rather not have one than the other. Or both is fine. Oh, getting it wrong. Oh, no. Oh, he says, later, dude. I'm gone. Whoa, oh, he flips over. 
So David Johnson and Mark gonna be battling it out right now. Body seems to be messed up from what I hear from cameraman Chris. Crushed in on the side of that car. Oh man, that thing is having a hard time. And Bryson now up into that three. Let me see if I can go grab a photo of that thing. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. It's Jackson, David, and Bryson Sadison up in the three spot. Watch the burn, watch the burn, watch the burn. Jackson Bailey done. David Johnson done. Rick Riley done. Waiting on a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. Mark Ivram done. Bryson Sadison done. Waiting on Kirsten coming down the straightaway now. And that's a race team that with Jackson Bailey, 14507, David Johnson, 14513, and Rick Riley, 14516. Jackson Bailey and David Johnson. You guys will be bumping into race 29, race 29. Jackson Bailey and David Johnson, race 29. Hey, G Jackson's out there. I should have plenty of marshals, guys. Plenty of marshals. 13.5 Pro Stock 2 WD truck. C Main. Okay, can you guys see the numbers on the back straightaway that they're putting up? Does that make sense on where you guys line up? Okay. Is this just going to be a three race battle? Oh no, here comes Ryan. So the before. How do I not have marshals yet? I've had plenty of time to get marshals. I need marshals, marshals, marshals. I need a marshal at the end of the rhythm. Marshal at the end of the rhythm. Thank you, Sean Stewart. Okay. The four gentlemen on the stand. Drive nicely down the straightaway. Do not hit them putting the numbers on the wall. Let's roll them out and check them in. Stay towards the pipe. Stay towards the pipe. Stay towards the pipe. Ryan Garrett. Rob York. Thank Davis. you guys. I appreciate that. We're getting numbers put up on the back wall so you can see where your box is gonna be. Straight away is closed. By an order for this one it's gonna be Ryan Garrett in the one. Rob York in the two. Kyle Kendrick in the three. And Mike Davis in the four. Right on, so both is fine. So it looks like they're putting up the numbers right now. For houses, works perfect. For your grid position there, I like it. He's like, hey, 
Go to Home Depot. You're not putting 11 on right now. And I need 1 through 10. Pretty good little idea there. We got Juggernauts, cheering on Rob, Kyle, and Magic Mike. Chris Shepard just got my waffle. Thanks for all you folks do for RC. Well, thank you. You guys make it possible. Post up that link for you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I don't think we have any more races with 11 in it. We got five drivers in this one. And we got our little, our little flags over there. So let's zoom in on the flags. So what I'm told is that one that he has right there is the halfway flag. Obviously, we have the finish flag. There's a white flag that is last lap. There's a black flag that shows the uh, if they black flag the race and it's done. And he also has a yellow flag that is the caution flag. So we'll do a little report on that. Double waffle engaged. Thank you, Androstos. Androstos, one, two, three. All right, as we get this one started. Let's see if any more cone counters. Oh, oh man, hitting it. That was three and four having issues now. Someone possibly going down. We got an orange truck down. Don't know who that is. Looks like probably Rob York. Having issues? As we get on with your top guys down the straightaway. Okay. That's your second and third place battle. Oh, first going into the wall. That was the leader of Kyle. Get it wrong. Now yellow car in the lead. Nobody wants this one. Nobody wants to leave this race. The announcer and I saying the same thing. Oh, getting it wrong.
Our cone hit counter hasn't gotten up for a little bit. Oh, issue for the leader. Here comes second. So Mike Davis coming by in the yellow. Oh, Davis hit the cone? All right, another cone counter. We're at 69 on the cone hit counter. You're one and two down the straightaway. That's going to be your battle. Oh, hitting the wall there for P1. Oh, and your leader going over. Nobody wants to win this one. Oh, man, here we go. Getting a little bit wrong there. Victory lap there for Mike Davis. Who was calling a Magic Mike, somebody. Juggernaut's calling a Magic Mike. From is it Northeast Colorado. Davis gonna take that one. Good run. Race number nine coming on up, guys. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe, guys. It really helps out with the analytics and spreads it to more people. So share, like, and subscribe. Would be awesome. How you guys doing today? Where are you all from? Who are you guys cheering on? Uh, thank you, Jared. Thank you, Xander. And Drosto hey, saying, if Matt wins welcome today, welcome. we all watch and get a mod sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the match you're talking about. Watch the sleeper, watch the sleeper. Josh here. Darren Watts. Ryan. Okay. And I heard Scott's not going to make this one, so I've got all five hundred riders out there. Straight away through, straight away through. Where do we got guys from Benjamin Pierce saying, go Mike. Magic Mike and Drostos, Battle Creek, Michigan. What's happening? 140, Cape Town, South Africa. What time is it there, 140? 144? I know it's late. Kendon Shaw in Utah. Used to race a lot here at IRCR. Need to get back into it. Miss all my locals. Yeah, it's a good community. All right, some races starting. Number one, Heather Judd. Daryl Moore right there at the two. Looks 
Frank Steve Anderson to three. And out the one for one is All right, looks like Bryant going to be leading us out. Or he's got something on with timing and scoring, possibly. I think timing and scoring is a little bit messed up. I think Heather Judd is in the lead. There's Heather. Yeah. Heather Judd going to be in the lead of this one. Coming around. One of our few female uh, racers out here. I believe there's two. Uh, I want to say two or three. Good to see. One of 40, 40 saying 18-20. So, military time. All right, so what is that, 6.20 at night? Justin Jensen, what's going on, man? Good morning, good morning. Maybe I'll come and watch in person. Right on, Justin. Come on out. Come say hi. We will be here for a few hours, that's for sure. Oh, looks like Daryl Ma going to be in the lead now. Taking it over here from Heather Judd as she's in tow. Steve Anderson going to be in the three. With 2.30 to go. Let's go, Heather. Oh, getting it wrong there for Judd. With 2.20 left to go. Top two bump, top two bump. What's happening, Francisco? Hello, hello. Ma still leading this one out. Judd in the two. 15 seconds back is going to be Steve, so looking like Ma's going to take this one. With Judd in that two.
Daryl and Heather, you guys are getting the bump to race number 31. Race number 31. Got Jesse cheering on Darren. Right on. Down 
Off the rhythm, off the rhythm, off the rhythm, off the top of the stairs. Back to start on the track right now is Cooper Lincoln with an 18 4. It's Mike Hampton, Joel Gerson, Kayla Praga, Cooper Lindsay. Oh, let's see what happened to Kayla. Cooper back up in the three spot. Work together, guys. Work together, work together. Watch it on straight, watch it on straight, watch it on straight. That was their leader, did it wrong. First and second, go and tell through the front section. I did it wrong in the front section. Cooper back up in the two spot. Three down, two go, three down, two go. It's Troy Perkins, Super Lindsay, Mike Hanson, then it's Caleb, Andrew, Skyler, Darren, Bryson, Dan, and David. Your leader, Troy Perkins, that is the yellow, blue, and white. Get a little wrong with the triple. Super Lindsay right there, all over his rear wing. Super coming up a little short, the first double. Your leader's coming down the trailway, work together, guys, work together, work together. Bryson, you got first and second right behind you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Walk the berm, walk the berm, walk the berm. Walk the rhythm. Your leader gets her on the rhythm. Here comes Cooper. Cooper gets her on the rhythm. Trying to avoid the marshal. Here comes Mike Hansen. Mike Hansen throwing a wheel on the inside. Cooper not able to make any stick. Bryson, you got second and third right behind you. Cooper getting her on in the double. Get it. Somebody get it. Somebody get it. You heard the lane, four down, one to go, four down, one to go. It's Troy Perkins out front. My pants is right there in the two. Here's battle for first and second, coming through the double. Up the stairs now, came across up in the three. Walks in the triggerway, walks in the triggerway. Go off the sweeper, walk the sweeper. Walk the front section. Walk the bird, walk the bird, walk the bird. Walk the straightaway, go wide. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together, work together. Your leader still Troy Perkins, followed by Mike Hansen. And it's Caleb and Lindsay. Caleb, you have the first one done. Your bump drivers are racing through the river. Both of them are already secured to bump off into the B. Walk the rhythm, guys. Walk the rhythm. Andrew Ryan. Batman Dunn. Bryson Fashion Dunn. Joe Ferguson Dunn. Jen Powell Dunn. Skyler Vander Dunn. Mark Thompson Dunn. Darren Bradbury Dunn. All drivers. And that is race taking that one. Troy Perkins, 55 17. Congratulations there, Troy Perkins and Mike Hansen. Gonna take that one and two. I don't know, I don't know if we've added anything to the to the cone counter, have we, Chris? So no cone counter hits. We're still sitting at that number 69. Thank you all for tuning in. Very much appreciated. If anybody is going to go get Starbies or something like that, we have not eaten yet. We will pay you money. I don't know if the Roach coach is here. That's when everything starts getting excited. Only yesterday, so maybe I'll be able to break away for a couple minutes. Go and get us something to eat. We have literally been uh, here into our hotel getting a, a pizza or Wendy's. Work until about 2 or 3 in the morning on photos and other stuff, catching up for the next day, back up again, so we're, uh, we're I'm, a, I'm on about four and a half hours of sleep right now, coming into today. And it's kind of been that way every time, because this, I don't know if I've ever been to a tent scale race where <clears throat> we're getting in and out at about nine, 10 o'clock at night, so it's been, 
definitely everybody getting their money's worth, but it is some long days out here. Your prime order, your CQ is going to be Cody Odell. And the two spots to be Brian Hopkins. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for tuning in. Post up that link there if you guys want a chance to win a B7D MIP Black Handle Metric Tool Set. They got Skull Candy gear on there. Mod Puck System supports the live stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the coverage as we get into our 17.5 Superstock two-wheel drive buggy. Drivers ready. Marshall Ray, let's go racing on the sound. There we go. Hey, Bryson, I need to stand in that corner. Looks like I need to get Cody O'Dell's picture. Uh, he's already trying to step out from the field here. I need you standing up. Oh, man, no cone hits. Watch in the dribble, watch in the dribble. Watch the river, watch the river. Oh, leader goes over. He's going to get passed by two guys. All right, here we go. Two. <clears throat> One, two, three. Starting to break away slightly from the rest of the pack. Uh, someone, either a body into the spur gear or something. Cody O'Dell still in the lead of this one. Later dude gone. Sean Stewart going to be in the two. And Brian Hoskins in the three. Sean Stewart now to the lead. Odell going to be in the two. Only eight tenths of a second back, though. 3.20 to go in this one. Your leader comes in with Dell into the triple. Dell, Stingle. That is your leader. That is your leader. And that is second. Leader getting it wrong. Second right there. And third. Someone breaking down there. I think it was Judd. So Judd breaking down. Unfortunate there for him. Believe that his wife bumped up earlier. So unfortunate there for Judd. She'll have to carry the torch. Four down, one to go, four down, one to go. One minute left. 
You've only got one motor screw in there, so the motor, if you hit something, it's going to roll again. Block triple, guys, block triple, block torches. Yep. Block in the rhythm, block in the rhythm, block in the rhythm. Tough break there for Mike Doug. Block the motor screw. It's still Brian Hopkins out front. Stop, Stewart still holds down second. That is the right pastel cover with the checker flag the back at the end of the rhythm. Third place is Scott Maynard. He is charging hard. That is the orange, green, and white ride coming through the rhythm. We've got 15 seconds left on the clock. Battle for second right now going on. Between Sean and Scott, uh, going, getting it wrong there. Three, two, one. Ah, he's just not going to make it. So Stewart going to grab that one for sure. Caught at the line there for Scott. Hoskins going to grab that one. Got a full heat of this one, guys. Coming up. I should have plenty of marshals out there. Hey, thank you, Justin, for jumping out there. Checking in from Alaska for Reg. What's going on? 140 saying he had some steak, chicken, sausage. Oh, man, making me hungry. I think we're good for at least one to two cone hits in this one. That was a cone hit right there, but that wasn't in racing, so it doesn't count. Reg saying he still has snow on the track. Ugh. So that's no good. Need some indoor tracks. Here we go. And we're off. They get through pretty clean. Not bad. Here we go, down the straightaway. That's going to be Xander Nicholas going to be in the lead. Nicholson. And Garrett going to be in that P2. So they come around both with the TLR cars. Oh, Xander getting it wrong. Here comes third place, which is Jared. They're going to be flip-flopping around positions right now. Top three breaking away from the rest of the pack. Four trying to keep in touch. Coming through. Oh, nice pass there for Xander on Garrett. Down the straightaway. They're going to flip-flop positions right there with four minutes left to go. Oh, good. 
good side hit right there, but he's going to wait, do the right thing. And oh, here it comes. Ford. Ford goes down the straightaway. Three way battle right now between Garrett, Jared, and Ford. Ford trying to jump over the top, not able to make it stick. TLR, TLR associated and associated. Coming onto the straightaway right now. Leader's gonna be coming into a gaggle of traffic. Are they able to make it through though? Is the real question. Oh, getting together, side hits. Oh, trying to get to him. Oh man, it is anarchy here in the back. And Ford back there as well, so I think they're still gonna retain pretty much their positions down the straightaway. The fisticuffs are out. Garrett, Jared, and Sam all battling for that last and final position. Coming through. Oh, there's a cone hit. We go to 70. Your leaders, still that two and three, now breaking away here from Ford. Ford gonna be flipping over. But it's gonna be Jarrett, Garrett and Jared. Just off the straightaway there. Last and final bump spot in this C main event. Come around through the doubles. Oh, to the inside! A little bit Robbins racing right there. He's gonna make it stick. Down the straightaway. Jared gonna make that pass on Garrett. Man, oh man. Two minutes to go here between these two. Kazakria, what's happening, buddy? Mr. Spicy Chicken Nugget. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Coming through the doubles right now. Oh, man. Purple, white versus white and pink. Through doubles. Oh, he's going to hit the bat, but able to get through. Yellow car in between them. Going to give him some room here. With only 1.30 to go. Here we go. Ain't letting go of him yet. Jared has it. Garrett wants it all over the top. That's a movie. What? What is it? Sylvester Stallone. Coming through the doubles here. Oh, getting by some traffic. Oh, nose to tail here. Letting off right there. Trying not to hit him. Very clean racing by these guys. I think they are friends. But it's been very clean racing all weekend long out here, actually. Coming out from more RC Raceway from what cameraman Chris is saying. Through the doubles here, your leaders, Garrett and Jared. Through the doubles. Man, oh man. They're coming into a gaggle of traffic right now. They're making it through pretty easily. 25 seconds left to go. They may see one more. Maybe. Coming through the doubles here. Up and over triples. They're moving out of the way for these two. Here we go. Oh, it's up there at the end. Side by side, gets off at the right time, ended up hitting them. And time expired. Oh! Gonna grab that one. Good battle in between Garrett and Jared. Wow. That was a good one. Jared Kazakria, how's the track? It is fun and difficult all at the same time. But it's producing very good racing, actually, because it entices mistakes, for sure, because there's about 20, 22 features, I think I counted. Joe Zaire Jr., arm wrestling movie, it is, yes. Over the top. Or he's in his, like, semi-truck, and he's... He's like <clears throat> working out his arm. I could be taken the wrong way. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> Has a 
grip been consistent? Yes, actually it has. Very consistent grip out here, Jared. I don't know how far you guys are from uh, Hayden, Idaho, but I know there's some guys here from Seattle, so I'm guessing you guys should uh, probably come down here sometime. Super cool track. I should have all my marshals out there for last one. Nice running, Jared. Very, very cool. Cameraman Chris jumping off right now. Looks like we're getting into 17.5 stock four-wheel drive buggy. I'm going to have to jump on camera because cameraman Chris is out as we get into some of our first A main events here. <laughs> Joe Zaire, I've talked about that movie about four times in the past week. That feels like an excessive amount of times. I think so there. Used to be a local track. For six months, so I worked in Salt Lake City. Right on, Jared. Yeah, super cool track. 12 to 14 hours. Really? Wow. That's a haul. So maybe fly in, Jared. Fly in. <laughs> I think that's what it is for us, too. It was like... It was like not, it was like gonna be 10 to 12 hours driving, and I said, no way, not happening. If I don't have to bring a rig out or anything, um, I'm, an, I'm an eight hour guy. If it's not within eight hours, it is fly time. Plus, I got the special deal with Southwest where I have. Like a BOGO deal for Chris, so he flies with me basically for free. All right, as we get this one happening here, stock 17.5, four-wheel drive buggy. I do not have the length here for my headset, so I will not be on right now. I think I have something that I can extend it, so I'll get that going on the next one. But enjoy, guys. Oh, 140 saying cone hit, that there was a cone hit. All right, I'm going to add that in. All right, talk to you guys soon. Thank you, guys. What are you doing, Coop? You were perfect. I don't know why you knew. Okay. Drivers ready. Marshals ready. Let's go. A main racing on the sound of the tone. This is A main number one, four, four, 17, five, four wheel drive buggy. Watch front section, watch front section, watch front section. Work together, guys, work together, work together, work together. Keep it clean, keep it clean. I will call out rough driving. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Watch the straightaway, watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm, watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Who is that with the body popping off? I believe that is Chuck. If somebody wants to just grab the body off of it, let him run. Oh, Don, look at that. Don's even faster putting it back on. Out front is Little Tucker Eaton, followed by Dave Barilla. And then that's Dayton Bartlett up in the three. Dave getting it wrong in the front section. That puts Dayton in the two, Casey up in the three. Dayton getting it wrong, that puts Casey back in the two, Dave Barilla back in the three. It's Tucker Eaton out front. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the triple, watch the triple. It is Tucker Eaton out front. That is the white, yellow, and green. It's Casey Ford in the two. Dave Rilla red in the three. Casey getting a little bit long in the rhythm. It's Casey, Dave, and Dave battling out for a second through the front section. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. It's Casey Ford coming to the rhythm. Then it's Dave Barilla and Dave Bartlett. That is your battle for second through the table, down the straightaway now. It's Casey, Dave, and Bartlett coming into the rhythm. Watch the straight, guys. It's clear. 
Watch the triple, 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 it's clear. We're on with three and four. Three Casey and the two, Dave Brillo right there in the three. Bartlett going big off the single, jumping in front of Dave. Dave trying to jump it over top, not able to make it work. It's Tucker eating out front, Casey Ford in the two. And Dave Bartlett in the three. Casey getting it wrong the top of the stairs. That lifts Dave, close up a little bit. Watch front section, it's still there, still there. Good drive in there, Tucker. It's Tucker out front, your leader tapping the cone. Your leader, Tucker, eating out front. In the two spot is still Casey Ford. Casey coming through the rhythm section now. That is the yellow, orange, and I believe it's purple on the back of that car. Watch the doubles, watch the doubles, your leader. Two minutes left. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. You all right, Cliff? I didn't see what happened by her people with some pain, so I'm assuming he got hit. It's Tucker eating out front. Watch in the triple. Here comes Casey Ford. Your battle for lead into the rhythm section now. Tucker has it. Casey wants it. We got 130 left in this one. Your leader, Tucker, Casey Ford all over his rear wing. Casey looking high, looking low, trying to find a place to pass. Tucker sticking that inside line, making it hard. Casey getting it wrong in the rhythm. Stop driving away from Marshall. Marshall will get there faster. It's Tucker out front, Casey in the two. Dave Marilla in the three. One left. We got a half a section between first and second with four down, one to go. Your leader down the straightaway, second down the straightaway. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Watch the sweeper, it's clear. Watch front section, watch front section. It's Tucker eating out front. You guys know his paint job. He comes up on you, gives him some room. Casey Ford in the two. The guy in front of him definitely knows his paint job. They race together week in, week out. It's Tucker eating Casey Ford. Dave Bartlett up into the three. Dave Brilla down to the four. We got a white flag out for your leader. Watch the rhythm, guys, watch the rhythm. Dayton's gonna be the last one to make it by. Time is expired. Taking a man number one, 17 five, four drive buggy, Tuckery. Casey Ford bringing home second. And Dayton Bartley bringing home third as soon as he gets to the line. Last car on the clock's coming down the straightway now. You guys cannot throw your cars down until I call race done. There should be no cars thrown on the car on the track until I call race done. Up next, race number 15. Hey Tucker. 13.5 Superstock for WD. Come see Matt. A1 main. I need one volunteer, Marshall. I'll need one volunteer, Marshall. Here. Awesome job, buddy, grabbing that one. A hard-fought battle there with Casey. How do you feel? Um, good. Right on. Who would you like to thank? Everyone. Your mom and dad? Yeah. Your grandparents? Yep. Right on. What car are you running? X-Ray. Congratulations, buddy. Good luck in the next one. Thank you. You got it. Back to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I've got all my Marshall spots covered. Xander Nicholson, Landon Cartwright, Chris Mueller, Keaton Grant, Ron Cherbrick, Chris Hansey, Robert Hansey, 
Just waiting for Jay to check in. Okay, straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. Okay, your fired order for this one, your top qualifier, Xander Nicholson in the two spot, Keaton Grant in the three spot, Chris Yancey in the four, little JJ McNugget in the five, Robert Yancey. Oh, let me finish the grid, then do the one minute call, that way I don't do the one minute from right now. In the five, Robert Yancey. In the six, Chris Mueller. In the seven, Ron Turek. And in the eight, little Landon Cartwright. Okay, we got a one minute call for Robert. About 30 seconds left in that one minute call. Looks like they got them all handled. Robert, you are in the five box. Good job there, guys. That was perfect. Drivers ready. Marshals, be ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. It's Xander Nicholson out front. Keith Grant tucking the triple on first lap. Xander getting it wrong in the rhythm. Keith going around the outside. It's Keith Grant to the lead. Xander in the two. And it looks like it's Chris right there in the three. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Keep it clean, keep it smooth. Keep going double, triple. Xander going triple, double. They were pretty even all the way through that rhythm section. It's Pete out front. Xander all over his rear wing. Xander getting a little wrong in the berm. It's Keaton Xander trying to jump over the top. That worked out as it should. Remember guys, the second car into that rhythm, you hit the first car, it's your fault. It's Keaton out front, Xander, Xander getting it wrong, Keaton getting it wrong. That's gonna allow Chris out in the lead. Keaton going triple, double, trying to jump over the top of him, not able to make a six. It's Chris, Keaton, and Xander through the sweeper now. Into the stairs. It's Chris out front. Keaton right there too. Keaton going a little wide. That puts Xander in the two. Xander and Keaton go. Both go triple double. That puts him right on the rear wing of Chris. Down the straightaway through the sweeper. Xander getting a little wrong in the doubles. Chris rolling it over. Keaton's right there. And here comes little JJ McNuggets. It's Chris out front, Keaton in the two, JJ in the three, Xander right there in the four. Work together, guys, work together, keep it clean. Chris going wide, Keaton looking inside, nothing there. Xander getting it wrong in the berm. Keaton trying to jump over the top, not able to make it stick. That puts JJ all over his rear ring. That gets good. Chris, watch sweeper, guys, watch sweeper. We got the battle out front, thank you, Xander. Or, not Xander, Landon. JJ McNugget out front. Keaton jumping over the top. Landon, you're in the battle for the lead right there. Landon, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're good to go. It's Keaton out front, JJ in the two, Chris in the three, Xander right there in the four. Watch top of stairs, watch top of stairs. It's Chris now out front, Keaton in the two, Xander in the three, JJ in the four. Ron Turk at the five. He's slowly just putting his head down, trying to make up time. Landon, you have fifth right behind you. Watch the sweeper, guys. Watch the front section. That was wheel to wheel. That was wheel to wheel. That was in air contact. 
Dan they're getting around the triple. That puts Chris out front. Watch sweeper guys, watch sweepers. It's Chris, JJ, Keaton, Xander. Here comes Robert and Ron. Three down, two to go, three down, two to go. It's Chris out front, JJ in the two. Keaton right there in the three. And then it's Xander and Robert. Chris getting around. Little JJ McNugget out front. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. JJ getting around. JJ down the straightaway. It's JJ out front. Keaton in the two. Chris in three. Chris rolling it over. Xander tried to help the partial. It's JJ, Keaton, Xander. We've got 120 left in this one. It's little JJ out front. Keaton right on. JJ getting around the stairs. Xander to the inside. It's Xander. Keaton over the top. It's Keaton, Xander, and JJ through the rhythm. It's Keaton and Xander. No two tail down the straightaway. With one minute left in this one. Keaton has it. Xander wants it up the stairs. Double into the triple. Keaton turned into a bit early into the rhythm. Xander getting around the rhythm. That puts JJ out front. Watch in the rhythm. Watch in the rhythm. Watch in the rhythm. It's JJ out front. Xander in the two. Chris in the three. Then it's Keaton in the four. That's your leaders right there. Thank you, Landon. It's JJ. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Oh, that one's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. He's got no drive. He's got no drive. It's broke. Watch it on straight. Just leave it alone. Leave it there. Xander to the lead. Didn't see what happened. It's JJ and the two. They're coming by for the white flag now. They're coming by for the white flag with three seconds left on the Masters. It's a three horse race for the win on the final lap. Xander has it. JJ wants it. Xander still sending, coming up with a short on double. JJ not close enough to capitalize. It's Xander down the straightaway. JJ down the straightaway. Chris down the straightaway. And that is a race. Pick that one, Xander Nicholson. JJ McNugget bringing home second. And Chris Shanty in the third. And it's Chris Mueller, Robert, Ron, Keaton, and Landon. Up next, race number 16. 13.5 Pro Stock for WD Buggy. A1 main. I need one volunteer marshal, one experienced volunteer marshal, please. Awesome run out there, man. I don't know if anybody really wanted to win that one. Dude, it was hard. I mean, everyone was all over the place. I could tell that, like, everyone's car was kind of a little squirrely here and there. But, I mean, it was a good race. We were all fighting for position. The pressure was on me, JJ, Chris, and Keaton. So, some of us, the pressure got to us. Unfortunately, Keaton wrecking. I mean, he's a fast driver, so let's see what he can bring in the second round. Congratulations, man. Good, uh, good running with JJ as well. Yeah, JJ did good. Um, unfortunately, you know, I mean, I cut in front of him, but I mean, clean racing there between him and me. You know, we've always raced with each other, so, you know, him and me kind of know how we drive. Congrats, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate you got it. it. Got it. Good job. J JJ. Dude, good running out there. We're watching it, and uh, dude, amazing run and very clean racing. You just had, it looked like your car was a little bit too soft and kind of leaning over a little bit too much. Yeah, it was. I went up about five weight in the rear last night, and it looks like I need to go up even more now because it just kind of digs in. I even stiffened the springs up, and it, I've just been having that problem. I'm about 300 grams overweight, so that doesn't really help. The fact that I'm just chassis slapping everywhere, but other than that, it was a great race, clean racing, super fun, excited for A2 and A3. Right on, man. Well, you're kind of an internet sensation right now. We posted your truck up on Facebook, and everybody's like, see, you don't need the everything to be fast. You know, talent is there, and yeah, the T5M. I'm sure your four-wheel drive looks decently the same way. Dude, looking good out there. What are you running for four-wheel? Uh, I'm running a B64 uh, with some older electronics, and... 
you know, uh, hoping to get some newer cars soon, so maybe some sponsorships. I'd be really looking forward to it. Get me out racing a lot and get me out in eight scale a lot more too. I think it's, uh, I think it's definitely, uh, you've got a lot of promise, man, a lot of skill out there. Congratulations on your run. I'm going to have to go get some shots of your four wheel as well. Congrats on your second place. You almost had it. Just barely missed out. Thank you. You got it. Good job, buddy. Thank you. You got it. All right, guys, back to you for some more racing. Okay, guys, you get two laps. Two laps. Let's roll them out. Check them in. Jared Kovic. Kobe Yonko. Ryan Moore. Ethan Hoskins. Cliff Nicholson. Hey, Ron Turek. Eddie Money. Ron Turek, can you switch with Keith? Thank you. Keith, I'm going to have you start the straightaway. Thank you, Ron Turk. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm taking you guys on your word. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. I don't like the little kids in the rhythm section. Okay, straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. We're only doing two laps. Did, did, did he pull over or something? Or? Okay. There was another driver in his race that told me he didn't get a second lap. I'll take it. Okay, your top qualifier, 13 5 Pro Stock four wheel drive buggy, Doug Larivier. In the two spot, it is Kobe Yonker. In the three, Caden Meeks. That two and three spot are kind of close. Move, move, move that pink car. Closer to the race line, just so he's not out in the dust. That works. Okay, in the four spot, Ethan Hoskins. In the five, Ryan Moore. In the six, Jared Deluge. In the seven, Cliff Nicholson. And in the eight, going straight to the A main, Eddie Rapley. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. These guys were fighting tooth and nail and qualifying. This is going to be a good one. It's team associated. One, two, three, and four. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. You guys are all professionals. It's Doug Burby out front. Kobe on to the two. Cade Meeks right there at three. And then it's Ethan, Ryan, Cliff, Deluge, and Eddie. 15-5 from your leader, 16-4, 16-3, 16 Doug getting a little bit wrong in the rhythm. Watching the rhythm, Ethan getting it wrong, Ryan getting by. It's Doug Burgery out front, but your closest battle is for a second between Kobe and Caden. Kobe, team associate R1 Power, J Concepts Rubber, Wits Racing Products. Caden makes this team associated. Not sure his electronics sponsor. Might be a Reedy car. It's Kobe Younger out front. K or Kobe Younger in the two. Caden Mix looking down the inside. Kobe getting a little bit wrong. It's Doug Burgery out front. Caden Mix in the two. Kobe tapping the pipe, getting on the straightaway. That puts Ethan into the three. Kobe the four. Watch straight, watch straight, watch straight. Your leader, Doug Burgery out front. It's Caden Meeks in the two, Ethan Hoskins in the three, Kobe Umber right there in the four. And then it's Ryan Moore, Jared Deluge, Eddie Rapley, Cliff Nicholson. Yo, Ethan to the inside of Caden, coming after the triple. That puts Ethan up into the two, Caden in the three, down the straightaway. Your closest battle is for a second, up the stairs now. Ethan over the triple, Caden over the triple, Kobe over the triple, Ethan getting it wrong into the rhythm, Caden able to make it by. Ethan only lost one position in that little battle. It's Caden, Ethan, and Kobe battling for second. Doug Bergeret through the rhythm. Watch the rhythm, guys, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Battle for second, coming up on you, Cliff. Caden, Ethan, and Kobe. Thank you, Cliff. 
Watch in the triple, watch in the triple. That was your leader, Kane Fix now out front. Ethan Hostonville, too, Doug Liberty right there in the three. Kobe Younger right there, pick up pieces and they get it into each other. It's Caden, Ethan, and Doug up the stairs. It's Team Associate, one, two, three, and four. It's Caden, Ethan, Doug. Now Ethan the one. Doug Derby right there to the two. Doug to the inside at the end of the sweeper. It's Doug, Ethan, Caden, and Kobe. They're all right there together. Top three are triple doubling. Kobe's double tripling. With 1.45 left in this one. It is Doug, Ethan, Caden, and Kobe. Marshalls watch your corners. Marshalls watch your corners, not the race. It is Doug out front. Ethan in the two, Caden in the three, Kobe in the four. Ethan all over the rear wing of Doug. Ethan trying to force a bobble. Looking high, looking low, coming down the straightaway now with 1.10 left in this one. It's Doug, Ethan, Caden, and Kobe. Top two are starting to stretch out. Ethan looking at it around the outside. Doug getting into a wheel to wheel. That was clean. Doug coming up with a short. Ethan giving him a little boost like he needed to clear the double. Down the straightaway now is Doug, Ethan, and the battle for third between Caden and Kobe. Kobe's all over the rear wing of Caden, but your battle out front, Ethan's all over the rear wing of Doug. Ethan looked like he's coming up a little short, able to make it. Here's Doug and Ethan down the straightaway with 40 seconds left in this one. Doug going a little wide, Ethan right there. Going into the triple now. Ethan comes up a little short on three, triple. Here comes Caden and Kobe. That gives Doug a little bit of breathing room. Blues, you have second, third, and fourth. Next card behind you. Doug getting a little breathing room with 20 seconds to go. He should make it by one, one more at least. Doug riding the bicycle through the short shoot. Caden looking high, looking low on Ethan. Ethan slams the door left and right. Ethan getting wrong, getting on straight. Collecting Kobe. You battle for third. Through the front section, Kobe has it, Ethan wants it. Ethan's all high and low, Ethan's rolling it over. Give Kobe a little bit of breathing room. Doug Rubier bringing home A1. Here comes Caden. Caden Meeks to bring home second. Watch the straightaway, watch straightaway. Watch straightaway, go wide, go wide. Just waiting on Ethan to finish. He's coming down the straightaway now. And that's race taking A1, Doug Rubier, 19.505. Kid Meeks, 19.510. And Kobe Younger, 19-5-12. And then it's Ethan, Ryan, Jared, Cliff, and Eddie. Up now, modified. modified good running out there, man. It wasn't easy, though. Yeah, for sure. Um, I kind of got out to an early lead, which was good. And then um, I made a small mistake over the first triple here. And um, I think the marshal was more focused on the battle for second and third. So it was all good. I mean. He got me going, and I was back in thinking third at that point, and just knew I had the pace because I gapped up, gapped out a little early, and I just knew I had to kind of wait for everything to kind of come my way. We were kind of talking about the track and uh, this layout. There's like 21 features on it, but I, I would say it actually creates closer racing than other layouts that we've seen. I would agree and disagree to an extent because um, I think it's more racing's close because everyone's crashing, so it's not really super like dependent on skill. I mean, it's of course dependent on skill, but I mean, you crash it tightens everything up where instead exactly. of actually close you, you kind of got a point i guess i mean it's just it's more of like also there's some luck involved which of course there is always in racing but um i definitely think that um it's, it's hard out there <laughs> most definitely congratulations on the run best of luck in your a2 thank you all right back to it guys uh some close racing to ensue here at the april fools classic my a main drivers my a main drivers i need all eight of you out here uh, Doug, if you want to get the end of the straightaway, Doug. Doug, end of the straightaway. Um, Kobe's out there. Caden's out there. Ethan's back to back. Ethan, do you have a volunteer marshal for yourself? Okay, I need somebody to volunteer for Ethan. One of my volunteers want to volunteer for Ethan. This is the A. Hey, Chuck, Chuck, let's have Shane get that one. This is A modified. A main. Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate you trying to jump out there. Okay. 
I've got all my spots covered, okay, guys. Two laps, two laps. Rob Champlin, Dominic Cassini, Rob Gillespie, Brandon Foote. All righty, guys. Let's get this one going. Four-wheel drive modified buggy is up and ready to rock. Who's going to take this one? We got a strong Brock Champlin. We got Dominic out there. Those two have been super fast. Austin Cracknell, can't count him out. He's had a lot of pace out here. Yoshi's been up there. Rob Gillespie, foot. Any one of those top six I know are definitely have some pace out here. And uh, talking to Dougie about all that, it uh, definitely invites mistakes for this track. Let's see what happens here. And we are off. Let's see. Freight training through this first couple sections here, guys. Up and over the triple. Oh, getting it wrong there for Yoshi. It's going to advance Rob Gillespie up to that number four. But your top three starting to stretch out their lead right now. Going to be Brock, Pacione, and Cracknell. Your top three. Cracknell tapping out for a second. Pacquion latched onto the back of Brock Champlin as they head down Schumacher versus AE. Cracknell now cracks back up to the top. Coming up and over. Oh, shooting way wide there for all oh, different line choice right there between that of Brock and Dom. Come on by the line with 4.10 left to go as they start a freight train once again. Top five. Looks like Brock shooting way wide on that triple section. Everybody coming a little bit closer to the pipe there. And they're actually on the binders there for Brock. So maybe he needs to change up his line. He's afraid of the cone of shame. Oh, and he gets close to it. Cracknell going to be right behind that of Dom. Cracknell going to jump over the top of him there as Dom was not able to keep on it. Coming down this double section here. Oh, getting it wrong for Cracknell. Here comes Gillespie. Team associated teammates right here between Dom and Gillespie. Coming through. Down that straightaway here for Dom and Rob up and through the doubles. Stick with this battle kind of for, they're kind of stretched out. We'll get back on with Brock now. Down that straightaway with 310 left to go here for Champlain. He doesn't have much pressure on him, but one mistake, and Dom is going to be there to take advantage of it as well as Gillespie. So one crash could cost him two positions. Anything can happen on this difficult track. But we can see from Brock yesterday, he was very happy with his four wheel, able to push it when he wanted to. And now he doesn't have as much pressure on him. But Dom now starting to push. You can see him catching up. He's made up some major time here. Let's look at this last lap right here. 15, three to 15 flat right now. Three tenths of a second as Dom pushing on the move right now. Looking very comfortable in that B74.2. Up and through the doubles versus the Schumacher L1. Down the straightaway here. Dom now edged up on the back of Champlin. Up and through. Dom definitely having some major pace right now. Coming through, just looking tighter, looking stronger. And pushing here for Dom, but still looking comfortable. Under pressure. Here as well for Brock, taking a different line right there and able to edge over with that four-wheel drive action. Oh, and he rolls up on the back of him here. Brock versus Dom. Up and through, they're going to be coming into some traffic right now. Blake moves out of the way. Dom takes a different line than Brock. On to the straightaway. Here we go. See if anything's going to happen. Oh, gets it a little wrong there. Up and over the pipe he goes. No harm, no foul. 
with 1.30 to go. Had to get Marshall there. Marshall on it. Pacquion now going to edge up. Let's see if he can. Oh, and Brock with a mistake. Pacquion makes a small mistake. Pacquion back on him again. He's pushing a little bit too hard, though, making some mistakes here. Brock, de Dom definitely having the pace on Brock. Anything can happen with one minute left to go as Dom starting to wrangle it back in, saying, calm down. Put in some solid laps here. Brock pushing. Down the straight. Through the triple. Oh, man. Everybody holding their breath right now. 16 seconds left to go. They're doing 15 second lap time, so they're going to get one more after this one as Dom edges up here at the end, pushing hard. Last lap, here we go. Can Dom catch Brock right here? He's tight on everything, right behind him. Some sort of last thing pass. Oh, man, what a good race. Wow, good race. All drivers are finished. In the two stop, Dominic Passion, and in the three, Rob Gillespie. I need my marshals out there from that one for the next one. Up next, race number 18, 21.5 Sportsman 2 WDA1 Main. Um. Art, where are you at, Art? Art, can you please announce this one? My daughter's in this race. Man, oh man, what a battle the entire time. Yeah, it was super close. It was good racing. I was going to come out of the gate hot, but I'm pretty irritated at the driver throwing his radio up in the air. I couldn't even see anything. And then he's up there just yapping away and then taking a step back on the rail. So it was pretty distracting. But anyways, yeah, I'm a little fired up now. So we'll go. Congratulations on the run. Yeah, thanks. You got it. Let me see where Dom is. I guess somebody, Dominic. Dude, amazing run out there. It looks like you were super comfortable with the car and uh, you just reeled it back in in that last minute, able to catch him. And I was thinking of some sort of last moment pass there, possibly over that, just going for the gusto. Didn't come, saving the car for the next one. Yeah, that, that back section, just a little blind, hard to try to push it there. But I mean, yeah, my four wheels feel so good right now. It's just so easy to drive. Um, just super happy with it. Congratulations, man. Brock was saying somebody's like moving up there on the stand. What's what's going on? Yeah, uh, I think when someone broke out in the beginning or something, they were moving hands or something. It was just a little distracting, but. Got it. Well, congratulations out there. You're doing very well, and we're looking forward to two wheels as well. You're strong in both this weekend, leading for the Team Associated. Yeah, thank you. Great job. All righty, guys. So we're going to get into this next race here, and uh, a little bit of drama up there on the stand. I think Sportsman 21.5 two wheels is just going to be as exciting, if not more. Let's tell you right now. Uh, looking for. I need a. I need a marshal at the end of the rhythm. And. Guys, we have 30 minutes left before we're going to start the raffle. We're going to do it during the racing, so make sure your tickets are in by now. So from what we hear, guys, it might have been Ethan Hoskins that was having issues up there, so I'm thinking that that might have been what Brock was talking about. <laughs> so possibly that's what it was, so some drama right there happening. Going to see how the next one goes. Joe Zaire Jr., so before the next A starts, is there any truth to a new TLR fifth scale coming in July? Um, as far as the TLR 5T or 5B, I don't believe so. I think there'll be something in the next year to year and a half is my thoughts. 
um, on the thing, knowing some inside info. I think that they're just trying to get parts back in stock. Like that's that's the main goal right now is not a new platform. It's to get parts back in stock because all of us have been out of parts realistically for Fist Scale for from uh, Losi and TLR for about a year when they had their issues with their system and they changed vendors for everything. So uh, as far as I know, no new Fist Scale as far as what we're concerned about. And uh, just hopefully getting parts back in July is the main main deal. I got nobody's pictures for this. And Russell in the second. Thank you all for tuning in, by the way. If you guys want to help support the live stream, go and click on this link. You can win yourself a B7, some MIP tools, and a slew of other goodies. Go and check it out. Thank you all for tuning in. Much appreciated. Hope you guys are enjoying the live coverage. All right. About to get this one going. Legendary racer. Oh, car down in the rhythm. That was that legendary racer son I was just talking about. McGuire looking good out here. Down the straightaway he goes. He's got a nice gap. Right now it looks to be about five seconds. Looks like it is almost exact. Oh, watch the straight. He go inside on the straightaway, please. The gazelle got hit by the leader. McGuire out there, that orange car with the black in the back. Maybe that's gray, silver, that's gotta be silver. Working through the rhythm section, that's your leader. Coming up on the white buggy now on the left side of the track. The purple wing, good marshal in there. We got 3.30 left to go in this one. Right now, the order is McGuire, Russ, Colton, Hudson, Mia, and Russell. Gap to the top two, 4.8, then 5.2. Back to Colton. Hudson, you're 3.1 back of Colton. McGuire still showing the way he's on the straightaway right now, rolling through the sweeper. He's up over the first double, second double. He's on the steps, coming to the step down. Brandon Foote. Much better Marshall out of footy that time. Very impressive. Clearly the Pacific Northwest is training him well. McGuire still showing the way. Looks like Hudson in the two. That is the blue in the rhythm right now. Trying to take out Brandon. I would do the same thing. One fifty left to go. Oh, watch the sweeper. Watch the sweeper go to the inside of the sweeper. Watch the straightaway outside on the straight. Clear. Your leader working through the rhythm section right now. Hudson in the two spot, Colton in the three, Mia in the four, Russell in the five. Watch the straightaway, be patient, work together. Your leader, orange, flame, silver in the back. Drive 
drive it nice and smooth out there. Just keeping it between the lines. That's what you got to do. 110 left to go in this one. 110 left to go. McGuire out front. Colton and Hudson. That's your top three. Mia sitting in the four spot. Oh, watch the left side. Oh, your leader with a little mistake. Also, outside on the straightaway. Now clear. We got 45 seconds left to go in this race. McGuire out front. Colton in the two. Hudson in the three. Mia in the four. Russell in the five. With only 35 seconds left to go, I will need some volunteers after this race. So please be thinking about assisting. Oh, Colton. Oh no, Hudson's out. Watch the straightaway go inside on the straight. That was your leader with a little bit of an issue there on the straightaway. Gets it sorted out though. Good marshal in there. The gazelle is prancing around the track. Dom, right there. Thank you, Harley. Good job. When you get to the line, you will be done. McGuire is going to take this one down. Winning A1 of 21.5 stock two-wheel drive buggy. Russell Prina done. Sportsman, that's what I said. Russ Bacon done. Sportsman. I was reading the other one. Watch the straight, watch the straight, watch the straight. Done. Mia Bittner done. All right, and that's a race. Colton going to go in the two spot, and Mia gets third. Nicely done. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy, grabbing that one. How's it feel? Feels great. A little nerve-wracking, but it was pretty fun. Right on. Well, you got at least one more aim main. Try and grab that one. Congratulations on the run. Who would you like to thank? Everyone again. It's just fun. Congratulations, buddy. Great job. Thank you. Got it. All right, guys, back to it. Nice job, McGuire. Good driving out there. Nice and clean. Well done. All right, I need marshals out of the last race, please. Marshals out of the last race. And I'm going to need a volunteer on the bucket. Vol volunteer. Wonderful. Do I got a marshal at the end of the straightaway? No, need one there too. End of the straight, please, sir. End of the straight. Thank you. Bucket, yep, perfect. I got everywhere else covered, so let's roll them out and check them in. This is 21.5 stock two, what? Okay. Need one at the top of the stairs as well. Thank you, sir. All right, we got you covered. Go ahead and uh, check them in. Check them in, check them in, check them in. Checker even. Jim Cooper. Ed Garcia. Gary Powell, I'm okay, thank you. Chuck Erickson, Dave Pirula, Rick Riley. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, there's Casey. Casey Ford. All right, straight closed, guys, straight closed. Tucker gonna, your TQ for this event, or this r class. Can I get some adult marshals? Can I get some adult marshals, please? One minute call. Okay. Start of the straightaway. I need one to help Eli. I need a marshal. Uh, yeah, right there, Josh and Cur uh, Carlos. Can you go by? Yep, top of the stairs. All right, 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. I'm already counting the one minute call. Uh, 
All right, let's get him out here then. All right, here's the order. Tucker, Casey, Chuck, Ed, Jim, Dave, Carrie, and Rick. All right, he out? Okay, here we go. All right. We'll leave the gap on five. Here we go. We've got drivers. We've got track marshals. Everyone is going to go on the tone in less than five. All right. We're green flag racing. Oh, keep it clean in the middle section. Be patient. Work together, drivers. Looks like Casey out front. Tucker right there in the two as they set down the straightaway. Watch, oh wow. That was exciting. Good marshal in there, good timing. Casey out front, Tucker in the two spot, Dave in the three. Casey starting to gap on Tucker a little bit. Gap, oh, triple after the triple, after the triple, clear. Your leader's in the double single right now. Then into the rhythm section, Casey out front, Tucker in the two, Dave in the three. Gap between the top two drivers, one point, actually six tenths of a second now. Oh, be there you go, good job. Got to give that position back. Perfectly done. Keep driving. Coming on the straightaway is clear. Oh, Casey up on two wheels. Tucker going to get by into the steps. All oh, green car. Multicolor, yellow, purple, green behind him. Oh, Tucker gets on the pipe. Casey going to slip by. We got 325 left to go in this one. Casey hugging that outside wall. Here comes Tucker, though. Oh, Tucker moved to the inside. Traction roll out of Casey at the top of the stairs. Dave Barilla right there behind him. Chuck Erickson also in that fight. So all five drivers nose to tail as they're coming through the front section. Yeah, that's correct. Carrie, you will see third and fourth coming your way next. Tucker down the straightaway. Casey up on two wheels again. Dave Burrell in that three spot. He's in the stairs as well, working behind Carey there. Chuck trying to close the gap. Oh. Oh, Tucker getting back by Casey with a nice clean move. Leaders in the rhythm section right now. Oh, that worked out. Tucker down the straightaway. Casey down the straightaway. Chuck Erickson now into the three spot. Dave going to fall to the four. Two oh, car left. down. Casey getting it wrong. Here comes Tucker right behind him. Chuck closing the gap to the top two drivers. Down the straightaway they go. Casey Ford out front. Tucker in the two. Chuck Erickson in the three. Dave in the four. They're heading through the rhythm right now. Casey starting to gap. Looks like it's going to be. Oh, my bad. I'm looking at the wrong green car. Yep, got it. Yeah, I was wondering why the gap was so long. My bad. It's my first day. It's fine. Tucker with a nice lead, actually. 4.4 seconds. He's over One the tables. Left. Down the straightaway he goes. Battle for that two spot. Still happening between Casey, Chuck, and Dave. Oh, your leader gets it wrong after the triple. But with 43 seconds left to go, his gap last time, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, go inside on the rhythm. 
inside. Triple is clear. That was Dave, your fourth spot. Tucker in the rhythm right now. His gap was 5.7 seconds last time through with 20 seconds left to go. He's just got to be smart at this point. Casey getting away from Chuck a little bit. Dave falling back quite a ways. So with only 10 seconds left to go. Watch in front of the driver's stand. That's clear. Carry panel done. Carrie's done, and Tucker's going to take a one. Let's see who finishes in second. It's going to be Casey Ford. Ford. Third spot's going to go to Chuck Erickson. Chuck Erickson done. Looking for Dave and Dave Rick. Done. There's Rick. And Dave Burrell. Dave Burrell's that's going to do it. So Tucker taking a number one there. Casey Ford going second. Chuck Erickson going third. Up next, race number 20, 17.5 Superstock 2 WD Buggy, A1 Main. Right on, buddy. Good job. Another good battle with Casey. Yeah. Right on. Who would you like to thank? Everyone. Congrats, buddy. Good job out there. Good luck in the next one. Thank you. All righty, guys. Now I got a race. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to need some help with Marshalls in this one. We're good. Tucker can help right there. I think we're good. I need someone at the bucket, please. Someone at the bucket. Yep, Jared always coming in clutch. All right, I got Marshalls. Let's check them in. Let's check them in. 17.5 Superstock two wheel drive buggy. Sam a Nicholson. main number one. Chris Yancey. Oh, watch Ethan straight, Chris. watch straight. Alex Stroud, hopeful loss. That is not what we're Matt looking Brisco. for on the opening lap Robert here. Yancey. J. Come J. on, Strapanopolis, get it together. Right one on lap, time. guys, one lap. Watch straight. Straight is closed. Straight is closed. All right, your TQ of this one, Mr. Mod Media himself, Matt Olson. Chris in the two spot. Xander in the three. Keaton in the four. G in the five. Robert in the six, Matt in the seven, and Alex Strapanopoulos in the eight spot. All right, we're good. Looks like the grid is set. All right, we've got drivers. We've got track marshals. Everyone is going to go on the tone in less than five. All right. Good start. Nice and clean. Xander checking up a little bit. All right, let's work together, guys. You're all fast. Good start for Matt Olson, though. He's working through the steps into the triple, airs it out. Xander going conservative, double single that time. Matt down the straightaway. He's at all white with the yellow wheels in the step down right now. Airs it out himself this time. Oh, watch after the triple, after the triple, clear. Matt Olson leading the way. Xander closing the gap though. 1.1, let's see how that evolves. Matt onto the tabletop. Xander going to double it. Down the straightaway they go. It was 1.1. Now it's 1.7. So Matt 
But a great line over the triple that time. Gets to the inside line. Xander, a little bit of a tap there. So there's Matt, all white in front of the driver's stand. Let's work together in the rhythm, guys. Your leader over the triple right now. Watch straight, go outside on the straight, outside on the straight, outside on the straight. That is clear. Your leader down the straightaway gonna be seeing traffic before too long in the step up. I know you guys are battling, but you got your leader right behind you, so be smart. Play nice together. Wow, that could have ended really well. Yep, as I suspected. Xander, watch straight, watch straight, clear. Xander, you're gonna have to work through that same set. Matt with a little bit of a mistake. Alex, he knows what to do, he's a professional. So Matt over the double, watch straight, watch straight, go outside on the straight, clear. Matt Olson, over the double. Rhythm section goes double, double, single. Sander with a little mistake there. Gonna give a little bit more time for Matt out front. He's over the double section in front of the driver's stand, in front of the steps. Two minutes left. He triples it, whipping it. He was reaching for the end of that one. Oh, makes a little mistake. Oh, here comes, uh, the, yeah, that's, that was, I thought that was Xander. That was Alex. Matt out front, Xander in the two, G in the three, Robert, Chris, Alex, Matt, and Keaton is your order. We got 130 left in this one. Your leader over the rhythm right now goes double, triple. After watching the mod race, I will say triple doubles faster in that back section. Xander is 3.8 back of Matt. Matt just circulating out front. He's working down the straightaway right now. Your leader, that all white car, well done. One minute left. Alex trying to just draft behind Matt. He knows what to do when Xander gets there though. Matt out front, Xander in the two. Oh, watch straight, that's clear. Oh, Xander catches the pipe, I think. Cone or pipe or something. Something caught him. Your leader down the straightaway in through the sweeper. All kinds of lean going on in that car. He's got all the grips. 20 seconds left. Xander's four seconds back now. So Matt's on cruise control. He's just got to bring it home at this point. He's on his final lap. Xander's going to get by for one more as well. Watch straight, watch straight, outside on the straight. Keaton Grant done. Keaton, you're done. Robert Yancey done. And taking this one down, Robert Matt done. Olsen. Matt Breesbo done. From tone to Xander tone, Xander going to go in the two spot Matt's looking for G. Done. Chris Still Yancey looking for done. G. There we Changing go, done. and All that's a race. Nice job out of Matt there. We'll need somebody to, for Matt to interview himself maybe. Is it on? Good, Chris. Oh, guys, can you move to the... Hey guys, can you guys move over? Okay, good race, nice and consistent. Good race, nice and consistent. <laughs> Uh, you put it down. I mean, you beat the heck out of my son, so <laughs> good job. I think he's got a little bit more pace on me when he's able to push it. Um, he's super fast. You know, we've been battling the entire time. He's just had those little inconsistent moments. Um, I pretty much ran decently flawless. This this double-triple, I, I need to learn to 
just for the, in the last minute to minute and a half, just like I just have to check up. Right. Um, just be smart about it. And uh, but the rest of it is awesome. Thank you to yourself. This is your car, you know, and uh, you've been prepping it, doing all the tires, doing everything, charging it up, doing the setup changes. So thank you to, uh, well, you for all the help uh, this weekend. The mod stuff's working good in here. Oh, you threw the pucks in as well. Yes, so sir. awesome. So that's a little bit different. I thought I had a little bit more, more bump out there than yep. before. So amazing uh, run. Thank you for the experience this weekend and, and much appreciate. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And you're very welcome. And uh, great race. Thank you, sir. Yeah, where's Xander? Xander. Thank you. Thank you. Xander, dude, good running out there with you. You had pace on me there. You were pushing, but you made a couple too many mistakes. Yeah, the I was my nerves were getting to me, you know, so I was just trying to make sure I was doing everything right, keeping it safe. So, but I mean, at the end there, I know I was catching you just a little bit. So, I mean, letting calming down the nerves a little bit more. Hopefully, I can try to beat you in the next one. Nah, looking forward to the good battle, man. I know uh, in about the last minute and a half, I can't do that to that. <laughs> double the double triple anymore so i gotta check up dude amazing run out there clean racing and uh, great job yeah you too thanks man I thank appreciate you buddy it. great job all right guys back to some more racing thank you okay i need my marshals out there i need my marshals out there who am i missing i've got i need a marshal for uh matt olson i need a volunteer for matt olson please thank you sean hey sean it's it's a nice set today just so you know they're, they're black. They're all black. All right. Uh, I need Casey, you marshalling up there? Okay. Let's roll them out. Check them in. One lap, guys. One lap. One lap. All right. Thank you, guys, for all the kind compliments. I need to learn to just check up. I, the car loses its ability in the last... For sure the last minute, but last minute and a half, it gets a little sketchy <laughs> going up and over that uh, that last double. So he threw in the, the puck system there, and I had a little bit more goose. So that was that was nice. You're fired order for this one. You're top qualifier, Ethan Hopkins, and the two spot, Doug Lurie. And the three, Kobe Unker. And the four, Caden Meeks. And the five, Ryan Moore. And the six, Al Sergio. And the seven, Rob Katnich. And in the eight, making the A-Main, Big J Knight. This looks to be a good Ryan battle here ahead of us. Marshall's be ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. All right, through and the triple, making it pretty smooth there. Ethan looking good. He's running the full mod puck system in there as well, in two wheel drive. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Oh, making a Ethan big mistake for Ethan, Ethan but able to marshal himself the right there. Yonker going to go to the two. Hoskins, Doug, and Yonker going to switch up in this one. We're going to see some major pace out of Ethan, though. He probably has one of the fastest cars out there, especially in qualifying. So see if he's able to inch up on these guys, but it's going to be hard to pass. Ah, he grabs the pipe there as he's pushing. Yonker all over Doug right now as we head down the straightaway. Yonker on it. Team Associated's top three, top four right now. Down the front stretch here. Doug and Kobe. Oh, getting a little bit wrong there for Yonker. Doug keeping her on all fours. Name of the game out here. Everything starts to fatigue, though. 
in the last little bit on this one. Stepping up top, stepping down. Oh, hitting the wall there for Yonker. Here comes Ethan. I think that was a cone hit. Thank you, Jared. It's up, Toby. Ethan. Your leader over the triple. Second over the triple. Third coming up over the triple. Four through the front section. Doug by the line right there. As we're following along with him. Halfway through this one. Oh, someone's sitting. Oh, that was one of your leaders. So Ethan getting tagged by the marshal's foot. He would have had a very hard time getting back and over, but he's back to status quo. Oh, Ethan with the cone hit. Three down to go, three down to two go. Two minutes to go, two done. minutes to go. Toby and Ethan still. Looks like Ryan Moore's up in the fourth line. Oh, there's a gaggle of cars on the on front of the stretch of the straight. Where's Yonker at? Ah, nowhere to be seen right now. Doug has at least together, guys. Together, three, together, four guys together. in between him and Yonker. Thank you, Jared, for checking up there. That was perfect. Walk the torture, walk the torture. All pink car trying to catch up to Doug in the red and white. Great away advantage over Toby right now. Toby coming in the front section. Thank you, Ryan Moore, for getting Toby in the room. I know you're battling with Caden right in front of you. Caden, you got second right on the rear wing. Walk in the straight. Thank you. That works itself out. It is Doug up and over triple. Toby up and over triple. It is only the top two cars on the lead lap now. Your top qualifier running a three position right now. It is Doug, Toby, Ethan, Caden, and Ryan battling it out. Doug going up the stairs. Toby going up the stairs with 30 seconds left in this one. He's can get it on the triple. Here comes Toby. They're in the same rhythm section now. Toby's pushing, trying to catch up. Toby getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. With 15 seconds left, Toby should make it by for one more. Toby down the straightaway. Here comes Toby into the table down the straightaway. As time has expired, Toby keep going, Toby keep going. Doug got to finish this lap. He just could put it on cruise control. Through the table, down the straightaway. Taking A1, a pro stock two will drive by. Doug Lurve. Toby bringing home second. Toby Ethan Yonko bringing done. home third. Ethan then it's Ryan, Caden, Rob, All Jared, and finished. Alex. Set your cars down immediately. Come on out in corner, Marshall. And I need one experienced volunteer. One experienced volunteer. One adult experienced volunteer, please. Five two WD buggy. A one main. Good running out there, man. Uh, able to just keep it consistent. Guys at the beginning may put it on a little push and. Uh, just consistency is key out here. Yeah, I think I finally uh, pulled the boogers out of my program yesterday. I drove pretty bad <laughs> yesterday, made a lot of mistakes. Um, kind of just came in today, make as many least mistakes possible, and just kind of reset, and it seems to be working out. Right on, man. Congratulations on the run, and uh, any changes going to the next one? Got to keep it the same. Just uh, keep the head on, screwed on straight. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you All righty, guys, back to you. Okay, guys, two laps, two laps. Brock Champlin, Dominic Passioni, Rob Gillespie.
Carly Yoshii, Blake Champlin, Brandon Foote, Austin Cracknell, Shane Reed. Okay, straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Your fire in order for this one. Your top qualifier, Brock Champlin in the two spot. Dominic Passione in the three. Rob Gillespie Jr. in the four. Harley Yoshi in the five. Austin Cracknell in the six. Mr. Brandon Foote in the seven. Blake Champlin. And in the eight, the All eight, righty, guys. We're back on it. Let's see if we can have another good battle here right, in between Mark Brock and Dominic. They were kind of heads and tails faster in four-wheel drive. See how this one goes. Dom has been very fast in two-wheel. Oh, again, a little off kilter, but able to wrangle it back in. He always has a little bit better line than Brock up and over that triple. Sticks to that pipe a little bit more. See what's happening here. And he goes, he shoots a little wide on that. Oh, getting it wrong for Brock. He's going to lose only one position with the Super Marshall job right there. He was trying to whip that thing, saying, I think I could fly, but it said, uh, no. So Dom going to be taking that one over. We're going to have Brock in the two. And it looks like the timing and scoring is all off. Somebody hit a Up and through the triple here. Dom still in the lead of this one. Down the straightaway. Something's definitely off on timing and scoring. Figure it out. Through the doubles. Oh. Double triple. It is going to be Dominic and Brock Champlin. For some reason, the other racers got a jump on the beginning lap. Is what happened because it looks like the guys that started behind the line got up, but that those are your leaders right there. Coming through up and over the triple. Dom and Brock taking two different line choices there. Oh, looking high, looking low, getting high sided. Brock laying off the power. We got Yoshi. Oh, Brock going to go over. Just turning it over. Yoshi going to go to the three right now. Or to the two, I should say. You'll see them change up with 2.50 left to go. Good run in there with 2.30 left to go. Dominic, Yoshi, Champlin. Current running order. We're going to be following the battle right now between Yoshi and Champlin. Through the doubles down the straightaway. And it looks like Brock going to take that one back over here from Tacoma Zone. Harley Yoshi. Dom getting it wrong. It's going to get a little bit closer right now. Giving up a lot of that lead here that Dom has built. Sometimes when you're up front, you lose that momentum. Oh, man, now Yoshi not able to put it. Oh, Dom giving it up for nothing. He had it. It was over with two minutes left to go. So possibly maybe his tire's getting a little bit weird. Let's see if he's able to push and catch up here to Brock. But Brock goes to the lead now. Dom making two very uncharacteristic mistakes right there. Coming through the double. Oh, Brock just hitting it wrong. Dom goes by. Man, oh, man. So these guys just having issues. Oh, a little bit of a bobble there from Brock. Dom right ahead. These guys pushing the pace around the track here. 
Dom has this one and Brock wants it. Nice and tight here. Oh, grabbing it. Both of them. A little bit of a bobble coming up. Oh, they're able to both make it by. That lap traffic right there was flipped over on the face of the jump. That was Brandon Foote. Oh, up on two wheels here for Brock. Brock all over him like white on rice. Coming up and over. Oh, Brock, he leads him almost into that right there where he followed his line over it just inches off their difference. He hit it a little bit further inside there than, than Dom. Dom touched it with his wheels and chassis slapped there for Brock as he followed him through the same line. So that's gonna be with 30 seconds left to go without Dom making a mistake. That's gonna be all since she wrote. So Brock up on two wheels again, looking like this car's a handful for him as he tries to push it around this very difficult layout. Dom having this one, he's coming up on some lap traffic, saying beat it. With eight seconds left to go, this is gonna be their last lap as Brock is majorly pushing and trying all he can. Dom just has to finish this one up. Oh, Brock gets tomahawked after that one after he flipped over himself. Dom goes over and he's gonna take this one. Good run out of Dom. Wow. In the two spots, Brock Champlin, Rob Gillespie bringing home third, and Harley Yoshi in the fourth. Then it's Austin, Blake, Brandon, and Shane. All drivers are finished. Up next, race number 23. 17.5 Masters for WD Buggy. Be main. On, man, a good battle there with Brock Champlin. And uh, I was thinking, I'm like, man, you had it gone. It was over. And you made two mistakes coming over here, giving it up. Oh, uh, yeah. I just got a little squirrely. I mean, I got nervous, dude. It's just scary being out front, especially with him. I know how hard he can just, when he goes into that, like, I don't know, fifth gear, I call it, dude. And it's just so scary. But luckily, I was able to stay clean and keep it out front. But made it happen man i can even see a little bit of the nerves there at the end as you're about to take the win in that one you grabbed it congratulations man and uh hey best of luck in in the a2 well anybody you want to thank uh team associated proline reedy wits eaton's ircr more rc old track but still still family with all the people here but congratulations buddy great job thank you all righty crazy battling Volunteer Marshall for the end of the rhythm, please. One volunteer Marshall for the end of the rhythm. Thank you, Dayton. Okay, guys, let's roll it out. One lap, one lap. Dalen Weed, Carrie Powell, Daniel Gallegos, Steve Anderson, Ryan, Dale, Mark Ibram. Man, oh man, so what do you guys think about that? Dom grabbing that one. Straight away is low. Straight away is low. What a good battle. Dan Call, Dan Call, you are in this one. Dan Call. Looks like Brock was not Dan happy Dan after Dan that one. one. Your Car not to his liking. In the two spot, Harry Powell. In the three spot, About to get this one going for 17.5 Masters. Oh, Four-wheel drive, B main event. In the four spot, Danny Gallegos. In the five spot is Dan. I will have Chris check in out on that spot, counter right now. In the seven spot, Thank you all for the support. Anderson. And in the eight spot is Ryan. Red one's in the eight. Red one's in the eight. And Danny, you're in the four. The grid was just set. We'll give him one minute. One minute has started. No.
Okay, looks like Dan's on his way up the stand. He's going to be in the five spot. You're in the five spot, Dan. Dom will get you set. Come on, Dom. And Art calls your gazelle. Come on. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. That was a little early there, Dio, but you stopped. <laughs> work together, guys. Work together. Watch the burn. Work together. Work together. Shane's out there risking life and limb. Oh, I should have got a volunteer for Shane so he can watch his dad run. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch front section, watch front section. Kyle K, your food's here. Kyle K, your food's here. Watch front section, watch front section. It is Dio out front. Carry power right there in the two. Then it's Dan Call in the three. Watch the berm, watch the berm. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch the stairs. Watch the stairs. First and second getting into each other. Third running into the marshal's legs. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. We got a four-horse race out front. It is Dio, Carey, Dan Call, and Mark Ibrahim. Watch straight. Go wide. Go wide. Go wide on the straight. Go wide on the straight. Go wide on the straight. It's clear. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. That was third place. Dan Call upside down. Brandon Foote, I think I'm going to start calling him Twinkle Toes. Hopefully Harley takes that back home and gets everybody back home to call you Twinkle Toes. Watch the tables, watch the tables, watch the tables, watch the tables. That was Mark Ireheim. He was running in the four spot. It is Dio out front, Carey Powell the two. Now Danny Gallegos into the three. Danny Gallegos is that white, red, and green ride. Your leader, solid white. If you look at it closely, I believe it's got snowflakes and silver on his body. And the two spot is Kerry Powell. That is a black, gold, and green. Green wing going through the rhythm. Your battle for the lead through the short shoot into the tables. Down the straightaway now. It's Dio and Kerry. Danny Gallegos is about three straightaways back. It's Dio out front through the rhythm section. Remember, guys, two of you bump up into the A main. Watch the berm, guys. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Two minutes left. You heard the lady. Three down, two to go. Your order is Dio, Kerry, Danny, Dan, Gallon, Mark, Steve, and Ryan. I believe there is a battle out front for the lead between the solid white car and the white, green, white, red, and green ride coming into the rhythm now. Those are your leaders. Table, table, down the straightaway now. Hot lap of the race is Danny Gallegos with a 19-3. Dio's just trying to keep it clean and smooth. Watch in the berm, watch in the berm. Danny Gallegos out front, Dio in the two. Steve, you got second right behind you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Dayton. Perfect on the marshal there. It's Danny Gallegos out front. Dio right behind him in the two. With one minute one left minute in left. this one. This is our master 17-5 four wheel. I'm surprised these guys can even make it ten min or five minutes without napping. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Sorry, that was a triple. It's been a long weekend. It's Danny and Dio up the stairs. Danny getting it wrong. Dio back out front. Watch the berm, watch the berm. That is the battle for a second.
Ross the triple. Carrie Powell now into the two spot. We got 18 seconds left in this one. Carrie should be caught in the line. This should be a last lap shootout for the transfer position between Carrie and Danny. Danny tapping out. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. That's gonna put Dan Call up into the three. That is time. Carrie Powell done. Carrie Powell bringing home second. Dio out there on a victory lap. You guys will be done when you cross the line. You'll be done when you cross the line. Daniel Gallegos done. Steve Anderson done. Wait on Dale a few Lee more, a few more, for me, few Ryan more. Done. Dio, you're Mark not done Ryan yet. Done. Yeah, you got to cross the line still. Watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway. Watch the tables. He's still on the clock. And that is race taking that one and get the bump the into the A main. Dio and Carrie Powell. Marshalls, grab your blowers. Marshalls, grab your blowers. You're going to be bumped into race 46. Race 46, Dio and Carrie, race 46. Up next. Up now, 13 5 four wheel drive masters. masters for I will definitely need volunteers after this race. Volunteers after this race. I, sh I probably need a couple volunteers now, too. You're in the next race again. I need a volunteer marshal for Dio, please. I need a couple marshals, please. A couple volunteers, a couple volunteers. You don't need the bucket. I need a marshal in the rhythm. I need a marshal at the end of the triple. This is race number 24. Thank you, Sean Stewart. Thank you, and oh, no, Scott beat you to it. And Tony's on his way. So you guys get to fight over who gets what. <laughs> I'm not arguing, okay. <laughs> I need a marshal at the top of the stairs. Steve, you going to the top of the stairs? Thank you, Steve. Okay, guys, roll them out. One lap, one lap. Ryan Garrett, Alex Stroud, hopeful loss, Art Scrimo, Chad Bartlett, The Tree, Ron Reed. Straightaways closed, straightaways closed. Watch the rhythm. Your firing order for this one is going to be your BQ is going to be Alex in the two spot, Ron Reed in the three spot, Arts Grimmo in the four, Andy Liedemann in the five, Chad Bartley, and in the six, Ryan Garrett. Art, you're in the three. See the big three on the wall? I know it's kind of hard to see. You guys are getting old. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Your truck tires on your buggy? Yeah. Yeah, but you still want it. Watch the triple, guys. Watch the triple. Watch the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together.
Work together, guys. It's out, it's out front. Andy in the two, Art right there in the three. Andy getting it wrong in the front section. That puts Art up in the two. Here comes Ronald Reed. Your leader getting it wrong through the rhythm. Watch the straight, guys. Watch the straight. It's clear. Watch the front section. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Tough break there for Art. He's losing two spots in that one. Then he sends again on the straightaway, and it worked out. It's wrong. This ain't right. Yeah, I don't think Ron got a 10 second lap, sorry. We'll get that fixed. Your leader is coming through the rhythm now. The battle for a second between Andy and Art coming through the rhythm. Watch getting on the straight, watch getting on the straight. That is the leader going through the sweeper. Ryan, that is your leader's working right there with you. Leader's in front of you, second and third right behind you. Andy getting it wrong in the berm. Art getting collected. Scott fix, trying to fix the body. Ron getting the short end of that stick. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Watch front section. That is your leader upside down. Here comes Art Scrimmo up the stairs. Not too far back from Alex. Watch out behind you guys. Work together guys, work together, work together. It is Alex out front, Art in the two. Battle between Andy and Ron. Looks like Chad's balancing it off the end of the straightaway wall. His wing's halfway held on. Art trying to jump over a triple in the lead. Not able to make it happen. Art trying to jump over, getting on the straightaway. Not able to make it work. We got 120 left in this one. Art getting it wrong in the front section. One minute left. Jesus. Last time she showed up here, I didn't even recognize her. She comes up and says hi, I'm like, hi. Watch the berm, guys, watch the berm. It's Alex out front, Art in the two. Watch getting on straight, guys. It's Alex, Art, Andy, Ron, and Chad. Art's just out there trying to keep it in cruise control, trying to keep Andy behind him. As time is about to expire, Art should make it by for one more, and I believe Andy's going to get caught at the line. The tree done. You'll be done Chad when you cross the line, done. guys. You'll be done when you cross the line. Alex Stroud, hopeful loss done. Ron Reed done. Ryan Wait Garrett on one done. more through the tables. Marshalls grab the blowers. Marshalls grab the blowers. Ours and that's a race. Done. Taking that Our one. Alex finished. and Art bumping into the A main. <laughs> Alex and Art, you'll be race 47, 47. Up now, 17.5, four wheel drive buggy. 17.5 stock for WD buggy. B main.
I need marshals, guys. Marshals, marshals, marshals. Thank you, Deluge. I need marshals, guys. I need two more marshals. I need two more marshals. I need one in the front section over here and one at the end of the straightaway. Thank you, Tony Sadison. And thank you, Daryl Ma. Okay, guys, one lap, one lap. Caleb Fraga, Mike Hansen, Hakian Steinert, Jackson Bailey, Jacob Spera, Skyla Bangerter, Dan Call, Carl Hilberg. Straight away's Daniel closed, guys. Straight away's closed. Dale. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. You're firing order for this one. You're BQ again. Is Dio in the two spot? Is Carl in the three? Skyler in the four? Dan in the five? Jackson in the six? Mike Hansen in the seven? Hayden in the eight? Jacob in the nine? Danny and in the ten? Caleb. In the seven is Hayden. Hayden's in the seven. Drivers ready, marshals ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Look, Carl to the inside of Dio early. Work together, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm, guys. It's clear. Watch straight away. Go wide on the straight. Go wide on the straight. Go inside. Go okay, inside now. Inside now. It's clear. It's Carl out front. Dio in the two. Jackson Bailey up into the three. Watch front section. Watch front section. Dio getting it on. Getting on the straight. Collecting Jackson. Deluge almost had that sweet catch. Watch the berm, guys. Watch the sweeper. Okay, it's clear. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. Watch the front section. I'm going to try to use deluge at the end of the rhythm in all the mod classes. That would be fantastic. He's pretty good at catching them while they're flipping through. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the end of the straight. He's broke. He's broke. Watch the end of the straight. Just throw them on the wall behind you or by the speaker. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Out front it is Carl, that is the pink and blue ride. In the two spot it is Dio again, that is a solid white with the silver snowflakes. In the three is Jackson Bailey. Carl getting it wrong in the sweeper. That puts Dio out front. Carl on the two. Jackson Bailey. Carl getting it wrong in the berm. Now Jackson to the two. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Your leaders coming through traffic into the triple. Uh, it should be Jackson Bailey out front. Dio in the two, Carl in the three. 
with 2.10 left in this one. Two minutes left. Watch the straight, go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight. Watch the front section. Watch the front section, watch the front section. The battle's starting to heat up for a second between Dio and Carl down the straightaway. Watch start of straight, watch start of straight. Now it's Danny Gallegos into the three, Carl in the four. Jacob, you got third right behind you and fourth right behind him. So when they come up on you, just give them a little bit of room. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, Jacob. It is Jackson Bailey out front coming through the rhythm. That is the red, black, and blue ride. Jumping huge on the table onto the straightaway. Four down, one to go, four down, one to go. Watch the berm, watch the berm. Good catch there, Dayton. That could have been bad news all over it. With less than 30 drivers, less than 30, it's Jackson, Dio, Carl, Skyler banging her up into the four spot. Watch top of the stairs, watch top of the stairs. Jackson Bailey's out there on cruise control. He's starting to catch up on the battle uh, for third. Looks like Carl or Skyler taking over third. That is time on the clock. Finish done. lap, you're on. Finish lap, you're on. Steiner done. Dan Carl done. Jacob Spare Here done. comes Carl. Battle for a second down the straightaway. Skyler Whoa. Dio done. Taking that one, Dio, by Jackson less Bailey than a done. tenth. Carl Hilbert done. So it's going to be Jackson Bailey and Dio jumping, in, jumping into A2. Hey, Joel, how do I make them bump into the A2s? Or do we have to manually do it? Up next, race number 26, 13.5 Superstock for WD Buggy, B Main. Let's get some marshals out there. I need one at the end of the rhythm. And I believe that is all. One more marshal, one more marshal, end of the rhythm. One more guys. One more, all right, there you go. Check them in, guys, take your lap. Alex Stroud, hopeful loss. One lap, Mark one Peterson. lap. Mike Judd, Sean Smith, Corey Coyne. 
Okay, David after Brown. that, Brian was the David. last one, so straightaway is now Justin closed. Hoffman. Watch the triple. Brian End of the Hoffman's. rhythm. End of the rhythm. End of the rhythm. Watch the straightaway. Go outside. Okay, this is your B main of 13.5 Superstock. In the one is going to be Alex. In the two is Brian. In the three is Mayday. In the four is Sean. In the five, Justin Coffin. In the six, Mark. In the seven, Mike. In the eight, Eric. In the nine, Corey. And in the ten, Brent, David. Corey and David are your bump ups, I believe. Okay, we have marshals. We have drivers. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's get this one going at the sound of the tone. Let's have a clean first lap, please. Oh, watch the doubles. Watch the doubles. Brian roll it over. Day couldn't go anywhere. Had to get had collected onto him. So Brian gonna go to the four. Day drop it. Gets hit at the end of the triple. Let's keep it smooth, guys. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth. Day gonna have to work his way back up to the top. Watch the tables. It is clear. So far, looks like our leader is Alex. Gets it wrong going to the straightaway. He's still our leader, though. Brian Hoskins wrecked off the start back into the two spot. Sean in the three, and Eric in the four. Sean gets it wrong. Eric to the three. So that's going to put Watch going into rhythm. It is clear. In the three spot now is I don't know who that is. I think that might be Justin into the four. David in the five. Brian in the three. They're all right there. Eric Brown up to the two spot. He is the blue and orange car down the straightaway. Alex is. Alex is the blue. Actually, hold on. I can't find this car. Oh, he's going down the straightaway. Watch the doubles. That is Alex. The green and black car going up the stairs. Eric Brown up to the two spot. He is the blue. And Orange Brian gets it wrong on the stairs. Brian was in the three spot. Fast lap is Eric Brown with a 17-2. Let's keep it smooth, guys. Let's keep it smooth. Dave May working his way back up to the top. Right behind Justin, David, and Brian. Watch the straightaway. Go outside. Go outside. Couldn't do anything right there. Looks like everyone got loose going on a straightaway. So Day up to the six. Brian in the five. Brian gets it wrong. So your bump up spots are Alex and Eric. Alex, the green and black down the straightaway. Eric Brown, the blue and orange, <coughs> going into the doubles. 4.9 separates them. Your leader going into the tables. Second going into the rhythm. In the three spot is David Brent. He was in 10th. He was one of the bump ups. He's all the way up to the three. He has a lot of time to make up on Eric though. New personal best for Alex, 17-5. Justin, 18-3. Day, 18-5. Sean, 18-4. Watch the triple, watch the triple. You okay, Darren? I didn't see what happened necessarily. So Alex, our leader, going into the rhythm. Double, double, single. No, double, triple. Eric Brown going into the rhythm section. Justin Coffin now up to the three. Day in the four. David in the five. Alex has an eight-second lead over Eric. One minute left. Eric has a 15.5 second lead over third. Eric, the blue and orange coming through traffic. 
That is second place. Watch those doubles. Watch the doubles. It is clear. Day May up to the three spot now. Watch going into the rhythm. Watch going into the rhythm. Work together, guys. Work together. <coughs> Alex going double, double, single now. With 20 seconds remaining, Alex down the straightaway. Eric into the rhythm. Day going into the triple. He's battling with Sean for that three spot. Oh, no, never mind. Day is now going on to the straightaway. Got it wrong going to the straightaway. Eric gonna, gonna go around Day for that lap. Not on the same lap. Watch the trip. Okay, watch, he's going to the triple. He's going to the Mark triple. Peterson done. Alex Stroud hopeful loss done. Okay, Alex done, Mark, Mark done. done. Eric Mike, done. Eric done, David Day done. done. Couple David more, Brian couple done. more. David done, Brian, Brian done. done. Corey Coyne done. And Justin, Justin done. done. Your winner and your bump up is Alex, 16.505. Second bump up is Eric Brown, 16.511. And Day going to get the three with a Up now is race 27. Race number 27. 13, 13 5, five pro, pro stock, stock four wheel drive buggy. Be main. We need a marshal at the end at the end of the triple. Brian's got that in a straightaway. We have Mike. One more marshal. One more marshal out at the end of the triple, please. One more. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, get your one lap, guys. Get your one lap. This is the B main of 13.5 Wheeler. Xander Ingerson. Try these guys trying to bump Jackson up Hoskins. into A2 Rob of 13.5 Buggy. 13.5 Wheeler. Garrett Watch the bull. Dave Watch Winston. the bull. Work together, guys. Jared you only Knight. get one lap. Work together. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Okay, that's one way to do it, Jarrett. Watch the tables, tables, tables. Okay, your order for this one is Rob in the one, Jarrett in the two, Carlos in the three, Daxton four, Xander five, Austin in the six, Alex in the seven, Sam in the eight, Dave in the nine, and Garrett in the ten. Dave and Garrett are your bump ups from the C main. We have marshals. We have drivers. We are going to get this one going at the sound of the tone. Let's have a clean first lap, guys. Let's have a clean first lap. Rob getting a little bit twitchy on the stairs and down and the bull, but keeps it together over the triple and rhythm. Watch straight away. That is clear. Okay, Rob staying out in front. Carlos to the two. Austin to the three. Jarrett dropping down to the four. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. I think that was, oh, that was Carlos and Dave. So Carlos going to fall to the nine. Watch the straightaway. Watch the straightaway. Watch the straight. Watch the straight. That was Daxon and Jerry, I believe. Austin Riley, the green and purple, taking over the one spot. Rob gets it wrong going to the straightaway. I mean, going over the rhythm. So that's going to put Xander Emerson, the orange and purple, in two over the doubles. Sends it in there. Sam Ford in the three spot. He is the checkered flag. 
orange and silver car down over the tables now. Xander going to the three. So Austin Riley is our leader going over the rhythm. Sam over the triple. Xander gets it wrong at the end of the triple. So Alex up to the three. Garrett in the five and Rob in the six. Austin Riley going, gets it wrong in the rhythm. That's our leader in the rhythm. He gets it wrong, here comes Sam. Sam going double, triple, gets it wrong. Triple, double, Alex gets it wrong. So your top three all getting it wrong on the rhythm. They're all fairly spread apart now. Sam gets it wrong on the stairs. That's gonna put Alex in the two. Over the triple they go. Garrett in the mix of it now with Xander and Rob. They're all going over the triple. Garrett comes out in the three. I don't know how you guys all got through that without hitting each other. So Garrett in the three, Rob in the four, Sam in the five, Alex in the six. I mean Xander, Alex in the two spot. Your leader is Austin Riley going through the triple now, green and purple. Alex in the two, the all white car. Oh, Alex gets it wrong in the rhythm. Rob trying to catch him, he's in the three. He is the blue and white car. We still have 2.10 remaining. Gary going to the rhythm. That car is going to the rhythm. Fast lap is Alex with a 16.2. Austin 16.5. Rob 16.7. Two minutes left. Our leader going into the rhythm. Alex into the stairs. Rob has caught Alex. He's going into the bowl with him. Gets it a little wrong on those stairs though. Through the rhythm they go now. Alex double, I mean triple double gets it wrong. Rob gonna be right on his wing. Down the straightaway they go now. Alex has it, Rob wants it. We still have a minute 30 remaining. Alex finding that rhythm on those stairs. Rob a little slow on him. That's where Alex tends to pull away. Through the doubles they go now. Alex gets it wrong. Rob right there now. Rob goes a little too far on the triple. Triple double goes Alex. Step up triple goes Rob. Down the straightaway they go now. Garrett, you have third right behind you. Alex gets it wrong. Rob trying to get there. Can't take it, get the advantage. Cone was hit. Oh, Rob gonna get it wrong at the end of the triple. That's gonna give Alex some breathing room with 40 seconds remaining. It is Austin, Alex, Rob, Xander, Jarrett, Sam, Davey, Garrett, Daxon, and Carlos. Watch the bull, watch the bull. Austin, the green and purple car. Double, double, single. Alex coming into the rhythm. Rob, not too far behind him, trying to see if he can get advantage. Gets it wrong though. With 10 seconds remaining, Alex gonna make it by, and Rob gonna make it by. Watch, okay, never mind. Watch King on his straight, watch King on his straight. With time expiring, Carlos, Xander, Jared, Austin, you're done. Jared Knight done. Sam Everyone Pinto. else coming down the straightaway. That is Gary a Pinto race. Done. So your bump Jason up to the 8-2 are going to be Austin done. and Alex. Austin, Austin, Austin 17501. Alex a 17507 and Rob going to get three with a 17-509.
Up now is race 28. Thank you guys for blowing off the track. Modified B main. Up next. So race Austin and Alex, you guys are bumping Modified up into the A. Ability. Make sure to look B main. at the schedule and see when race when A2 is, I believe it's 36 or 39. I'm not sure though. I believe we have all of our marshals. Yes, we do. So you guys can check them in and get your lap. Oh no. I don't know. I guess just one. I don't know. Who cares? Triple B. Shane Weed. Race and Jason Lutman. Taylor Daggs. Watch Alex the double. Anthony Bidner. Watch the straightaway, watch straightaway, watch straightaway, watch straightaway. He's going to the triple. Put him on the rhythm, put him on the rhythm. Thank you, sir. Okay. Your order is Taylor in the one, RBQ. Shane in the two, Alex in the three, Jason in the four, Anthony in the five, and, Ta and Tyler in the six. So, Alex, you are in the three. Anthony, you're in the five. Okay. We have drivers. We have marshals. We're going to get this one going at the sound of the tone. Let's have a f clean, try to keep it a clean first lap. Taylor starting us out. Shane adding some pressure. Alex trying to jump into the inside of Shane, but checks up. Jason not being able to do the double, triple, or triple double. Shane hits the well. Stays on all four. Oh, no, I think that was Taylor hit the wall. Shane gets it wrong on the stairs. Gonna let everyone go by. Alex gets it wrong at the end of the triple. Top two will bump into the A2 of Modified Wheeler. Taylor, our leader, into the stairs. Bittner in the two spot. Jason in the three. Shane in the four. Tyler in the five. And Alex in the six. Can't believe Bittner's actually in the two. Up the stairs they all go. Taylor over the triple. Taylor hits the pipe. Bittner up to the one. Taylor falling to the two. Gets it wrong. Jason to the two. Taylor going to fall to the three. Takes back over the two spot. Jason cases it on the table, but stays on all fours. Tyler Bailey up to the three spot now. Over the triple he goes. Shane in the five. Your leader is orange, blue, and yellow down the straightaway. Second, Taylor, white and blue. Third, Jason, green, white, blue, and red. Tyler, the blue and orange, and Shane, the green, and, watch that in a triple, green and blue. So Shane gonna take over the three spot with Tyler getting it wrong at the end of the triple. Tyler going to the four spot now. Jason falling to the five. We still have three minutes, so plenty of time. Bittner up to the one, Taylor in the two still. They're right there, Bittner gets it wrong on the tables, Taylor to the one. Those are our two bump ups. Bittner still on Taylor's back wing though, trying to get to the one. Shane to the three, Tyler does a backflip. Stays on all fours right behind Shane in the four. Jason trying to make up some time on those guys, but he has Alex right on his back wing. Down the straightaway, they all go now. Fast lap is Shane Weed with a 16-1. Tyler getting it wrong on the stairs. That's gonna put Shane to the two, to the three, and he's not too far behind your top two. He's now 3.2 away. Bittner gets it wrong at the end of the triple, lands on all fours though. Shane going step up triple. I believe everyone's going step up triple on this. Bittner gets it wrong going on the straightaway. That's going to give Taylor some room and put Shane Wade on his back door. Two minutes left. Point five separates them over the triple. They go now. Step up triple. They both go into the tables. Bittner trying to pull away. Shane almost gets it wrong on the tables but stays on his wheels. Into the doubles they go now. Into the stairs. Into the drop off. Bittner has it, Shane wants it. A minute 35 remaining. Bittner holding the last transfer spot. Shane trying to get it to bump up in the A2.
Over the triple, into the rhythm they go. Shane almost cases it. Right there behind Bittner. Bittner, Bittner gets it wrong on the straightaway. Fast lap is Bittner with a 16 flat. So Shane going to move to the two, trying to stay on all fours. The run away from Bittner. Taylor down the straightaway. He is in the one spot. Oh, Watch the straightaway. Left. It is clear. Shane with a 16-1. Taylor, 16-2. Taylor, step up triple. Shane, step up triple. Nope, double, double, single. Bittner, triple, double. Bittner making up some time on Shane with 35 seconds remaining. The gap is 1.2. Up the stairs they go. Over the triple, Shane goes. Over the triple goes Bittner. Bittner, double. I mean, triple, double. Get, rolls it on the pipe, though. 20 seconds remaining. Watch going to the rhythm. It is clear. It looks like Taylor going to make it by for one more. Shane can maybe. With eight seconds remaining, it's going to be close. Oh, Shane makes it by. Let's see. Will Bittner. Bittner makes it by. So next time you cross the line, it is over. Taylor, Taylor done. Tyler done. Be done. Watch going in straight away. Shane done. Jason Shane done. done. Racing and Jason has been done. Bittner done. Anthony Your Bittner winner done. is Taylor. 18.505. Shane 18.513. And Bittner 18.517. So your two bump ups are Taylor Dags and Shane Weed. Up next, race number 29, 17.5 stock super stock 2WD truck, B main. I'm going to need some volunteers for this one. I only have five from that one. Four. No, that's five. I have Alex, I have Shane, I have Tyler, I have Dags, I have Jason. I need one at the end of the rhythm, end of the triple, and into the doubles. Three marshals, please. Three marshals. Okay, four. I forgot about the top of the stairs. We've been good on volunteers so far, so can we please get some? Let's keep the program moving. Thank you, Daryl. Three more, please. Three more. Three more. Three more, please. End of the rhythm, stairs, and into the doubles, please. We need marshals, please, please, please. Thank you, Bittner. Going to get the front section. Yeah, Ed, right there. Thank you. Then I just need one more. One more marshal. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Check it in, guys. Get your one lap. Get your one lap. Jackson Bailey. This is Cartwright. race Gray 29, 17, Mike five stocks, David super, Damon. 17, five stocks, David super Johnson. stock truck. Tony Sadison. Brian Hoskins. The B main. Unfortunately, Jesse not going to be able to race for this one. Had to go back to Arizona early. 
Okay, so your order for this one is going to be Brian in the one. Brian going into the tables now. Then we have Landon Cartwright in the two. Jesse in the three. We're going to leave that open. David in the four. Cooper in the five. Damien in the six. Mike in the seven. Eight. Tony. Nine. Jackson. Ten is David. Jackson and David, I believe, bumped up from the C main of truck. We have marshals. Start. We have drivers. Okay, drivers ready. Marshals ready. At the sound of the tone. Watch the end of the triple. It is clear. So far, Cooper, Lindsay went from five to three. Right behind Landon, looking for an opening. Can't find it. Day in the four spot. Tim, Tim Baker. Tim Baker. Brian through the rhythm. Cooper taking over the two, going into the tables, landing to the tables, Day to the tables, and David to the tables. Watch the straightaway, it is clear. Cooper tapping the wall, stays in the two, landing in the three, gets it wrong, going to the stairs. Cooper, Day, and David gonna go by. Jackson, Bailey right there behind them in the silver truck. Mike Hansen right behind Jackson. Jackson gets it wrong. He, watch outside, go outside on the straight. It is clear, good job, Brian. Landing gets it wrong going his straightaway. He's gonna fall to the four. Cooper in the five, Day to the two spot. This is the go into a, go into the A main of the 17-5 truck, I believe. Watch the straightaway. Watch straightaway. It is clear. Oh, Cooper breaking down, unfortunately. If it's a ball cut, please try to pop it back on. Brian Hoskins is the yellow and orange down the straightaway now. In the two spot is David. I didn't see what happened today. David is the black, yellow, and pink. Day, white, blue, and yellow going into the bowl. Watch the rhythm. Your leader going into the rhythm right now. Brent right there in front of Day. Day not too far behind him. They're fighting for that transfer spot. Not too far behind them though is Landon. He's battling with Tony for that four spot. 19-6 for Day, new personal best. Fast lap is Landon Cartwright of a 19 flat. Davey gets it wrong at the end of the triple. Mean. Day gonna go to the two spot. Mean Gene, Mean Gene. Mean Gene for the raffle. Bryson Sadison. What size are you, Gene? New fast lap is landing with an 18-8 now. He's not too far behind Day and David gets the wheel to wheel with David goes rolling. With two minutes remaining, let's see if Landon can pull something to get into the top two. LMR, LMR. Watch, nope, it is clear. Your leader coming in the traffic. He is the yellow, orange, and white car going up the stairs into the drop off. That is Brian Hoskins, our leader. In the two spot, still Day trying to defend off David. David gets it wrong. Landon gonna go to the three. Landon gonna bring some big pressure to Day. Into the rhythm, a minute 20 remaining. Over to the tables they go, down the straightaway. Day gets a little loose, holds off. Landon into the doubles. Landon gonna rear end the end of Day. The end of days. So, Day now has some breathing room. David gets up to the three, gets it wrong. Landing going to go to the three. Your leader going to the stairs. Watch the straightaway. Go inside. It is clear. Watch straightaway. Go inside. Go inside. It is clear. Fortunately, that was Mike Hansen getting it wrong. 
Watch the doubles. Watch the doubles. Mike Landing. Clavin. Getting Mike it wrong Clavin. behind you, Dale. Dale, go into, this, go into the rhythm. Good job. Landon gets was so close that Day got it wrong in the rhythm. 30 seconds remaining. Let's see. Can Day hold it off from David and Landon? Through the triple goes Day. Into the triple goes David and Landon. Landon gets it wrong on the cone. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. Your leader dodging that. Good job, Brian. Michael Smalley. Michael Smalley? With two seconds on the clock. David, oh, not too right. far Madison's around done. Day. This is the white flag. Done. Mike Hansen done. Through Daniel. the trip David through the Johnson tables done. goes Day and Day. Gonna Jamie get done. the tramp get Jackson the bump Billy up done. spot. Jamie we have Daniel one more. Landon still going. Down the straightaway goes Landon Marshall. Landon Marshall, right please down. grab the blowers. That is a race. Finish. Your winner is Brian Hoskins, 15-5 flat. Day with Chuck a 15 five seven. And David, 15-5-11. Brian and Day, you guys are going to go into race 48 for the aiming of stock truck. Brian and Day, race 48. Up next, race number 30. 13.5 Pro Stock 2WD truck. Up now Be is made. race 30. Ron Reed, Ron R. Come pick a shirt. Oh, you're up. Never mind, we'll get you after you're done. What size shirt are you, Ron? I think we need to put him in a medium or a large shirt and make him race in it. Medium. I need marshals, guys. I need marshals and another triple. Who Ryan Garrett, what size shirt are you? I've got Day. I've got David. I've got Cartwright. Thank you, Tony Sadison. Okay, let's roll them out, guys. One lap, one lap, one lap. Dees. Austin Riley. Xander Ingberson. Monty Sinkovic. Mike Davis. Kyle Linton. Sam Ford. Ron Reed, Cliff Nicholson. Straightaway's closed, guys. Straightaway's Ryan closed. Garrett. Ryan Garrett, you didn't get your lap yet? Tim Baker. Your lineup for this one, your BQ is Austin Riley. In the two spot, Sam Ford. In the three, Ron Reed. In the four, Lonnie. In the five, Xander. In the six, Tyler. In the seven, Cliff. In the eight, Darnell. In the nine, your bump ups, Mike Davis and Ryan Garrett. Mike, you are in the nine. Okay, go get food. Well, wherever. Dominic Longoria. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. It's Austin Riley out front, Sam Ford in the two. Work together, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. It's Austin Riley out front, Sam Ford in the two, Ron Reed in the three, Ron getting it wrong. Here comes Kyle Linton, watch the end of the triple, watch the end of the triple, watch the end of the triple. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. 
Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. It's Austin Riley, Sam Ford, Kyle Linton. That is your top three. Austin Riley's got two and a half seconds over Sam Ford. Sam Ford has 4.2 over Kyle Linton. Work together. Work, watch the rhythm. Your leader is the white, blue, and black. Oh. Over the tables. Watch getting on the straight. Watch the straight, watch the straight. Darren Bradbury, you want a shirt? Work together, guys, work together. That is Sam Ford getting collected by back markers. Sam Ford coming down the straightaway now in that white, orange, and gray truck. Cliff Nicholson up into the three coming up the stairs. That is the white, blue, and purple. It's Austin Riley way out front. Sam Ford in the two. Cliff Nicholson right there in the three. Then it's Kyle Linton, Xander Ingbertson. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Sam getting it wrong at the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm. That was your second place driver getting upside down. That's going to put Cliff up in the two. Kyle into the three. Work together, guys. Work together. Where's McGuire? Work together. Cliff getting in some back traffic. What side That's going to put Kyle in the two. Cliff in the three. Kyle rolling it over. Watch the, the rhythm, line. guys. Nobody wants to hold that transfer spot. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Unfortunately, Darnell breaking down. Watch the triple. Your leader, Austin Riley, through the stairs. Cliff Nicholson through the stairs. Then it's Kyle Linton and Sam Ford. Two minutes left. Three down, two to go, three down, two to go. Sam getting it wrong in the rhythm. Watch the berm, watch the berm, watch the berm. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Your leaders are right there with you. Your leaders right there with you, guys. Thank you. Keep it clean, guys, keep it clean. It's Austin Riley out front. Cliff still in the two, Kyle in the three. Watch the berm, watch the berm. Your leader getting it wrong in the berm. Here comes Cliff Nicholson going triple. Cliff getting it wrong in the triple. Watch the end of the rhythm. Your leader getting it wrong. Second getting it wrong. Go wide on the straight. Go wide. Marshall him. Get him over there. Watch the straight. Watch the straight. Please do not yell on the sand. Please do not yell on the sand. I will take care of it. Lance Schaub. It is Austin Riley out front. Kyle Linton in the two. Sam Ford right there in the three. Your battle for the transposition. Sam going big in the triple, jumping into the two spot, coming through the tables, getting on the straightaway. Sam getting it wrong. Here comes Kyle. We are down to 45 seconds left in this one. It's Kyle Linton, Sam Ford going up the stairs. Double, triple. Sam going big on the triple. Looking the inside, giving a little wheel tap. That I think Sam, you might need to give that one back. That one was a little rough. He did leave it a little bit open, but it, I saw a right turn. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate he's coming down the straightaway now. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Kyle getting it wrong in front section. All works itself out. Steve Anderson, you want a shirt? Here comes Cliff Nicholson to try to battle for a second. Sam has it. Cliff wants it. With 10 seconds left, this is their final lap. Last lap. Sam's got to try to keep it on all fours. Cliff's going to be pushing it. Cliff tapping out on the pipe. That gives Sam a little bit of breathing room. Cliff going big on triple tap the cone. Sam playing the safe double double single. Going through the tables, playing it safe. Down the straightaway now. Sam Ford is your final bump up. Waiting on Cliff to finish. Waiting on Cliff to finish. Down the straightaway now. Taking that one. Austin Riley and Sam Ford both bump up into the A main. Austin Riley, Sam Ford, bumping up into race 49, race 49. What size shirt? What size shirt do you want, Colton? Sorry. What size shirt do you want? 
Up next, race number 31. 21.5 Masters 2 WD Buggy. Be main. Dave Coffin, you want a shirt? I should have plenty of marshals out there. I had 10 drivers in that last race. Derek right. Ma, you want a shirt? I shouldn't need any more volunteer marshals at all for the weekend. Every race I have from now forward, I should have 10 drivers except for maybe the first A2. Tim Baker, you want a shirt? Well, find Daniel. yourself a marshal. Gallegos, you want a You've shirt? You've got a Michael volunteer, Smalley. so then you don't need to worry about it. Bryson Satterson, Lance Schaub, Dave Coffin, Steve hey. Anderson. Throw them out, guys, one lap. And Daryl. Roll them out, one lap, roll them out, one lap. Let's keep this one going. Dalen Weed, Heather Judd, Andrew I am, Batman, yep, Lance that? Schwab, Dan Gallegos, Dan Call, Daryl Ma, David Johnson. Straight away is closed, straight Dale. away is closed. Kirsten Hardy. Okay, you're firing order for this one. It's gonna be Lance Schwab, Dallin Weed, Dio, Kirsten Hardy. In the five box, gonna be Dan Call. In the six, it's gonna be David Johnson. In the seven, looks like it's Andrew Batman. Rick Riley. In the eight, Danny Gallegos. In the nine, Daryl Ma. And in the 10, Heather Judd. Steve Anderson. Steve Anderson, you won something. Steve Anderson, you won something. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth. Your leader getting it wrong in the berm. Taking out second place with it. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Work together. I will call out aggressive driving. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch the end of the rhythm. 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 Remember, marshals, marshal how you want to be marshaled. If you want people to run for your car, you run for their car. Dayton Bartlett. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Xander, what size shirt? Large, my it large. Is, looks like Dio out front. Down weed in the two. Then it's David Johnson, Andrew Batman. Danny Gallegos, now Heather Judd, Kirsten Hardy, work together guys, work together. Watch the end of the triple. That was wheel to wheel. Work together. Watch the triple. Skylar Bangader, you want a shirt? Don't you worry. Work together guys, work together. Eddie Rapley, you want a shirt? Work together guys, work together, work together. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. What size are you, Dave? It is still Dio out front. Sure. That is the I'll solid red there. car coming to the berm. Yeah. Dio getting it wrong. He's upside down. That puts Here. Dallin Weed out front. Dio hitting a marshal trying to go over and help. So it's Dallin, David Johnson, and Dio battling through the rhythm. Why? Because he hit a marshal and it crashed and he went over the pipe? You're fine. I didn't call it. You're fine. I watched that whole situation because he was my leader. Watch the triple. Watch the triple. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. It is down weed out front. Dio in the two. Hey, Joel, can you run up here real quick? It's Dallin and Dio. David Johnson in the three. Watch the straightaway. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the end of the sweeper. 
Hey, Joel. Alex Streethopolis, you want a shirt? Joel, I need your help. Out front, it is Dallin Weed. Watch the berm, guys. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. It's Dallin Weed. That is the X ray out front. That is the orange, blue, and white. Here comes Two Dio, the solid red car. Watch in the straightaway. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch the straightaway. Go wide on the straight. Go wide on the straight. It is Dallin Weed out front. Dio in the two. David Johnson in the three. Andrew Batman in the four. Your leader coming into the tables now. Watch the berm, guys. Watch the berm. Tim Baker, you want a shirt? Watch the stairs. Your leader, let's find him on track. He is coming into the rhythm section now. Double, double, single. Coming into the corner, ta or the short shoot tables. Down the straightaway. Four down, one to go. Four down, one to go. One minute left. You heard the lady. It's Dallin and Dio. Kirsten, you got second right behind you? You are battling with Daryl. Daryl, that's second right there with you. Dio getting it wrong in the tables. Who's in the third? David Johnson. Here comes David Johnson running in Dio in the tables. Dave Arillo, you want to shirt? Battle for second down the straightaway. David has it. Dio wants it with 20 seconds, 25 seconds left in this one. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. David getting it wrong in the double single. Dallin's got about a half a lap lead over the field. He's got that buddy, but that guy set on cruise control. It's Dio on the two. David right there in the three. This is their final lap. It is a battle for the transfer spot. Coming through the double single. Dio has it. David wants it through the rhythm. Double, double. David gets a little bit upset through the rhythm. Here comes Dio down the straightaway. Lance Schwab done. Heather Judd done. Keep going until you cross the line. Keep, guys, keep David going until you cross the line. David Johnson done. Waiting on a few Dan more, a few done. more. Dan and done. last Dan one down the straightaway done. now. That is a race, taking that one down in weed. And Dio transferring up into the A main. You guys are going to race 51, race 51. Dallin and Dio race 51. Up next, uh, race now number 17, 32. Five, two wheel drive master buggy. Five masters, two WD buggy. B main. Michael Smalley, you now have two shirts. There's going to be a lot of people going home with some LR, LMR swag. Bryson Sadison. Thank you, Kyle Linton, for blowing the track off. If anybody gets a chance to make it out to Reno, whip it RC out there. It's a great facility. I made a trip there a few years ago with the previous owner. Chris just bought it about six, eight months ago, I believe. Something like that. Troy Perkins, you want a shirt? I should have plenty of marshals out there, guys. I should have plenty of marshals. Kyle's blowing off the whole track for you guys. Apparently, he's got some skin in this race. Okay, let's see. I've got Dallin out there. Dio's in the next race. He's getting his car ready. I've got David Johnson out there. I've got Andrew out there. Kirsten Hardy, where's oh, Kirsten? Who's Kirsten's marshal? Kirsten said he got himself a marshal. Cartwright's okay, thank you, Cartwright. 
Daryl Ma's out there. Dan Call Camp Marshall. Danny's out there. Lance is out there. And Heather's out there. I need a Marshall at the end of the rhythm. I need a Marshall at the end of the rhythm. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, guys. Let's roll them out one lap. We're good. We're good, Chuck. Thank you. I appreciate you hustling up here. Carlos Gonzalez. Sean Stewart. The Tree. Sean Smith. Ron Cherbick. James Herzog. Dominic Longoria. Chad Bartlett. Watch the front Ron section, guys. Watch the front Matt section. Riesbo. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Remember, guys, this is warm up. Straightaways closed. We're only doing one lap. Ryan Garrett, you're in this one. Ryan Garrett. Ryan Garrett, you gonna make it? Ryan Garrett. You're in this race. Oh, I see him hustling back behind the driver's stand. Fire in order for this one. Your BQ is Ron Turek in the two, Ron Reed. In the three, Sean Smith. In the four, Chad Bartlett. In the five, it's actually Breezebo? He's driving his own car? What's going on here? In the six, Andy Liebman. In the seven, Carlos Gonzalez. In the eight, James Herzog. In the nine, Dominic Longoria. In the 10, Sean Stewart. And in the 11, thank you, I appreciate it. In the 11, Ryan Garrett. Where are you, Ryan? You said you were on your way. Ryan, you're going to be in the 11 box. Everybody get in your box. Get in your box. Get in your box. Ryan's on his way. Get in your box. Who's in the 8 spot? James Herzog, you're in the 8. Thank you. Ryan Garrett, you're in the 11. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth. You guys are masters. That means you guys have been driving forever. Most of you guys have probably been driving longer than I've been alive. Don't worry about the fact I'll be in this class in about a year and a half. Watch getting on the straight. I might just switch all the masters classes. Maybe I have a chance of making a podium in that class. Probably not. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Work together, guys, work together. It is Mr. Watch the Sweeper, guys, go inside. It is Mr. Ronald Reed, Chaos Paints out front. And the two is Sean Smith. Watch the end of the straightaway, watch the end of the straightaway. Watch in the triple, watch in the triple. Watch the straightaway, go wide, go wide, go wide, go wide, go wide. Watch the end of the rhythm, watch the end of the rhythm. Clean it up, guys, you guys are masters, clean it up. It's Ron Reed and Matt Breesbo up into the two. Then Sean Smith, Sean Stewart from the 10 to the four. Work together, guys. Work together, work together. It's Ron Reed out front through the tables down the straightaway. Breeze bow into the tables. Work, work together, guys. Work together. Do not drive away from the marshals. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Ron getting caught up in a little bit of lap traffic. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Good save there, Sean. Sean Stewart's been a rock star of a volunteer marshal for me all weekend long. It's Ron Reed out front. Matt Breesbo in the two. Let's find Ron on track. He's coming up the stairs. Breesbo is on his way up the stairs. In the three spot is Sean Smith. Sean Smith is not too far behind Breesbo. Breezebo's that right, red, and blue. Sean Smith is that pastel with the bright yellow. And then Ron Church right there as well in solid red. Watch 
Watch in the triple, guys. Watch in the triple. Work together, guys. Work together. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think that was Dominic. Thank you. Two minutes left. You heard the gal. Three down, two to go. Three down, two to go. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Work together, guys. Work together. It's Ron Reed still out front. Matt Breesbow in the two. Sean Smith in three. One minute left. Four down, one to go, four down, one to go. Work together, guys, work together. It's still Ron Reed out front, Matt Breezebo in the two. Breezebo coming through the keyhole now into the rhythm. Ron Turk and Sean Smith are not too far back with 25 seconds left. Watch the berm, guys. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Watch the berm. Let's find Ronald Reed on track. He's going to a double single. Breezebo getting it wrong in the rhythm. I believe that's going to put Ron Turk. Up into the two spot. Uh, As time has done. expired. Ron Churick done. Finish the lap here on. Finish the lap here on. Matt Breesbow done. Chad Bartlett done. Sean Smith done. Waiting on a few Sean more. Stewart done. Waiting on Andy, James, Ryan, and Dominic. 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 Done. Waiting Stewart on Andy and Ryan done. coming down the straightaway now. Ryan Garrett done. And that's a race. Taking that one. Ron done. and Ron both bumping up. You're back to back? It is Ron and Ron bumping up. You guys are going to be bumping up into race. Give me race number 52. Race number 52. Up next, race number 33, 21.5 stock 2 WD buggy, B main. Okay guys, let's check them in, check them in. Mike Hansen, Hayden Steinert, Mike Flavin, Carl Yulberg, Troy Perkins, Tony Sadison, Kirsten Hardy, Dayton Bartlett, Dale, John Jamero. Straight away's closed, straight away's closed. You're blocking your mom from watching. Firing order for this one, your BQ, Tony Sadison. 
in the two spot, Mike Pavan in the three, Dio in the four, Carl in the five, Dayton in the six, Hayden in the seven, Kirsten in the eight, John John in the nine, Troy Perkins, and in the 10, Mike Hansen. Who's in the four? Carl, Carl, you're in the four. Five is Dayton, five is Dayton, six is Hayden. Okay, driver's ready, Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Watch front section, watch front section, watch front section. Watch the front side, or watch triple, triple. Watch getting on the straight. It's Tony Sadison out front, Dio on the two. Now it's Dio out front, Tony getting it wrong in the tables. That looks like Carl up into the two. It's Dio and Carl, watch the rhythm guys, watch the rhythm. Watch the straight, go inside, go inside. Good driving there, I believe that was Lonnie. No, that is Mike. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. It's clear. It is Dio out front, Carl on the two. Then it's Dayton, Kirsten, Tony. John, John, Troy, Mike, Mike, and Hayden. Watch the sweeper, go inside, go inside, go inside, go inside. Uh, what class? Super stock and you bumped into main? The A main or B? No, A main. What's the main? Or Super stock will be the next race. Yeah, so it'll be 34. Watch in the rhythm, watch in the rhythm. Watch getting on the straight. Watch the straightaway. It's clear. It's still Dio out front, Carl in two, Kirsten in the three. Dio through the rhythm, Carl through the rhythm. Here comes Kirsten and Dayton. Dio getting it wrong at the end of the rhythm. That puts Carl out front. Dio down the two, Dio tapping the wall. That's gonna put Dio down the three. Kirsten getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. It is now Carl, Dayton, Dio, and Tony. Carl getting it wrong after the triple. Work together, guys, work together. It, that puts Dayton out front. It's Dayton, Dio, Tony, and Carl. Work together, guys, work together. Good driving, good driving to the other guys. Way to check up. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Your Tony leader Sadison. is that gray, purple, and white. Second place is Tony Sadison. That is that orange and black. Third place is Carl with the blue and pink. And then Dio's right there in the red. That is your battle for a second down the straightaway. Dio getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. Work together, guys, work together. Tony getting it wrong in the rhythm. Carl getting it wrong in the rhythm. Watch the triple, watch the triple. It's still dating out front. And it's Carl in the two. One minute left. Carl getting it wrong in the berm. Here comes Tony. Tony tapping into him. That is second right there with you, Hayden. Thank you. I appreciate the checkup. 40 seconds left in this one. It's Dayton, Tony, and Carl. 
Dio's not too far off of that one. Dio getting it wrong at the top of the stairs. It's Dayton, Tony, Carl, Dio, Kirsten, Troy, Mike Pavan, John John, Hanson, and Hayden. Watch the rhythm, watch the triple, watch the triple. That worked itself out. Watch the triple, guys, watch the triple. It's Dayton, Tony, Carl, Kirsten. Mike Flavin done. Carl, Mike you're Pavan, done. you're caught at the line. Mike Hansen done. Watch the end of the straightaway. Who is that sending their car into the well? Kirsten Hardy done. Dayton Bartlett done. Troy Perkins done. John James. And Hansen. that's a race taking that Tony one. Seven Dayton seven and Tony. You guys finished. are bumping up into the A main. Is there a hole in the wall? Hey, Joel, do we have anybody that can make a wall repair? Joel, we need a wall repair at the end of the straightaway. Up next, race number 34, 17.5 Superstock 2 WD Buggy, B Main. One, two, three. Holy cow. <laughs> Yeah, who, who took out the end of the wall? It was somebody in 21.5, because Heather was out there marshaling. Or maybe it was 17.5 Masters. Maybe that's what it was. Yes, I need a copy of your car insurance, please. I need your policy. Okay, your lineup for the, let, let's, let's roll them out and check them in, guys. Go slow on the straightaway, slow on the straightaway. Lonnie if Simpson. any of you hit any of the Ryan guys Hertzog. at the end of the straightaway, Ron it's not going to be pretty. Sean Stewart. Go slow Ron. on the straightaway, slow Ron on the straightaway. Dame. Sean Smith. Thank you, guys. Ryan Hoskins. Straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Jack. I need a marshal at the end of the straightaway. Who wants to risk it for the biscuit now? We already know what a car can do to that board. 
And just imagine Brock got hit there twice yesterday at that same spot. Okay, your firing order for this one is going to be Lonnie, Ron Churik, Corey, Sean in the four, Eric in the five. Jesse is going to be in the six. He had to go home. He has to go to work tomorrow, and he lives in Phoenix. Day May in the seven. Then it's Ryan Herzog, Brian Hoskins, and Sean Stewart. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. I need an announcer for the next race, please. Next couple races. Art, Xander, if any of you are available. Watching the triple, watching the triple. It's Ron Jerk out front. Lonnie in the two, Eric in the three. It's Ron Jerk out front, Lonnie in the two, Day in the three. Ron Jerick out front, Day May in the two, Sean Smith in the three. Watch the triple section in front of the triple. After modified B main two wheel, we are going to do the top. 10 raffle items. So, watch the rhythm, watch rhythm, watch rhythm. That's clear. There's three minutes and 15 seconds. Watch triple. Dayton there, don't kill him. Thank you. Run, Cherick out front, Sean Smith in the two. These guys are on the straightaway together. They're working through some traffic here into the triple. One and two into the rhythm section. That red and orange and yellow car down the straightaway they go. There's Ron across the line, Sean Smith across the line as they head into the step up. Oh, Ron getting it a little bit sideways. He keeps it going though. Watch in front of the driver's stand, in front of the driver's stand, clear. Sean Smith right there, only seven tenths back. Down the straightaway they go. Ron clicks off a 19-2 to Sean's 19 flat. Don't spit it out. <laughs> That's right. All right, here we go. Ron down the straightaway. Sean down the straightaway. Lonnie. Two minutes left. Right there across the line. So your battle top two right now. Looking to bump out of this one. That yellow and orange car on the straightaway right now is your second place driver. Nicely done. Nicely done. Watch triple, triple. Clear. Ron takes the short route. Watch triple. Nice. Good job. 125 left to go in this one, 125. Oh, Sean Smith rolls it over. That's going to give Ron quite a bit of gap now. It was 2.1. It's going to be more like five or six. There's Ron across the line right there. He drops in a 19 flat. Sean Smith going to drop in a 21.7, so that's not what One he was looking left. for. We're inside of a minute left in this one. Nicely done, drivers. Ron down the straightaway right there. Clicks in a 19-1.
Sean Smith in the two spot goes 18-8. Oh, and then he gets it wrong in the double-double with Cheese. Watch the Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Still in the rhythm, still in the rhythm, outside of the rhythm. That is clear. 20 seconds left to go in this one. Ron out front, Lonnie in the two, Sean Smith in the three now. So Sean Smith getting moved out of that bump spot with only four seconds left to go. Brian Hoskins done. Oh. Let's work together, guys. Just get to the line. When you get to the line, you will Corey be done. done. Brian's done. done. Corey done. Eric Ron done. Sean Ron done. done. Sean done. Sean Smith done. Sean Stewart, Sean Stewart done. done. Lonnie's done. Lonnie Sinkovic done. Looking for Ryan. Ryan Hertzog done. And Danny. Danny there we go. Ron All Chirk and Lonnie looking to go to the next race, which I'll let you know about here shortly. Sean Smith in the three, Ryan, Corey, Eric, Day, Brian, and Sean. Up next, race number 35. 17.5 Pro Stock 2 WD Buggy. Be main. All right. This one. Got a lot of fast drivers in here. Should be a good one. All right, look for Marshalls out of the last one. Hello, hello, guys. Sorry about that. I had to step away. I had to get cameraman Chris and myself something to eat. So obviously, we went to the healthiest spot in town, McDonald's. Got the number seven with uh, two cheeseburgers, fries, and of course, Dr. Pepper. So sorry about that. Uh, I've been working on the, the posts on Mod Live Media on Facebook for those posts about um, special features, basically. And then we have not eaten all day. So we got here, we woke up at about eight o'clock, uh, got here, started at nine, and we have not eaten a single morsel other than a banana and a couple snacks, so we we were famished, and I want to be back here for the A mains. So thank you guys. All right. Uh, we have one of forty. Are you still counting cone hits? Yes, I am counting cone hits. How many have you seen since I've been gone? Maybe Chris knows. How many cones have, have there been since I've been gone, Chris? Three or four? Okay, we're gonna add four. So I added in the cone hits there. Oh, 1 of 40 said eight, okay. Thank you, 1 of 40. All right, I added eight. <laughs> Jason Kessler, you're getting those, get those good healthy categories, bro. Uh, calories, bro, I know, man. Uh, this seems to be a good one right here. 17.5 Pro Stock two wheel drive is up. I've got drivers, I've got track marshals. Everyone is going to go on the tone in less than five. All right, guys, and we are off. Heading out here with Dave Lindsay. Up and over the doubles there. Going to be leading us out. We got Eddie going to be in that P2. Ooh. Looking on the outside, nothing there for him. Able to step on, step down for P2, P3, P4. Right there. Actually, the P3 buggy is the one that I'm driving. Oh, he's gonna, that's Cliff's car, which is the one that I'm using. Oh, he does that triple with the puck system. No problem there. He threw that in last night. I might need to try that line, but I'm liking my double. Oh, the side-by-side -side race in there. Cliff gets a raw end of the stick. Right there, first place, that was a cone hit. So cone hit, claims another one there for your leader. Cliff in tow right now, stepping on, stepping off, down the straightaway, second place doing a pop-a-wheelie. 
through the doubles here. There's Cliff on the gas and hauling ass through the triple double section. I'm gonna have to try that with, it's the same car. Oh, barely stepping on there for him. Here comes Cliff down the stretch through the doubles. Looking good. Oh, another cone hit. Cliff's gonna go through. Cliff up and over the doubles, right behind your leader there, Eddie. Oh, that's Dave Lindsay. So Dave Lindsay and Cliff gonna be battling this one out through the triple, but top two bump up from what I understand. So good run here. Dave off the wall right there. Cliff's right there. Three minutes still to go. Oh, and he hits the pipe. I didn't hit the cone, but hit the pipe there for Cliff. Cliff Nicholson on the gas. Definitely liking that triple double that he's doing. Down the straightaway, Lindsay hits the wall again. Cliff looking solid as he comes through the triples. Car looking comfortable. Oh, triples, doubles, oh, makes it by Cliff Nicholson to the lead. Lindsay goes to that P2. Ah, oh, getting tangled up right there. For Nicholson, Lindsay goes by. Lindsay getting it wrong. Oh, he gets sideswiped by lap traffic. But back on it there for Nicholson as he comes by with 150 to go. 150 to go. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit wrong. Back on it. And down that stretch here for Lindsay, but it's all about Nicholson. Cliff on the gas and hauling through the triple right there, triple double. That's the buggy I'm running in the 17.5 Superstock class. So definitely has some speed. We're on with Lindsay now, it looks like. That's a battle for second right there. So that's Lindsay and Eddie Rapali. Going on to the straightaway, oh, makes the inside pass, clean as a whistle. Through the doubles, they're double-double out. Oh, to the inside, nice pass there by Lindsay. It barely makes that triple. He's full set in that thing right now. Both of them doing double-double single. Oh, nice inside there. Oh, going out into the marbles. Oh, man, down the straightaway we go. Eddie gonna drop back down. Xander right there now as well. It's a gaggle of cars. Dude, nobody crashed. This is gonna be bad. Oh, he's gonna get passed by two right there for Lindsay. I believe Xander's now there in the hunt. So here comes Xander down the straightaway. He rips up on him. 20 seconds left to go. Xander looking high, looking low. Wouldn't this be cool for a one-two with his dad? As they come through the double. Oh, into the cone! As they come up and over the doubles here. Oh, Lindsay jumps over the top of them. Man, what a battle. Here at the end, three seconds to go. We're gonna get one more lap. Is it gonna be Xander? Is it gonna be Lindsay? To the inside. Triple, double, single. Different ones. Triple, double. Oh, man, here we go. Here it is. Oh! He's gonna grab it. Xander Nicholson gets that one. Father-son combo going to the main.
father-son combo right here, getting this one. You ended up checking out early. That's the buggy I'm usually running. Your yep. son is uh, battling with me in that other class, but you two making it happen. Yeah, it was a good run. Um, just tried to stay clean and not get too close to the guy in front of me, give him time to wreck, hopefully, before I had to try pressuring and trying to make a move myself. Great job out there, man. Car looked good, and I might steal that triple-double. The car's doing that perfect. I told you that early. You just didn't listen to me. <laughs> Congrats, man. And, man, here at the end, how was your nerves going into that last corner? I'm still shaking. I didn't think I was going to get that, but, I mean... You know, it happened. It happened, and here we are. Now I'm in the A. So. Both father-son combo in the A. Couldn't have wrote a better story. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, sir. Good job, Dad. All right, good job. All right, back to you guys. Man, oh man, what a race that was, guys. What a race. Father-son combo making that A main event. That's pretty sweet. Very, very cool. Congratulations to the Nicholsons on that one. All righty, guys. We're going to get this one going. We'll see how it ends up. Could be a bloodbath. Oh, your leader making a mistake. Here comes Jason. Hopefully no associated unassociated crime occurs in this one. Taylor back to the point. Oh, Taylor gonna get it sideways. Alex now moving into that two spot. Jason gonna fall to the four. Bittner in the five. Jason going to move up one spot there. Taylor out front going to come through 17-2. 17-3 for Alex. 17-8 for Jason. 18 flat for Biddy. Oh, Bender with a move to the inside. Can't make it stick yet, but he's working on it. Uh, that's not it. You kind of got out in the dust, I'll give you that. Oh, your leader with a mistake. Here comes Alex. Alex, oh, the traction roll. I can't see what happened, I'm too short. 320 left in this one. Oh, your leader getting it wrong. Second place getting it wrong. Nobody wants to win this race. I'm convinced. Bittner airs it all the way out. Oh, if you just had more motor, Bittner, you might have cleared that, like, into the parking lot. Oh, all kinds of mistakes being made now. It's just going to be a matter of keeping it clean. Tyler to the point now. Alex, Tyler and Taylor, sorry. Taylor right there behind him now. That blue versus the white and blue. Taylor going to make a move to the inside. Nice and clean. Up over the table. Then he cases it. Taylor staying out front. Trying to make it into that modified A main event here. Oh, there's a cone there. Jason now into the two spot. Where did he come from? It was like the silent assassin. He was just sitting back there waiting. Now lots of pressure on Tyler. Two minutes left to go. Jason with a mistake. Here comes Taylor. He has to get hard on the binders. 
slow himself left. down so he doesn't hit the car in front of him. Taylor up on two wheels. Go! Oh, your leader with a mistake. Oh, Taylor getting a little sideways. Bittner now in the mix. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. It can't be true. Anthony Bittner into the two spot right now. But these guys are not going down without a fight. As they come through the sweeper, three wide. That's how you do it. Oh, Bittner gets marshaled by Taylor. You're welcome. Taylor getting it wrong. Here comes Bittner back into the two. Jason's like trying to get away from these guys. I don't want to deal with this. Jason all by himself out there. One ten left to go. He's up over the triple into the rhythm section. Bittner had everything going for him and then made a mistake. Taylor back to the two now. Here comes One Bittner. Oh, man. These guys are Facebook friends. That's what I heard. Battle over the rhythm right now. Three, then two. They come into the 180, up over the table. Taylor struggled in that area. Pinner up on two wheels. Oh, Taylor gets a little sideways. Pinner just jumps over him. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to jump over him. I mean, why not? 28 seconds to go. Anthony Bittner. Taking over that two spot over Taylor. And Alex. Alex right in that mix too still. Jason checked out Gwan in this one. He's over the triple. Then into the rhythm. When you get to the line, you will be done. Everyone's still racing. Everyone's still racing. Bittner and Taylor, it's going to come Jason down to this. Over the rhythm they Good go. Defense. Bittner keeping it clean. Taylor trying to look for a mistake. Will it happen? Drag race down the line. Done. Bittner Alex cheated. Done. I saw that. Alex Mazurkiewicz done. That Our was dirty. Finished. That was a dirty move, Bittner. Man. That was weird. Up next, race number 37. Sorry about your luck. 17.5 stock for WD Buggy. A2 main. There, there is no racing at the moment, guys. We are doing the raffle. Very quickly. Please, I'll speak loudly. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're taking a short break to raffle off. Tucker. Track's closed. Track is closed. There's no driving on the track. Track's closed. I hate when you have electronics issues on the last corner. Tabs need to be paid right now, guys. Need to be paid before A mains. Play your tabs. If you have a tab, pay them right now.
Your first winner, Russell Prina. Russell, come pick your prize. Hello, everybody. You can probably see me at the side. I know you can. So they're doing uh, raffle prizes right now. I'm getting that going. So we are on intermission mode right now. The cone counter is up to 93. 93, the cone counter Josh is up to. Dare. Josh Dare, you're our second winner. Josh Dare. So they're doing... Uh, Choices for the main prizes now. I won a Savix keychain that I gave away. And also an LM, is it LMR? Sean yeah, an Stewart. LMR You're shirt. Sean Stewart. John Stewart winning. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the coverage so far. Um, it's been good, hopefully check out the mod live media uh facebook as well we've been kind of trying to post a little bit more of like inside details and cool little quips of the event um i'm not able to do the action shots uh one probably because i'm not as good as jason our normal photographer um and two it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time for shooting and editing and uh, I'm kind of a little bit everywhere, so I've been trying to focus more on the race coverage um, aspect of it. Ah, getting a B74.2. I think that's the world's edition. That's pretty sweet. I know I have a couple tickets in there. So very cool. Landon's going to need some help picking. This car right here. There we go. I know, I need to dig into the burger. I'm, I'm hungry, man. Mark Peterson, thanks. Good to see you, my man. Thanks for coming out and all the kind compliments. Good seeing you out here. I'm gonna eat a little bit of my burger while I got a second here. Be sure, guys, to share, like, and subscribe. If you have not grabbed a waffle ticket yet and you guys want to support the live stream, go on to that link right there. You guys have some time. Uh, let me see how many we're down Last to. Job. You're the next contestant. I think we only have like 13 tickets left or something like that. Let's try and sell those out, guys, before the end of the day. Oh, it looks like we have less than that. We probably have 11 now. Yeah, we got 11 tickets left, guys. We sold a limited number. There was a limited number. So if you guys like the live stream, you want to help support, that's how we make it possible. We're, we're able to do these. Um, realistically, we want to, I've always said it from the beginning, that we want to help the hobby grow. Um, and it's very, very expensive to bring out uh, media when you start factoring everything in for hotel room and stay and, 
everything like that, and you got to pay a couple people, and you start doing that for five, six days, and food, and it's it, it kind of gets up there in, in price. So we try and keep our numbers low uh, for the tracks because we want tracks to survive. Um, and then we're able, obviously, to promote mod. Um, so you, when you guys buy product, it helps, as well as uh, we throw these little waffle things. So we're able to make, you know, uh, we generally profit about a thousand bucks from it, um, which is usually our profit for the weekend. But that goes back into stuff like I'm already seeing on the photography side. I need to buy at least one more lens, probably be about probably about eight hundred dollars um, for the camera lens. I got one right now. I can show you. It came from my older camera. Some probably some photographers out there, but we got. I have a. 28 by 105 here that I've been shooting with with my uh, it's a Canon EOS R6 so I'm really liking the camera it's a nice body um, but my lens is not so good so I've been I've been researching on that and, and my photographer was telling me like hey you know I would recommend this probably gonna be a little bit sharper so the or if anybody has one, I think it's the 24 by 24 by 70 f 2.8, and then this is my one that I got from our other photographer Jason, and he gave me a steal on this. This is the 70 by 200, so the 70 by 200. This is the one you shoot action shots with. So these things are like. Twelve hundred, like more uh, than that. They're like fifteen hundred dollars for this darn lens. Costner. I need to get a hood for it and stuff. I actually have it coming from Amazon. I need to go pick it up from the locker. I didn't think I'd do much photography, um, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. But I kind of see where I need a, a little bit better lens for kind of the more macro shots um, that we do so with our photographer around and everything he's um, he's much better than I am he's just he's this is what he does so I'm very hobbyist when it comes to it but I have fun learning new things Couple more things that guys are choosing. Very cool. Xander winning that one. All right, and it's uh, Jettis 1689. What is the next event mod will be covering? Next week, uh, we will be in Paris, California for the, it's the Wally race. Um, it's eight scale. They're doing like a supercross style layout. It's like the NSX series, I want to say. Or WSX series or something like that. Let me check it out. Nitro Supercross NSX. Let me see what it is. He's been posting about it. The Nitro RC Supercross Championships will be an eight-scale race. He's got a cool layout that he's doing for it, so we're looking forward to that. So we will be there to cover that. So we should have a crew of two to three guys. I'm thinking three, at least three. Wes Carr. Oh, thank you, Wes. I'll be at the Nitro Supercross race next week. Right on. Thank you. Looks like we got eight left in stock there, guys. So they'll probably sell out. We've got a um, we got a B7D on there. I'll post up. I'll show you guys what's on there. We got we got time for it. I'm always about not taking away from the racing aspect of it. So 
but we're on intermission, so it's not a not a big deal. So there it is. You guys click on that link. I'll post it again. There's only eight more tickets. So you guys could be a part of it. We'll draw it live at the end of the live stream. So you guys can see there. Actually get this cool, so special thanks. There's some dust here, but Special thanks to um, Jason Luthman. We got those, the Crusher ANC 2s. They're like a $100, $100, dollars headset right here. $150, $200 headset from Skull Candy. So thank you to Jason Luthman for hooking us up with this. It's our one sponsor for the waffle this weekend. So the, the Skull Crusher 2s, we'll be giving those away one of our grand prizes there. And we also have, obviously, a team-associated B7D that we purchased. We got a mod puck system there. A, a black tool set signed by Eustace Moore. It's the, um, it's the metric style handle. Oh, it says 62 in stock. That's not correct. Refresh it. Okay, we're at six, see? I never refreshed it. It was sitting on there. So you guys can see kind of your, your winning prizes here. That are there. What? What? I won something. I'll be back. So pretty cool. I won a Racer's Edge soldering iron. Pretty cool. I get a Racer's Edge, a little soldering iron there, a little portable one. It's kind of cool. Very cool. Ah, Megan's chiming in. Hey, babe. Going up tires while watching. It'll be my first eight scale race since 2016. Right on, Wes. Be good to see you, man. Justin got a second waffle ticket. Right on. Yeah, nice little handy tool there. So, yeah, grab those up, guys. I think, yeah, it looks like we got five left. So, we'll run it to the end. If we sell out, we sell out. If we don't, we don't. So, looks like we're coming up now. Race number 37 is coming up thank you all for tuning in thank you to all of our sponsors for everything 
So yeah, if you guys want that, go on that link. We will draw it live at the end. This is for anybody around the world. Free shipping too. Help support the live stream. Like I said, I want to buy, well I'm going to after this. Um, I'm going to get a new lens for the, um, I noticed on some of like the, the images that we're doing that it's not as sharp as I would like it to be. Um, and it's not able to get it and I'm kind of fiddling with it a lot. So I, I just the lens that I have, it's, it's quite old. I got it with like my original Canon 50D, like shoot, when I worked for Extreme back in the day, which was when I was like 20, so about 12 years ago. So it's time for an upgrade. Don't tell my girlfriend that because she doesn't like when uh, I spend all sorts of monies on this stuff, but Megan will understand. It's okay. Just as long as I feed her and take her on trips, she's cool. Just kidding. Megan's awesome. All righty, guys. Yeah, she goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> she's listening in. Special thanks to Megan as well. She, I know she misses me when I'm, when I'm out here. So, all right. We got a new, we got a race coming up here. I'm going to go try and get a little extension so I can still talk to you guys. I'll be back. Went a little bit too hard last night or all day yesterday. This is an eight scale. You can't do that. You're inside and relaxing. Eight scale, you're rushing around. Marshalls, 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 let's get this one moving. Let's get this going. Thank you, Sean Stewart. Thank you, Taylor Daggs. There is nobody to call out. All my modified Marshalls are out there. I need volunteers. I need the end of the rhythm bucket. Top of the stairs, the 180. I need volunteers, volunteers, experienced volunteers. This is A2 of stock four-wheel drive buggy. Thank you, Daryl Ma. Thank you, Dominic Passione. I got the gazelle out there. I need one more up top of the stairs, one more up top of the stairs. Thank you, Mr. Big J Knight. I need one more volunteer at the top of the stairs so I can get this one going. One more volunteer marshal top of the stairs. It's a pretty simple spot for the most part, unless I'm in the race because I've wrecked there 47,000 times. One more marshal top of the stairs. Kyle's thinking about it. Kyle's on his way. Liz, Kyle beat you to it. I appreciate it though, Liz. Okay, guys, one lap, one lap. Tucker Even. Gray Wolf, Casey Ford, Troy Perkins, Jackson Bailey, Dave Pirula, Chuck Erickson, Dayton Bartlett, Tony Sadison. Dio, you're in this race, Dio. Dio, where are you at? Check one, two, Dio. Check one, two. Stay in the race line. Line up in the race in? line. I don't know. Your lineup's going to be Tucker, Casey, Dave, Chuck, Dayton, Troy, Cooper, Check one, two. Tony, Check one, Jackson, two. Check, and Check, Dio. Check, Has anybody seen Dio? Check. Dio, you're up. All right, guys, sorry, I got no extension okay, here, so I'm just going to have to keep it on them. I'll see you guys in a little bit because Chris is off camera. I'll be on. Thank you. Dio is one of our bump-up drivers. He'll be in the 10 box. Who's got Dio's car? Don't worry about tech. Don't worry about tech. Don't worry about Tech. Get it out there. He's in the 10 box. Just drive backwards down the straightaway to the 10 box, Dio. You're right here, right here. Is it turned on? Is your radio on? Are you on the right model? Okay, he's in the 10 box. He's in the 10 box. Dio. Perfect. OK, 
Okay. Okay, guys, take a deep breath. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of tone. Keep it clean. Keep it smooth, everybody. Give it a few corners and then start racing. Keep it clean, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Looks like Casey Ford out front, Tucker in the two. Your battle's up front, going up the stairs now. Casey has it, Tucker wants it. Casey getting it wrong in the double single. Tucker going by. He's got about a rhythm section advantage right now over Casey Ford. Here comes Dave Barilla and Chuck Erickson. Watch the sweeper, guys. Watch the sweeper. Your leader's coming through, Jackson. Jackson tried to get out of the way. Thank you, Jackson. Deal, you got your leaders coming through. It's Tucker and Casey out front. Casey looking inside, not able to make a sick. Tucker down the straightaway, a little loose. His tires are still warming up a little bit. It's Tucker and Casey, followed by Dave Brilla, Chuck Erickson, Dayton Bartlett. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Thank you, Dio, I appreciate that. Your leader's down the straightaway. It's Tucker and Casey. Casey looking inside, getting it wrong. Watch the tables, watch the tables, watch the tables, watch getting on the straight. It's Tucker out front, Casey Ford still in the two. Dave Barilla about a straightaway, straightaway and a half back. It's to watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Dave trying to jump over the top. Your battle is now for a second between Casey and Dave. You guys know Tucker's paint job. When he comes up on you give, you, give him some room. Give him some room. That is your leader. Watch the straightaway. Go wide on the straight. Go wide on the straight. Chuck getting it wrong in the front section. Casey getting it wrong in the berm. Oh, that was Dave getting it wrong. Sorry. Work together, guys. Work together. It's a 6.4 second advantage right now for Tucker Eaton. Tucker looking to lock it up in two. Work together, guys, work together. Watch coming up the stairs. We got a three-way battle for the four spot coming through the triple. Watch in the triple, watch in the triple. Tough break there for Tucker. Marshall tried to be quick. Two minutes left. It's Tucker out front, Casey in the two. Then it's Dave, Chuck, Dayton, Troy, Tony, Cooper, Jackson, and Dio. Watch triple, guys, watch triple. Hot lap of the race is Tucker, 17-3. Casey, last time by, 17-5, his hot lap of the race. Casey's just putting his head down, putting in work, trying to get back up to the top, back of Tucker. Your leader, Tucker Eaton, coming in the triple. Watch triple, guys, watch triple, watch triple. It's now a 4.1 second gap between first and second with 120 left in this one. It's Tucker out front, Casey in the two. Casey's working hard to catch up. Watch sweeper go inside, go inside, go inside. Watch front section, go inside. Good driving there, guys. Good marshalling. It's Tucker out front, Casey the two. With one minute left on the clock in this one, it's Tucker, Casey, Dave, Chuck, left. Dayton, Cooper. Your leader, Tucker Reeton. Through the rhythm section now. Over the tables, Casey through the rhythm section. Tucker last time by 17-5, Casey this time by 17-5 as well. Casey's throwing in a hot lap after hot lap, trying to catch up to Tucker. Tucker's trying to keep it rubble, Tucker getting it wrong, getting on the straight. Casey not quite close enough yet to capitalize. We got 20 seconds left. They'll go by this one and one more at least. 
Your second place driver coming through the triple now. That worked itself out. Casey coming through the rhythm. Tucker down the straightaway. Casey down the straightaway. As time is about to expire. Come on, Casey. That is time on the master. Tucker Jackson through the well rhythm. Done. Going a little Tony wide, Sullivan trying done. to keep it straight. Ray Casey coming done. through the rhythm. Tony Sadison done. Down the straightaway, Tony taking Sullivan. it in two. Tucker Tony Eaton. Done. Dave Coming Dave home Brilla. in second, Casey, Casey Ford. Dave Brilla bringing Chuck home Erickson third, down. and Chuck Erickson in it. Coming home in fourth. Set your cars down, immediately oh. come on out in corner partial. Up next, race number 38. 13.5 super stock for WD Buggy. A2 main. I need marshals, marshals, marshals. Well, buddy, you don't even have to race the third one. You locked it up. Yep. How's it feel? Really good. Right on. Who would you like to thank? Dad, mom, uncle. Right on. How long have you been racing for now? How old are you? I'm 10, and I've been racing for five, six years. Man, oh, man. Since he was four. So future champion here in the making. Congratulations on your win, buddy. And, uh, well, go, go uh, celebrate with your parents. Thanks. You got it. All righty, guys. So Tucker Eaton grabbing that one. And uh, congratulations. And we should see. I know Casey been very quick as well. So we're going to see that next A3 coming up. But this one's been on lock. Cooper or Tucker, I need one of you outside the straightaway. Cooper. Cooper, go get the front of the straightaway. Thank you, Cooper. And you're going to be about right there, Troy. That's going to help this section. Okay, guys. One lap, one lap, one lap. Xander Nicholson, Keaton Grant. My bump up Chris drivers Miller, this one are Alex Richard and Richard, Eric. Robert Yancey, Landon Cartwright, JJ Nugter, Chris Yancey, Alex Stratton. Watch the end of the triple, guys. Watch the end of the triple. Brown. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Yeah, that's the rhythm right there. Straight away is closed, straight away is closed. Your lineup for this one's going to be Xander in the one. Keaton in the two, Chris in the three. Then it's JJ, Robert, Chris Mueller in the six. Ron, Landon, Alex, and Eric. I've got all my Marshall spots covered. Drivers ready, Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. <laughs> Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Work together, work together. I don't know how that worked out, how it did, but I'm glad it did. It's Xander out front. Chris in the two, Keaton in the three. Looks like it's Austin Riley or is that Rick? That is, no, that's Chris. Chris Mueller. Watch getting on the straight, watch getting on the straight. Who, who needs to what? Xander, Xander, I'm hearing you need to do a stop and go. I'm hearing you cut the track. Sorry, I did not see it. I can't enforce it. It's Keaton out front. Chris in the two, Xander in the three, fighting with JJ, coming in the rhythm. Watch in the triple, watch in the triple, it's clear. It's Keaton, Chris, Xander, and JJ. Your leader's coming up the stairs now. Your leader over the triple, that red, black, and white. Watch your leader getting it wrong. Watch straight away, go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight. That's going to put Chris out front, JJ in the two. Then it's Xander and Keaton. Keaton getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. Here 
comes Chris Mueller. Cameraman Chris is running the forward. Watch front section, watch front section. Out front is Chris Yancey. That is the gray and red ride. Then it's little JJ McNugget. That is the fluorescent paint explosion ride up the stairs. It's Chris, JJ, Xander, Keaton, and Chris, your top five. Watch after the rhythm, watch after the rhythm, watch after the rhythm. Work together, guys, work together. Sounds like Keaton's car lost a dog bone. Maybe. Watch coming on the straight. Yeah, it definitely lost a dog bone. I can hear it popping around. Keaton, drive it to that corner over by your dad. He'll try to fix it. Your leader coming into the rhythm section. Second place into the rhythm. Your leader getting it wrong. That puts JJ out front. Xander in the two. Chris in the three. Work together, guys. Work together. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. It's JJ, Xander, Chris. Xander trying to go triple over JJ, getting it wrong. Now it's JJ and Chris down the straightaway. Three left. down, two to go. Three down, two to go. It's JJ out front in the B64. Xander and Chris battling out for second. In the third spot, it is Xander. And then it's Chris Mueller in the four. It's JJ coming off the straightaway. Xander not too far back. Chris Yancey's right there with him. It's JJ, Xander, and Chris. JJ's just keeping it clean, smooth, and consistent. With 120 left in this one. It's JJ out front. Watch the end of the triple, guys. It's clear. It's JJ out front. Xander's right behind him now. Xander giving a little love tap going into the triple. Chris jumping over JJ. Watch him the rhythm. Watch him the rhythm. Watch him the rhythm. Those are our leaders. Those are our leaders. Watch him the triple. Looks like Keaton's back out there. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Your leader Xander coming in the triple now. JJ in the two. JJ just keeping it clean and consistent. Xander getting it wrong, getting into lap traffic, getting on the straightaway. With 45 seconds left in this one, it's JJ, your leader, coming up the stairs. I'm not sure who that is in front of him, but the leaders are right behind you. I believe that was Alex. That worked itself out. Xander getting it wrong at the end of the triple. Chris getting it wrong at the end of the triple. Marshall did that one correctly. First in, first out. Xander wreck first. It's JJ out front. Watch in the triple, watch in the triple. It's JJ, Xander, and Chris. JJ at the line had a five second advantage. They've got one more lap. It's JJ out front. Xander in the two, Chris in the three. Watch the end of the triple, watch the end of the triple. Your leader's coming in, your leader's coming in. Your leader is the fluorescent car coming through the rhythm. Keaton Grant done. Watch coming down the straightaway. Ron Taking A2, JJ McNugget, Chris Xander Mueller. bringing home second, JJ Chris McNugget. Yancey in the three, Jeremy and then it's McNugget. Robert, Ron, cameraman Chris, Landon, Landon, Alex, Eric, Chris and done. Keaton. All drivers are finished. Up next, race number 39, 13.5 Pro Stock 4 WD Buggy, A2 Main. Up now, 13.5, Pro Stock Four Wheel Drive Buggy. Oh, I need to stop real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get some marshals out here. Let's get some marshals out here, please. Well, JJ, I'm loving it, man. You got that one. I can see where uh, Xander just has a little bit more goose, you know, over some of these jumps. You said your car's like 300 grams heavier than a lot of these guys. B64. I'm going to be grabbing that car to do a, another photo shoot with it. Dude, it looks good out there. Just clean and consistent, making it happen. Yeah, I made a couple changes from the last day because uh, it was a little bad rear end and it wanted to go until everywhere. So 
Felt really good that time. Yeah, I just don't have the motor that everyone else does, whether that's because I'm 200 grams over or gearing or whatever. But, you know, keeping it clean, never, I didn't do the triple double once. So, I mean, maybe that's the reason why I won, because I just kept it cleaner. Hey, it looked good out there, man. Uh, you said you only really race about once a year, huh? Yeah, so I come out here about once a year and throw it down and then come back next year. Right on. We need to get some of this guy some help, guys, from those out there. A lot of talent here out of JJ. Congratulations on the run, man. We'll see you in the next one. Best of luck. Thank you. You got it, buddy. All right, guys, back to you. JJ, you're going to be the end of the rhythm, bud. End of the rhythm? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's roll them out, check them in. You guys get two laps, two laps. Jared Deluge, Eddie Money, Ethan Hoskins, Caden Meeks, Kobe Yonker, Ryan Moore, Cliff Nicholson, Doug LaRiviere, Austin Riley, Alex Sturgill. Okay, I believe everybody got their two laps. Straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed, guys. Straightaway is closed. Hurry up and run it to him. Run it to him. TLR drivers, anybody go help Eddie out? As much as possible. As soon as they get the grid set, you get your one minute call. Your lineup for this one is Doug in the one, Kobe in the two, Caden Meeks in the three, Ethan Hoskins in the four, Brian Moore in the five. Jared Deluge in the six. Cliff Nicholson in the seven. Eddie's going to be in the eight. Austin Riley, your bump up driver, in the nine. And Alex Sergel in the ten. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute, Eddie, one minute. I want to say a special thanks to our sponsors for the 35th annual ProLine April Fool's Classic. Thank you, ProLine, TLR, Horizon Hobby. Thank you, Team Associated, Factory Team, Aridi, ProTech, a Main Hobbies, Hobby Wing, Savox, Racer's Edge, HRP, Shell, Focus Lids, Mod Live Media, Mod, EFX Mobile Detailing, and Lindsay Mobile Repair. Thank you guys, appreciate it. That was a quick fix there on Eddie's car. Driver's ready, Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. <laughs> Taking A1, it was Doug Lervier. Doug tapping on the pipe early. That's going to give Caden the advantage. Kobe running in the back of him. Kobe jumping to the inside at the end of the triple. All right, we had a good battle in this one last. Hey, Doug, Kobe, Caden, and Ethan. You guys were up top there, and uh, Doug looking to take this one home as he comes through the doubles here. And I don't want him to get away right now. Looks like Meeks. Coming up in that P2 right now, down the straightaway. Doug Laverier going to be leading this one out, though, with Meeks in tow. Hard charging Hoskins going to be going up to that third place position. Going along with that battle right now in between Meeks and Hoskins, both in the Team Associated rigs. Team Associated one, two, three, and four from what we can tell. Still have not caught up to Doug though, but they are pushing the pace and Doug's all on his own. So he's gonna have to worry about him here soon if he makes a mistake here for Meeks and Hoskins. With 3.30 left to go here for Doug. Down that stretch. Doug, oh, Ethan getting it wrong. Launches it off that second one. His car just went nose high. Meeks in the lead. 
in that P2, but it's gonna be all about Doug Laverier. As we catch him going on to the straightaway right now, Doug and the team associated doesn't want to let this one go. He's already in the lead, saying, I want to take this one home. He did already get P1. Doug on the straight and off the straight. Looking good. Car looks comfortable here for him. I think he's going to have more of a battle in two-wheel drive. Heading down that straightaway here for Dougie. Caden Meek's going to be in that too. Ethan, Ryan Moore, Jared, Alex, Eddie, Kobe, Austin, Cliff Nicholson to round him out. Still have another about 23 races left to go. Oh, someone hitting the wall. So Yonker, it looks like he's actually getting lapped right now. So Meeks, he has not let go yet. So you can see him there about two corners behind that of Doug. So Meeks trying to push the pace right now. He is 2.2 back right now. Let's see on the next lap how he comes through. Doug going triple-double. Same thing for Meeks. Down that straightaway. Doug's coming up on Cliff. Oh, Cliff getting out of the way. Cone hit there. Gonna add another one to the tally. We're four away from 100. Doug looking pretty solid in this one. Looking to take this one home. Thirty-five to go. Thirty-five to go here for Doug. Transfer back over to our other announcer. He just got fifteen-three last time by. Your leader over the triple through the keyhole into the rhythm section. Triple double. Somebody bounced off the back wall. That's my line. Watch the sweeper go inside. Go inside. Go inside. It's still dug out front, Caden the two. It's now 6.1. That is time Anyone on the done. clock. You'll be done Austin when you cross the line. Done. Watch, getting on a straight, guys. Austin Riley done. Austin Riley done. Waiting on Alex a few Churchill more, done. waiting on a few more. Ryan Moore done. And Ethan that is a race, taking that Ethan one Hoskins and done. taking it in two. Nicholson Doug Lurvier. Caden Meeks in the two, Ethan All Hoskins in finish. the three. Up next, race number 40. Modified 4WD buggy. A2 main. You didn't let that one go, Doug. Yeah. Kind of figuring it out, and uh, you just kept that kept that same amount of pace there ahead of Meeks. Yeah, um, Caden's really fast. Um, everyone in that class is pretty good, so uh, we all had pace. Um, who didn't crash the most? And um, that run, I think I was the best run I ran all weekend, so pretty proud of that. Um, Definitely a bit more confidence going into Nationals next week, so it's all good. Congratulations, man. Best of luck at Nats and uh, locking up four-wheel drive. Congrats. Thank you. You got it. All right, guys. Back to some modified four-wheel drive race. Hey, Carlos, you might want to set your sunglasses on the wall just in case. Just because it's modified four-wheel drive buggy. Thank you, Doug, for grabbing the blower.
Okay, I need all my marshal spots taken up. Let's get all my marshals out there. Okay, there is no sitting other than Kobe and Ethan if you're marshaling. Do you guys, hold on, do you guys want to marshal in the end of the rhythm or are we good without it? No? Okay, Brock says no. He's TQ, so let's go. Let's roll them out, guys. Brock Champlin. Blake Champlin. Rob Gillespie. Dominic Passioni. Harley Yoshii. Brandon Foote. Austin Cracknell. And where's Ethan Hoskins? Ethan, are you not running Mod Polo? Okay, Ethan's not running. Okay, guys, straightaways closed, straightaways closed. Taylor Daggs. And then Shane Reed. Okay. Your top qualifier, Brock Champlin, Dominic Passione in the two, Austin Cracknell in the three, Harley Yoshi in the four, Rob Gillespie Jr. in the five, then it's Brandon Foote in the six. And the seven's going to be Ethan Hoskins. He decided not to run this round. Then it's Blake Champlin in the eight, uh, Taylor Daggs in the nine, and Shane Weed in the ten. Okay, drivers be ready, or marshals be ready. Drivers ready, marshals ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. It's the Schumacher Hobby Wing. Jay Concepts right, a Brock Champlin out front, Dominic Passio right there on his rear wing. Everybody going double, sink, double, triple on the first lap. Keep it clean, guys, keep it clean, keep it clean. It's Brock, Dom, Austin, Harley. All right, and we're on it once again. Grab some photos of JJ's car there. That thing is a hoot. Ah, oh, Dominic going out of this one, posting up that photo there. Where we had uh, Dom versus Champlin. Get a little bit of breathing room now ahead of Cracknell, Yoshi, <coughs> Rob, and Dom. So they head onto the straightaway. Four minutes left to go. So. Pretty much out of this one. Later dude gone here for Champlin in four-wheel drive. As long as he doesn't make a mistake. Ah, Cracknell's starting to make up a little bit of speed, a little bit of pace here. Not out of this one yet. That TLR looking hungry. See, he's coming around here. But it is going to be Cracknell and Yoshi. I believe they are Tacoma boys. Coming out here, Yoshi on the binders there behind Cracknell, saying, let's go, bud. We need to catch up to Brock. Yoshi, one of the coolest drivers I've ever met. Very quiet, very fast, very humble. So Harley, always a good guy. Cracknell coming onto the scene a couple of years ago. A lot of raw talent out of him. As they try and break into the top spots, Cracknell, a little bit of a mistake there. Yoshi to the advantage. And we're going to have Rob Gillespie, IRCR home track hero right there. Down the stretch. By the start finish line right now for these guys as Brock Champlin just chilling out there in the lead. One of the best runs I've seen, though, out of Harley Yoshi this entire time. So kind of getting used to this track, getting used to the layout and his car handling how he needs it to. Into this first place position as Cracknell now starting to defend against Gillespie. Getting it wrong there as we have a three-way battle. Two, three, and four. Yoshi, Cracknell, and Gillespie. That's going to be your battle as Brock checks out out of this one with a large lead. Coming on the straightaway there, all red car for Yoshi. Cracknell in the bomb pop looking car. And in the blue and yellow car there for Gillespie. Two minutes left to go, two minutes to go.
Oh, Gillespie goes to two. Something happening to Yoshi. Yoshi taps out of this one. He's going to lose one, two, three, four positions on one lap here for Harley. Unfortunate there for him. As he drops down the ranks with a very fast car. Get on with Brock now. Champlin with a minute 15 left to go here. Gillespie going into that too. Good to see Rob mixing it up. Cracknell now in that three. Yoshi in the four now. Gets past a couple guys here. Dominic Pacquion has not been able to do what he needs to do in a four-wheel drive here. Champlin in the lead. Through the double trip on a nice Sunday drive out here at IRCR for the April Fool's Classic. 15 seconds away from wrapping up four-wheel drive. Oh, someone hitting that square. That's Dom hitting it square. Amazing run, a nice Sunday drive for you. Kind of how you want it to go, a little bit of less drama. Yeah, I, uh, I think my tires were just too new in the first main. My car was uh, quite a bit easier to drive, just barely. So, yeah, it was a good run. The guys behind me were kind of going at it. They gave me a lot of breathing room, and then I was able to kind of, I pushed a little bit during the middle of the race just to see what the car was capable of, and then, yeah, it was a good run. Right on, man. Have you been out to, I believe it's Beach RC. Have you been out there before? Yeah, I went to Masters of Dirt last year for the first time ever, so... It should be exciting for the Nationals next week. I know the track was super challenging the last time I was there. I'm sure they'll build a, a wicked track again. So, yeah, I'm excited. Right on, man. Best of luck out there. Yeah, thank you. You got it. All right, so we do have uh, Champlin there, and congratulations.
Brown. McGuire coming into the tabletop section. Down the straightaway he goes. That's the orange and silver car associated. I was just checking it out. The shocks felt really good on it. Watch the rhythm. That is clear now. Mia in the two spot. Mia comes across the line right there. Going to drop in a 21-niner. Mia is the pink and white car. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Good job, Dom. Hudson going to go back into the two spot now. That's a battle down the straightaway, but your leader right behind both of them. Oh! Mia and Hudson get tied up. Your leader working. Oh. Watch straight, watch straight. Go outside, clear. Taylor almost did it. I saw that. We have it on the video. Watch straight away. Go outside on the straight, outside on the straight, clear. 2.30 left in this one. McGuire doing the work. He's got A1. He's trying to wrap this one up in two. Oh, he gets all sideways in the, the rhythm section. Oh, Hudson and Mia getting tied up again. Let's keep it clean. Be patient, drivers. McGuire out front. Hudson in the two. Bittner in the three. Colton in the four. Russ in the two five. Oh, here comes Mia. Trying to catch up with Hudson. Hudson's right in front of her in that blue buggy. So Hudson threw the sweeper in front of the driver's stand. Mia right behind. Good over. The, oh, makes a little mistake. Not too bad, though. The gazelle's on it. You don't have to worry. There's your leader in through the rhythm section right now. That all orange, silver, white, white wheels down the straightaway he goes. He's got 115. He traction rolled. Yeah, that happened. McGuire out front, Hudson in the two, Colton now in the three. One Mia in the four, Mia gets it wrong in the triple. Your leader coming into the rhythm section. Be careful in there. There's a car down, car down. Taylor's there. Good job. Oh, McGuire gets it wrong. Dad's chasing around the track. Watch sweeper. That's clear now. McGuire still has two laps on the field right now. He just got to keep it in the center of the track. Colton now into the two spot. Hudson in the three. Colton going to be that, I think that uh, purple. Okay. When you get Eli to the line, done. you will be done. Eli, you're Mia done. Mia, you're done. Few more to finish out here, drivers. Few more to finish. McGuire going to take it down and win 21-5 Sportsman two-wheel drive. Getting both A1 and A2. Hudson Eden done. Please go see the Mod Media. Get your interview on. That's a wrap on race 41-42 coming your way next. Up next, race number 42, 21.5 stock 2 WD. Motors. Well, man, you wrapped it up in two. How does it feel? Feels great. Right on. Think now, probably bumping out of this class, something else for the future. Definitely going to go up to 21.5, and if I go better in that, maybe even 17 here soon. 
congratulations, man, on the run. Congrats on your win, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Yeah, All you right, too. See ya. Great job, buddy. Great job. All righty, guys, next one up. Bittner. 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 If you want to swap out some of these marshals, if you do, it's fine. We just got to need to do it. Really? Well, what about he can marshal too, right? What about this young man right here? Volunteer, I believe. Okay. We got one. He's a volunteer in the corner over there, right? Yep. We need one. All right, we need four marshals right now. We need one in the front triangle. We need one at the top of the steps. We need one at the bucket and one at the beginning of the straight. So we're going to need some help with marshalling, folks. This is a highly contested 21 five stock two wheel drive buggy A main number two. One more at the we need one more at the start of the straight, please. Need one at the top of the stairs. One at the top of the stairs. Jump out there so we can get this done. Just need one more, one more, one more. Top of the stairs, top of the stairs. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Check them in, check them in, check them in. Check them in. Casey Ford. Tucker Eden. Carrie Powell. Jim Cooper. Chuck Erickson, Ed Garcia, Dave Pirula, Rick Riley. All right, straight will be closed when you get there. Straight will be closed. Straight's closed. Tucker gets his lap. All right, this is going to be a good one. The last one was pretty good. This is how we're going to go off. Tucker, Casey, Chuck, Ed, Jim, Dave, Carrie, Rick. All right. Hold on, I got to add you to the race. Jaden Bartlett. Yep. Tony Sadison. All right, I got everybody checked in for this one. This is going to be a full heat, 10 drivers. We have got marshals. We have got track marshals and drivers. Everyone is going to go on the tone in less than five. Keep it clean. Good start. Ah, oh, Tucker rolls it over. McGuire trying to get there. Work together, work together. Don't be impatient. You got to work through traffic. That's how it works. Tucker with a rough start, but he's working back into it. He's got the pace. Right now, Casey out front, chucking the two. Dave in the three. One, two, three down the straightaway. There's the four spot of Dayton Bartlett up from the nine. So he's already having a good run at it. Rocking that TLR car. Out front, though, Casey Ford, associated car. Reedy Power. Chuck Erickson associated as well. I think Dave also has an associated. One fifteen into this one. Casey set an early pace. Casey with a mistake. I think that's what happened. Yes, got caught on the pipe there. That's going to move Chuck Erickson to the point. Dave Barella in the two spot. Dayton in the three. Casey Ed. Carrie, Tucker, Jim, Tony, and Rick. 
Watch the tabletop. Watch tabletop. Oh, Dayton getting it wrong. Casey did pull in a wheelie. Watch straight, watch straight, watch straight. Chuck Erickson out front. Dave Barilla in the two. Chuck is checking out right now. Chuck over the triple and into the rhythm section. That associated. Down the straightaway he goes. Chuck, one of the Colorado contingent, made the drive out this weekend to come racing. Chuck, Dave, Ed, Casey, Carey, Tucker, Dayton. 2.20 left to go in this one. 2.20 left to go. Chuck, lead the way up through the step up. Two minutes left. Into the rhythm section, orange, silver, yellow, white. That's the ride. Inside of two minutes now left in this one. Dave Barilla in that two spot. Ed Garcia in the three. Casey in the four. Tucker now moving himself up into the five spot. Green car, green wing working through traffic there, nicely done. Tucker sending it right now, he's on the move. Hot lap on the screen though. Casey Ford, 17-9. Oh, car down in the sweeper. Okay, let's see if I can catch up with your leader right across the line right now into the double-double section. Into the middle of the steps he goes, into the step down, over in the double single, around the 180. One minute left. With one minute left to go, trying to finish out a good lap here. He's got a nice lead, 5.4 seconds over Dave Barilla right now. Dave on the straightaway. Right there. Casey Ford now back up into the three spot. Dave Barilla making a mistake. Gonna move Casey up to the two, it looks like. Oh, Dave making another mistake. So we can catch up with your leader in the double single section, working through the back rhythm. 20 seconds left to go. Your leader through the sweeper into the double doubles. Oh, Dayton trying to get out of Chuck's way there. Ed Garcia done. When you Tucker get to the line, done. you're going to be done. Karen Tucker's Powell done. 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 Ed's done. Watch Sweeper. Rick Riley done. Dave Pirilla done. Chuck Erickson done. Few more to finish. Few more to finish. Looking for Casey Ford done. Casey Jim and Jim looking for Dayton, Dayton and Bartlett Tony. Done. That's Tony a race. Done. Chuck Erickson going to take a number finished. two. 21-5 stock two-wheel drive buggy. Casey Ford going to go to the two spot. Ed Garcia gets it done in the three. Up next, race number 43. 17.5 super stock two WD buggy. A2 main. Um... Oh, Chuck Erickson, yeah, we got it. Right on, Chuck. Great job out there, man, taking that one home. I'm trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> They're quick. Oh, yeah. They're hard to keep up with at my age. Congratulations. Anybody you'd like to thank? Everybody at More RC. Right on, man. Congratulations. Best of luck in A3. Thanks. You got it. Oh. 
I need somebody at the bucket. And somebody there. I got somebody there, there. Top of the stairs. You got that covered. Top of the stairs. Thank you, sir. All right, let's check them in. Roll them out. Check them in. Xander Nicholson. Matt Olson, fresh off of an interview. Keaton Grant. Trying to get his mind right to Drace out here. Loss. Matt Breesbo. Chris Yancey. Robert Yancey. JJ Rhythm. Nectar. And triple. Rhythm and triple. Easy, guys. Just a warm-up lap. Only one lap. Matt Olson. Straight is closed. Straight is closed. Hey, Ron and Lonnie, who won the bump? You don't know? All right. I'm just going to pick then. Uh, Lonnie Sinkovic. Lonnie, you're going to be in the nine spot, and Ron, Ron in the Churvick. ten. I totally don't know, so we're going with that. Yeah, either way, it doesn't matter. As long as you get to the line, it's fine. All right, we've got 10 on the grid. Looks like we got marshals. We've got drivers. Everyone is going to go on the tone in less than five. All right, clean start. Matt Olson out front. Oh, second place going to roll it there. Everybody, or some people trying to air it out. Some people making up spaces. Watch rhythm, watch rhythm, rhythm. Rhythm, clear. Oh, Matt cutting it really close to the inside of that pipe there. He's going to go double, single. Xander going to triple in and double out, tries to cut the corner. Didn't work. <laughs> Xander in that too, though. He's got a car. Alex up into the three spot now. Keaton going to drop to the four, it looks like. Alex, that yellow, green, gray, yellow wheels. Oh, Xander with an issue there. Xander with an issue. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Something happened there. Oh. Ball, ball stud, ball cup. Something. That's unfortunate. Matt out front, though. Alex Strapanopolopoulos in the two. You should hear the computer try to say that name. It's hilarious. No. It's just what I call Alex. Alex in the two spot. Matt Olson, check it out. Watch triple, watch triple. Good job, Marshall. That's how you do that. Good job. Matt Olson out front. Alex in the two. Robert now in the three. G in the four. Oh, be careful. Watch after the triple, after the triple. Your leader coming into the rhythm section there. Oh, white. There we go. We working it out. Up the step up he goes, then then into the step down. Triple in, double in, triple out. Your leader. Oh, watch sweeper, watch sweeper, watch, go inside if you can, inside if you can. All right, that's clear now. So Matt Olson, as a reminder, took A number one. He's Right now in good position to wrap up this class. However, there's still two minutes left to race in, and a lot can happen. Your leader working left. across the front steps right now into the step down. He's double singling. 
Put that back across, please. Thank you. Good job. Watch triple, watch triple. Clear. Your leader down the straightaway. There he goes. White body, yellow wheels. Yellow wheels are faster. Uh, the ultimate debate of nonsense. Matt Olson out front. He's over the triple, airs it out nicely. Alex, about 10 seconds back. Gap behind him is four tenths, then Ron is seven tenths back. Ron started in the last spot. So he's working his way nicely through the crowd. One minute left. Your leader with a nice line over the triple that time. Into the tabletops he goes. Down the straightaway, gonna see Looks like Ron before too long. We got 45 seconds left in this one. Oh, watch rhythm, watch rhythm. Go the inside of the rhythm. Watch triple, watch triple. You're good. I wouldn't put you in harm's way for very long at least. 25 seconds left to go. Alex Strapanopoulos making a little bit of an issue there. But he's okay. Ron's still pretty far back. We got 15 seconds left to go in this one. Oh, car down in front of the rhythm. Clear. That was Breezy. Oh, no. Sorry. That was someone else. Cameron. All right. When you Lonnie get to the Yancey line, you done. will be done. Matt Breezebo done. Chris Yancey done. Lonnie done. Breezy Alex done. Stratton Chris done. done. Matt Olson Matt done. Olson Ron Cherrick done. Alex Trapanopoulos done. done. Robert, Robert Yancey, Yancey done. done. Still looking for Keaton and G. Keaton Grant done. JJ Nutter done. All right, All and we are done. Matt Olson going to take it down, going to win A2 and A1, wrapping up 17-5 Superstock 2 wheel drive buggy. Brock Champlin on the mic going to interview Mr. M Matt Olson. Alex going to go in the two spot. Ron Cherick with a great run from the nine up to All the All right, two we're here with Matt. You turn it on? Yep. Ah, we're on, we're on, we're on live. How'd it go out there? That was probably my best run all weekend. I just kept it smooth, didn't really take any major risks. Uh, car felt the best then. We had the, threw in the mod puck system for the, the A1 and A2. We were running the feather lights before I had the stuff and he ended up surprising me with it. it. I had plenty of power up over these triples, didn't take any risks and kind of just played it smart. Okay, there with the casual plug. So, uh, I mean, what's next for you? I don't know. We got uh, the Wally -E, uh, race next week for some eight scale. I don't think I'll be racing that, but we're going to be doing some coverage out there. Then we have a week after that, and then we got uh, I got a week off, so I know my girlfriend's going to be happy. Shout out to Megan back home, and uh, then we go to Silver State. So we got right. some Silver State fifth scale racing going on. Join us, uh, join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, make sure to check it out on Mod. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Bob. Thank you. Okay, hey, how am I waiting for marshals? I had plenty of drivers in that last race. I had plenty of, oh, Xander's back to back and Matt Olson's not marshalling. Okay, I need, looks like I need two marshals, guys. People from that last race. Where, oh, Casey's up front. Thank you, Daryl. There's Lonnie, there's Robert, there's Chris. Oh, JJ's hiding. I didn't see JJ hiding in the corner there. Okay. I've got it all covered. Okay, guys. You all guys righty, guys. Two laps. Two laps. Remember, this is warm up. This is. Thank you so much for the uh, support there, guys. Pretty sweet to. Uh,
to be able to race that. And uh, thank you to Cliff Nicholson. He's literally super, he's super kind. He's actually up in this next one with the same car that I just ran. He got some other tires ready and, uh, and another battery pack, and he's throwing it out there. So I'm glad I didn't break it on him. So he's going to be out there. Oh, the motor might be too hot to do the triple. So hopefully uh, he's able to, to do it out there and should be, should be good. So thank you, guys. Um, thank you, Wes. Appreciate it. Thanks, babe. She, Megan chiming in. Thank you, one of 40. <laughs> Andrasos, hey Matt, since you won, we all get a mod sweatshirt, right? <laughs> would, all 143 of you that are watching, that would put me in the poor house real quick when those things cost like $30 a piece to make. It'd be like over three grand in sweatshirts. All right, we're getting this one going. Also, we got... Uh, Hoskins right there, he's running the mod system in there. He had a lackluster first one, he had some issues. And back on it once again here for Hoskins. Oh, jumping through, absolutely killer pace through there. Gas in that thing, just, oh, he's barely making it over that thing. So I don't know if he's knowing that or that triple's getting a little bit harder. I like the double triple. I, I tried the, tri the, the triple double, it's not a nice lander such a sharp lander because the face of the jump and the landing of the jump are the, are the exact same height. We got Yonker going to be in that too. Leverrier and Meeks all battling it out down the straightaway. Oh, sliding into the end of the straight on the marbles there. Oh, Hoskins with an issue. So here comes Yonker going a little bit wide there for Hoskins. Yonker right behind him looking strong coming onto the straightaway right now. Ethan Hoskins and Yonker, the ones to watch right now. Ah, Meek's taking that one over here from Doug. So Doug take, took the first one in two wheel, but it wasn't pretty. Oh, Ethan making a mistake. Meek's going to go by. So he's going to lose two positions on that one. Can Hoskins get up? He's literally gassing and letting off on the throttle with how much speed Hoskins has in that two wheel drive. So definitely one of the fastest out there. Just he's been missing out. On the consistency, Meeks shutting him down on that line that he would have had. He would have got hit because one took a triple, one took a double. So now the all pink car of Yonker going to be in the lead of this one. Meeks in the two. That's a two, three, and fourth place battle right there. These guys coming into an ultimate amount of traffic. It looks like Meeks might have dropped down. And he does, so it's gonna be Hoskins and Leverrier now trying to catch the all pink car. Oh, going into the cone, and nice Marshall jobby right there. That was cool. And the marker goes up. We go to 98. So Yonker, Hoskins, Leverrier, Moore, Meeks, Knight, Nicholson, Sturgill, and Cliff Nicholson. Cliff there at the end, I kind of feel bad, might have hurt his car. Oh, going over there. So I don't know if the car is just uh, what's up with Cliff, but he's got to reel that thing back in. Oh, man, it is calamity here in the back. Hoskins, though, I think going to that two. So, yeah, Ethan, then Doug in the three. That's going to be your battle right there, up and over the triple for your top spots. Yonker trying to get the best points possible right now. Forget what he was in P in the A1. And I know Hoskins was down there as well, so these two looking for valuable points. Oh, D Doug flipping over there, back on it. So Hoskins now sets his sights on Yonker. Down that straightaway here for Hoskins. Hoskins and Yonker going up and over the double. We are on that all pink car right now. With 130 left to go. Oh, Yonker gonna be coming into a slew of traffic. Here comes Hoskins down the straightaway. Oh, getting caught up slightly there with the all pink car. He might get into traffic here. Hopefully, they're letting him by. Same thing for Hoskins. Oh, it goes over. Here it comes. Boom, and there you go. Pass for the lead right there. We got Hoskins into the lead with the mod B7 puck system up and over the doubles. Looking good, little bit of luck there. 
coming through the doubles here for Yonker. He's going to be sad about that one as he comes through the triple. Hoskins now with a commanding lead with 45 seconds left to go. Man, oh man. So Hoskins, his race to lose with 30 seconds left to go as he tags the wall. Don't shear off the front end on that thing. Coming through the triple there, looking good. Car still fast coming through the trip double. And down the straightaway. Hoskins snagging that one. Looking to snag it, I should say. It ain't over till it's over with eight seconds left to go. Still able to make these difficult triples. Must be that lightweight puck system in there. Shameless plugs. Oh, he goes over. Luckily had plenty of time. Congratulations, Hawk Hoskins. Yonker having major pace there, finishing two seconds back. Now we got, looks like it's gonna be Doug, Ryan, and Caden. Well, Ethan, man, so you had the speed out there. You were lacking major consistency. And then there at the end, Yonker got tagged. You tripled right over him. So a little bit of luck there, but you still had to have the pace. Made it happen with your B B7. Yeah. The, uh, the grips came up a lot. The tracks were getting harder to drive. But trying to keep it on all four wheels is the fast line. And traffic has kind of been an issue this race. And Kobe, unfortunately, got stuck in it. I just drove my best, got around him, and was able to take the win, so. Right on, man. Congratulations on the win, and uh, any changes going into the next one? Nope, just got to drive consistent, so. Well, you're lining up on that uh, P1 position. You got everything that you need to do it. Congratulations. Yep, thank you. You got it. Yonker. All but having it there, man. It was unfortunate you got caught up. I think it was with some lap traffic or you hit it right there, and then it was a gaggle went into you. You had the pace, you're making it happen. Car looked great. Hey, thank you. Yeah, my car was really good. Um, I just kind of got landed on by lap traffic, but what can you do? It wasn't my fault, but I was trying to run a clean race and try and take it to an A3, but Ethan won, so now we're going to A3 anyway, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's all gonna come down to points. You have a very fast car, it's gonna come between, I do believe, you, Doug, and uh, and Ethan there. So we're looking forward to the battle. Congratulations on P2 nonetheless, and uh, good luck in your A3. Thanks, Matt. You got it. All righty, guys, back to some racing for Modified. Alrighty, what a run there. One of 40, now if you can only get the drivers to hit the cone 100 more times. I don't know about that. Kyle Killey, oh, he's back on it on the counter, so thank you, Kyle. Right on, I don't have to deal with it anymore. We're almost to 100. Who's gonna be lucky 100? Kyle Killey, sorry I had to adult for a bit. That's no fun. <laughs> Andros had to try. Yeah, right on. All right. We got one through ten here lined up, ready to rock out here. Excited for this one. So that you guys know how it went in the last one. It was Dom in the P2 that got this one over that of Brock. So we're going to see how this one goes. Here we go. Oh, 
the inside trying, so I'm telling you, Brock shoots way wide on that triple section. He's been doing that every time. Dom has a nice cleaner line going through there as they're coming around. Oh, looking still a little bit loose here for Champlin, so I don't know if he changed anything, but he's definitely not pulling away. Looking like it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit chaotic to drive. He's up on two wheels. He bicycles it again. So, oh man, he chassis slaps it. So, oh, Dom taking a hit there. Oh man. So, he was right there looking to strike, but unfortunate there for Dom. Now he's going to have to play catch up to a very strong Brock Champlin nonetheless. So, but is Brock going to make a mistake? But it is going to be your two, three. Four and five coming through with Gillespie, Cracknell, Pacquione, and Foot. Your current running order in the match that we're seeing right now. As Rob starts to step away a little bit, Cracknell right ahead. Oh, Dom going over, and that's going to probably be all she wrote there for Dominic. So he's going to take this one to an A3. Throw this run away in the trash can. Rob Gillespie now looking to catch up to his buddy Brock Champlin as he goes up over the triple. Cracknell as well as we follow along with that battle in between Gillespie and Cracknell as Brock still the car up on two wheels through this sweeper section. So I know he's probably going to be looking for something more coming into the next race. These guys all opting for this double triple line. Pacquione still loving the trip double. I tried the triple double. I hated it. Oh, Gillespie with the sweet line over the cone. Foot getting it a little bit wrong. He's going to let Pacquione by. Brandon Foot, known for his carpet prowess. Not so much for his dirt abilities, but he's out here trying to make it happen. Pacquion looks like he flips over again. So unfortunate there for him, not able to capitalize on that one, especially with Champlin's car not looking like I know he wants it to look and feel. With Rob Gillespie going to be in that P2, having a good run right now. As we follow along with Champlin on track, Race number 45 of 62, 45 of 62. We have another 17 races to go. So that you guys know, anybody that wins an A1 and an A2, they get to sit out the A3, or it's kind of, I guess, frowned upon if you race it. Oh, Brock's upside down. Here comes Gillespie. Just as I'm kind of ranting about other stuff, here comes a race. Gillespie up and over the doubles. Is he going to do something about it? Here we go. On to the straightaway here. Gillespie might have found some pace now. He's been there waiting on a mistake out of Champlin. And we've got a hard-charging Cracknell going to be in the three. So Brock versus Gillespie at the end of the straightaway. Crack, no tapping out of this one. So it's your one and two with one minute left to go. Oh, little mistake there out of Brock. Coming through here for Gillespie. Up and over, trying to catch that of Brock. He needs to start pushing now. With 55 seconds left to go, he's going to get about three more laps out of this one, four more laps. So he needs to make up this time, put some pressure on Champlin. Definitely this B7 looking a little bit better than the Schumacher right now. Even though Brock is in the lead, his car does, oh, just doesn't look like he's happy with it. Coming up and over, down the straightaway, chassis slapped again, been lucky with it. 20 seconds left to go, they're gonna get one more after this one as Gillespie pushes. Oh, Rob, oh, gonna go over for Gillespie. That's gonna be all that she wrote. He might not get another lap. Pushing it here. The end of the straightaway as Rob actually edges back up on him a little bit. Oh, sliding out there for Brock. I right, have a conversation with him on this one. Car looks like a handful. 
It will be Rob. I'm sorry, Brock. It will be Rock, then Rob, Brandon, Dominic, Austin, Harley, Blake, Jason, Shane, and Taylor. Well, Brock, I'm seeing how you're driving out there. You haven't found the right setup yet. No, my car's just really soft. I don't know. I, I, it's really tire dependent, so I think in the last one, even though my tires are still good, I'm just going to go out on new tires. My car in this morning and the warm-up or like the practice this morning, my stuff felt stiff, and then we get into racing. I don't know. We get a couple runs on the tires, and then it starts to just feel super soft. So I'm just going to put on new tires and go from there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I was comfortable out there, and I made a dumb mistake. But like at the end of the straightaway, and just coming through all this stuff, I just everything's happening so quick, like underneath me, and I can't really do a whole lot about it. So, no, we're kind of looking at it, and you're bicycling up, like almost on every every little corner. You know, if you try and push hard, it's almost coming over on the front end on itself. Um, look, obviously you're hitting the lines, but your car's just not kind of cooperating right now, just trying to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, like I said, just I think tires is definitely pretty big because I wasn't feeling that at all on new tires so yeah just got to swap tires and then I know my brother tried something uh, just changed something by half a mil but it changes a lot and uh, so I'll probably put that on right on well we're all looking forward to a a3 congratulations yeah thank you you got it we got Gillespie over here hometown track hero of IRCR and uh, Rob Reedy race winner back in the day dude you had pace and this darn corner got you, my man. Yep, no, that corner's been tricky all weekend. Uh, shout out to Team Associate. That new B7 is incredible. I haven't had a two-wheel this good at April Fool's in probably five years, so really happy. Uh, good race to Brock. He's always super fast no matter where he goes. And, you know, now this is his home track. This is kind of his dirt now, but it's fun to be able to go out there and still race with him. It was a good time. I look good out there, man. Congratulations. And uh, you had the pace. So just need to push it that much more uh, going into A3. Yeah, uh, you know, the pace is pretty good. My car is incredible to drive. I took a little bit, not necessarily a break, but just kind of got a job and started doing real life stuff. So we've been coming back and out, driving a ton lately. And it just shows how good that new B7 is, man, because uh, we're a little rusty, but we're still able to go and run pretty decently. So. Right on. Congratulations, my friend. Best of luck in A3. Hey, thank you. And thank you so much for the coverage. I always enjoy watching it. And we appreciate you coming down. Thank you, Rob. Awesome. Well, Rob Gillespie there, he always thanks us for coming out. So uh, good running there out of Gillespie and home track hero right there. So let's get some more racing. Thank you. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Just a heads up to everybody in the A mains. Top three. You're gonna take your car straight to the tabletop oval, set it down, come out and marshal, and then right after you're done marshaling, you're gonna to go to the, the sign race. behind the mod media board and you're gonna get your podium pictures. We're gonna do the podium pictures, a race after yours. Try to keep the program rolling, get everybody out of here on time make flights, get their drive home, all that stuff. Whoa, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, you wanna turn that, Joel, where'd you go? Whatever you just turned on, I need turned off. Okay, your lineup for this one, your top qualifier in 17.5 Masters four wheel drive buggy is Dave Brilla, Ed Garcia in the two, Kyle Kendrick in the three, then it's Troy Perkins, Dave Coffin, Robert York, Lance Schwab, Dominic Longoria, Dio, and Kerry Powell. Drivers ready, Marshall's ready, 
Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. There is only one more race that I need volunteer marshal help with. Watch the triple, watch coming in the triple, watch coming in the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Dom's trying to get there. Ed sending it off onto the straightaway. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Dave Brillo with the TQ Blues in that one. It's Ed Garcia out front. Dave right there in the two. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Watch the front section, watch the berm, watch the berm. I can hear Kyle over there in his announcer voice hollering where people are wrecked at. It's awesome. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the sweeper. It's clear. It's now Dave Brill out front. Looks like Troy Perkins in the two. Troy getting it wrong in the triple. That's going to put Ed back in the two. Lance Schwab in the three. Dave Brilla out front. Ed Garcia in the two. Then it's Lance Schwab, Troy Perkins, Kyle Kendrick. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Watch the front section, that's your leader, upside down. Work together, guys, work together. Keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. Work together. Watch the end of the straightaway. That sounded like somebody hit a blower. Tough break there. I think that was Rod. No, that was, who was that? That was Dominic. Tough break there for Dominic. Watch sweeper, guys. Watch front section, watch front section, watch front section. Twinkle Toes beat the gazelle to the marshal. It's good to see Brandon Foote smiling about being called Twinkle Toes. Watch front section, watch front section, watch front section. Brandon Foote's not worth, used to marshalling on dirt. He is a carpet whiz in the Pacific Northwest. I believe last Nationals, he finished just outside the podium. It is Dave Brilla out front, Lance Schwab in the two. And it's Tora Perkins, Kyle Kendrick, Ed Garcia. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing? Thank you. It's Dave Brill out front, Troy Perkins in the two now. There's only a rhythm section between the two of them. Troy's starting to make up some ground on Dave. This is an eight minute main, by the way. What? Remember, guys, when you're being marshaled, don't touch the throttle. Good marshal there from Taylor. When the marshal has your car in, your, in their hands, do not touch that throttle trigger. I hope everybody charged their batteries completely and tested for an eight-minute man. This could get very interesting. Watch the uh, front section, watch the front section. <laughs> it's Dave Brill out front, Troy Perkins in the two. Dave Brill coming out of the rhythm right as Troy's coming in the rhythm. Second place is the yellow, blue, and white coming onto the tables. Watch the sweeper, stay inside, stay inside on the sweeper. Dave Coffin, you got second right behind you. Thank you, Dave. Ed Garcia, you'll have second coming up on you next. It's Barilla, Perkins, Schwab, Kendrick, Garcia, Coffin, Powell, Owen, and unfortunately, Longoria and York out early. Watch the triple, watch the triple. That was your leader getting it wrong in the triple. Ed earned his lap back. He's going to try to take off from your leader. It's Barilla and Perkins out front, Lance Schwab in the three. In the four spots, Kyle Kendrick, not too far back from Lance. It was 2.6 last time by. 
Hot lap of the race is Ed Garcia. Dom's telling me someone's getting hot. We're just past the five minute mark. We got 2.30 left in this one. Has anybody got a fire extinguisher re ready just in case? Joking, joking, joking. It will thermal way before that. Watch in the triple. Your battle for third coming through the rhythm section now. Down the straightaway, Lance has it. Kyle wants it. Kyle wants to take some of that hardware back home. Lance getting it wrong in the double. Kyle up into the three spot. Lance getting it wrong again. Two minutes left. You heard the lady through. Six down, two to go. Six down, two to go. Watch the sweeper, guys. Watch the sweeper. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Watch the end of the triple. Good marshal there for him. Austin Cracknell. Hits Dave, Troy, Kyle, Lance, Ed, Carey, David, Dio. Watch the sweeper, guys. Go inside on sweeper. Inside on sweeper. Inside on sweeper. Inside on sweeper. Your battle's starting to heat up for the lead. Dave Brilla through the stairs. Troy Perkins through the stairs. Ed, you have first in front of you and second right behind you. Dave Barilla over the tables, down the straightaway. Troy Perkins all over the rear wing of Ed Garcia. Ed getting it wrong in the front section. One minute left. You got first and second through the triple. Seven down, one to go. Dave has it, Troy wants it. Coming through the rhythm section now. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Troy getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. We've got 35 seconds left in this one. It's Dave Brilla, Troy Perkins, Kyle Kendrick still in the three spot. Then it's Lance Schwab, Ed Garcia, Kerry Powell, David Coffin, Dio. Watch the end of the triple, end of the triple, end of the triple. As time is about to expire, it's going to be a last lap shootout for the win. I've got Lance Schwab and David Coffin between first and second. Ed Garcia done. Dave Brill of 180. Done. Table playing it safe. Done. Down the straightaway. Taking that Dave one. Dave Barilla. Troy David Perkins Coffin bringing home done. second. Kyle Kendrick bringing home third. Lance Schwab done. Then it's Lance, Ed, Kerry, David, Dio, Dominic, and Rob. Okay, top three, put your cars on the tabletop. Top three, put your cars on the tabletop. That is Dave, Troy, and Kyle. And then come on out and corner marshal. I know Kyle and Rob have volunteers. Is John one of those volunteers? Thank you, John. For who? For Barilla? Thank you, John. Got Dave Barilla here. Man, oh man, you didn't put the good body on. No, I didn't. <laughs> this is fine. Great job out there, man, grabbing that one. How does it feel? Feels pretty good. Here early on this week, so I had some time to get some practice in, but Troy was coming up on me pretty fast with about three minutes to go. Right on. Well, congratulations on the run, man. Anybody you'd really like to thank? Well, oh, thank you for coming out. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Great job out there. Okay, thank you. All right. Back to you guys. Uh, where are my marshals from that last one? Where are my volunteers that are supposed to be volunteering for Kyle and Rob? That 
That's some little Fords I'm looking for. Some little Ford. Oh, one of them's in the next race, so that one can't marshal. One minute to the start of the race. Really? I need one at the end of the rhythm. Thank you, Justin, for jumping out there. 45 seconds to the start of the race. End of the rhythm. Thank you, Ron. I was thinking, Justin, he came out. I made eye contact with you. Give me a second. I'll say thank you. One lap, guys. One lap. The start of the race. Chris Meeks. Mike Cartwright. It's been a long Alex week, Reinhold. and I know a lot of you are tired. Jared we just got, you Ron know, Trubick. what, 15, Alex 16 Trinhold more Ross. races? Randy Tanaka. Maybe more? Kyle Linton. Cliff Nicholson. I think we 15 have seconds to the start of the race. However many classes we have, that's how many races we have left. So 37, 38 races left, something like that. You're firing. Carlos Gonzalez, you're in this one. Sorry, don't listen to that. I need to turn that off. Carlos Gonzalez, are you done for the day? Carlos Gonzalez. Apparently, he's done for the day. Going once, going twice. So, your top qualifier, Cliff Nicholson in the two. Chris Meeks in the three. Kyle Linton in the four. Big J Knight in the five. Randy Tanaka in the six. Carlos Gonzalez in the seven. Ron Churk in the eight. Mike Cartwright in the nine. Alex and in the ten, Art. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's keep it clean, keep it smooth. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Looks like it's Chris Meeks out front. It was Jarrett Jer in the two. Mike Cartwright up to the three. It's Cartwright now in the two. It's Meeks, Cartwright, Knight, Alex, Kyle, Randy, Art, Ron, Cliff, and Carlos not making it. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Most of you guys up there are sponsored drivers and have been for a very long time. Watch the sweeper. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Keep it clean. 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 I can't believe that worked itself out. Complete luck. And I would call. Watch the front section. Work together, guys, work together. It's Chris Meeks out to a huge lead. Cartwright in the two. Then it looks like it's Alex, Art, and Cliff. One minute to the start of the race. Sorry, don't listen to that. I thought Joel turned that off. Apparently it's just gonna start announcing now. Your battle is for a second between Cartwright race. and Art and Cliff. Alex is right there as well. Can you go tell Joel to turn that off? It's Cartwright out front, or in the two. Art right there in the three. Now the Cliff to the, the inside, race. getting on the straightaway. Art said, let me give you the inside. I don't want any part of that. Watch the end of the triple. Cartwright trying to go big at the end of the rhythm, not able to make it work. Then Nitro fingering it through the end of the rhythm there. It's Chris Meeks out front. He's got last time by 11 second advantage over second. Watch top of the stairs, watch top of the stairs. Watch the bowl, watch the bowl, watch the bowl. Watch the end of the triple, watch the end of the triple. Marshals are doing the best they can, guys. 
Thank you, Art. I appreciate it. That was your leader. Somebody lost an outdrive or broke. No, it's broken right front. That looks like it is Kyle Linton. Right front is broken. Watch in the rhythm. That car is broken. Something in the right front. I heard a dog bone bounce around. Watch it in the triple. Tough break there for Kyle. Work together, guys. Work together. Nope, oh, he's just going to drive it. I can respect that. It's going to be a little bit hard to drive. I don't know what out drive isn't working, but I'm sure it's a handful. And then he tried taking out his co-driver for the drive down here, Randy Tanaka. It's Chris Meeks out front, Cliff Nicholson in the two. Watch straight, watch straight, watch straight, watch straight. I don't know how nobody's in 27 pieces after that one. We got 350 left in this one. Hopefully you guys checked your motor temps after five minutes. These single A mains are eight minutes long. Watch it coming in the rhythm, watch coming in the rhythm. Watch in the triple, watch in the triple. Watch getting on the street. Your leader's just out there making laps. Watch the berm, watch the berm. Watch straight away, watch straight away, watch straight away. My bad, guys. Watch the berm, watch the berm, watch the berm. It's Chris, Cliff, Jarrett, and Art, your top four. Mike Cartwright's right there in the five. Actually, I believe Mike Cartwright's up into the four now. Art down to the five. Want to give a huge shout out to Art. I appreciate the announcing help. The comedic relief. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Go inside, go inside, go inside. Tough break there for Big J Knight. He is down and out for the count. He was running third. That's going to put Cartwright up into the three spot. Art right there in the four, going through the rhythm together. Art trying to jump over the top, taking away the inside. That is your battle for the last podium spot coming down the straightaway now with 2.10 to go. Watch the straight, watch the straight. It's clear. Watch. Two minutes left. Watch, watch getting on the straight. It's clear. Three, six down, two to go. Six down, two to go. Your leader still, Chris Meeks out front. Cliff Nicholson, the two. Art Scrimmo in the three. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Watch the straight. Watch in the triple. Your closest battle is Cartwright and Ron Chur coming through the front section. That is battle for fifth. Watch in the straightaway. It is clear. Watch the top of the stairs, watch the top of the stairs. One minute left. You heard the ladies, seven down, one to go. Seven down, one to go. Chris has just got to hold it together about three or four more laps. I know this is a little bit hard for this master's class. I'm surprised none of them stopped to take a quick nap in the middle of this race. It's Chris Meeks out front, Cliff Nicholson in the two. I think Cliff just set new hot lap of the race. Let me reset minimum lap time. Oh, Cliff got a 10 second lap somehow. That ain't right. There we go, he got a 15-9. 
New hot lap of the race, Cliff Nicholson, 15-9. That is time on the master. Your winner down the straightaway now. Taking that one, Chris Meeks. Cliff bringing home second. Let's see the battle for third between Art and Randy. Looks like Randy's got a few sections on him. Watch the sweeper, guys, watch the sweeper. Waiting more, waiting for more. That's a race. Taking that one, Chris Meeks. Cliff bringing home second. Randy Tanaka bringing home third. Then it's Art, Ron, Mike, Alex, Jarrett, Kyle, and Carlos. Well, Chris, how's it how's it feel taking that one home? No, it was a good time. Uh, I got kind of lucky there. I think uh, at the beginning, Cliff kind of made a couple of mistakes, and I got a big lead, so I just tried to manage the lead. It was a good time. Right on, man. Congratulations on the win. Who would you like to thank? Uh, well, my sponsors, uh, my home track, Whip It, and my uh, sponsor for electronics is Tekken, and I really appreciate the support. Congratulations. Cool. Appreciate got it. it. Thanks. Got Cliff here. Man, unfortunate there, one for you. Uh, Ended up uh, just grabbing P2, but uh, a couple mistakes. Yeah, I just blew out for like the first three, four laps, went all the way back to dead last, and actually just put my head down. Almost caught him, was within a straightaway by the end, and I was a, pretty much a full lap down halfway through the race. So, you know. It's racing. That's right. Right on, man. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank uh, my wife, my son, all my sponsors, you, TLR, Proline, R1, Clinic, uh, Eaton's, and uh, RCFX. Congratulations, my friend. Thanks, sir. Great job. All right, some more racing coming to you guys. I need my marshals, guys. I need marshals. Hey, Joel. Can you watch this for 35 seconds? I'm trying to get the photo. Okay. Up next, race number 48, 17.5 stock super stock 2WD truck. Okay, we're still Amen. looking for Marshall over here at the start of the rhythm. Thank you, Alex. Looks like we have all of our other spots. Did the track get blown off, guys? Yes? Okay, let's check them in, guys. Check them in. Casey Ford, Tucker Eden, Ron Churick, Keaton Grant, Randy Tanaka, Dame. Remember, guys, one lap, one lap, and JJ then Nutter. stop them on the straight. Brian one lap. Haskins. You're firing order for this one, taking a TQ in a team associate T5M, little JJ McNugget. In the two spot, it, it's gonna be Ron Churick. In the three spot, Randy Tanaka. In the four, Chuck Erickson. In the five, not checked in yet, Dave Barilla. In the six, Tucker Dave Eaton. Barilla. In the seven, Keaton Grant. In the eight, Casey Ford. And your bump ups, Brian Hoskins and Day May. Drivers ready, Marshall's ready. Let's go racing at the sound of the folks' tone. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Work together, work together. Work together. Watch the triple, 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 watch the triple. Watch the triple. Alex is trying to get there, guys.
It's JJ out front. Randy Tanaka right there in the two. Then it's Keaton Grant, Dave Barilla, Chuck Erickson, Ron Churick, Brian Hoskins, Tucker Eaton, Casey Ford, and Day May. Remember, guys, this is a ten or eight-minute race. Work together. Work together. Don't make enemies early. You might need those friends at the end of the race. Work together, watch straight, watch straight, watch it. Go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight, not that wide. It's clear. 17-5 Masters, go to the podium. 17-5 Masters, go to the podium. Watch the sweeper, it's clear. Work together guys, work together. Your leader is little JJ, followed by Randy Tanaka. Then it's Dave Brilla, Keaton Grant, Tucker Eaton, Brian Hoskins. Work together guys, keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. I know all of you are very capable of being clean drivers. Don't force the issue. We got a five-way battle going on for... Watch the front section. Watch front section. Work together, guys. Watch the end of the triple. Watch the end of the triple. Thank you, Alex. Out front, it looks like it's Randy Tanaka now. I didn't see what happened to JJ. Randy is that pink, blue, and white truck. I know he used to have x-ray rides. I'm not sure what he's driving nowadays. It's Randy out front, JJ in the two. Then it's Keaton Grant in the three. Keaton is that silver, red, and white. And then it's Dave Barilla. Ron Turk getting stuck at the end of the triple. He was right there behind the Dave. Your leader is coming up behind the battle for fifth. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. That is your leader, Tucker, right there with you. Just so you're aware, that is your leader right behind you. Watch down the straightaway. It's clear. Watch the top of the stairs. JJ starting to catch up to the battle, or catch up to the back of Randy. JJ tapping in on the pipe. We got a four car battle down the straightaway. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, it's clear. Randy, keep it clean, keep it smooth. That is your leader, Chuck. Thank you, I appreciate it. Your leader into the rhythm, second into the rhythm. We are just over halfway through this one, guys. Eight minute truck race, it's gonna be long. Work together, that is second right behind you, Chuck. I know you're battling the guy in front of you, but that is second right behind you. Work together, guys, work together, work together. Leader down the straightaway, second down the straightaway. Third place is Keaton Grant. Keaton is through the short shoot. I believe that's gonna give it Dave Brilla now in the three. It's Randy out front, JJ in the two, Randy down the straightaway, JJ down the straightaway. Then it's Barilla, Grant, Ford, Churik, Eaton. Thank you, Tucker. I really appreciate that. Your battle's coming down the straightaway. Randy has it. JJ wants it. Randy's just trying to keep his head down, keep his truck clean. 
JJ's pushing hard. We got 2.30 left in this one. It's Randy out front, JJ in the two. Then it's Dave Barilla, Keaton, Casey, Tucker, Ron. Thank you, Dave May. Your battle for the lead coming into the tables. Marshalls be ready just in case. Down the straightaway two now. Left. Four or six down, two to go. Six down, two to go. I just forgot simple math for a minute. It's been a long weekend. It's Randy out front, JJ in the two. Let's see if J.J. tries jumping over the top of him. Or man, oh, oh man, J.J. putting it down right now, right behind Tanaka. Let's see who's going to win this one. We did a chassis focus on J.J.'s car. Tanaka taking that one over. He started in that three pla third place position. J.J. driving him clean right now, right behind him. Through the doubles. Oh, with a mistake there from Tanaka. There goes J.J. Nugter. Back into that one, but it's got that T5M on lock right now here for Nugter. Go and check that out on Mod Live Media. We did a chassis focus on that thing. Good to see. We need to get a hold of somebody, a team associated. Get this kid something because he wants to race more. He's got what he can at his disposal. Got to hit up my, my buddy Brent Thelke. Down that straightaway here for Nugter. Super nice kid, very polite. And making it happen, no excuses for him, man. Up and through the doubles here. Underdog story. Racing this car that's uh, quite old, generations old here. Making it happen here for Nugter. Up and through the double triple. Oh! It's a leader right there. Getting by there for Nugter. Looking to take this one home. Right here at the end, Randy Tanaka gonna take that P2. Good race there for Nugter. Right on, man. Hard fought battle there. You lost pace right there at the end. You're right on him, and he made a mistake going over that back section. Made it happen with the T5M. Yeah, it was uh, it was a really, I took it easy for the first couple of laps, and then he got past me, and then I had to really, really work my way hard and just kept it smooth. And, you know, just kind of luck of the draw there. I don't know if I would have been able to get past him if he didn't make that mistake there. Like, it was, there's really no passing spots on this track, so... Really good battle from him. Really good clean racing from me. All overall, great race. Congratulations, man. Good luck out there. We're looking forward to, I know, A3 of four-wheel drive. Yeah, uh, really stoked for that race and two-wheel and see if I can take home the Riddler. Congrats. Thank you. You got it. We got Randy Tanaka over here running well there, man, and uh, having it all the way up until about the last minute. Oh, man, that was great fun. JJ's a great driver. Let's, I battled with him last year in Mini Truggy, and we have a great time racing together. No, we, we posted up an underdog story for him. You see his T5M that, that Dude, he's that running. He is awesome. That's all driver. It's, awesome. it's, it's all driver. driver. He dominated. He did Most a great definitely. job. Great job out there to you as well yeah. and grabbing P2. Thank you very much. You got man. it, buddy. Great job. All right, guys, back to some more racing.
triple. Oh, Doug going over, the, hitting the top of Ryan. Ethan going to the two. They're still out right there. Davey gets it wrong going to the tables. It looks like Caden got it wrong somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. Now he gets it wrong on a triple. So Ethan going to the one. Ryan going into the two, trying to go over the top of him. Caden falling to the four. Over the triple they go. Caden a little bit behind, but he's still right there. Triple, double, over the tables. And that five spot is Davey. Ethan, our leader, the blue, red and silver. Ryan, yellow, silver, red, blue. Doug in the three, the all red. And Caden, the blue, black, and white car over the tables. Tapping the wall. Ethan gets it wrong. Going to fall to the two. Doug right there. Watch that. Into the triple. Into the triple. Into the triple. Doug goes over the pipe. Just barely skinning it. That's going to let Caden catch up just a little bit there. Ethan gets it wrong. Going to the tables. Caden gets it wrong in the tables. Oh, my God. Davey almost jumping into him. So, watch that. triple. It is cleared. Ethan hitting Sam over the triple. Nothing could be done there. So Ryan onto the straightaway, Doug onto the straightaway, Ethan and Caden getting into it over the tables down the straightaway. Doug, e Ryan Moore in the one. Doug gets it wrong at the end of the triple. He's in the two spot. Caden in the three, Ethan in the four. Daxon trying to get out of the way of those guys. Fast lap is Doug with a 15, I mean 16.5. Caden 16.6. Ryan 16.7. Ethan 16.5. Eth Caden getting stuck up on someone going into the triple. Ethan right there in the four spot. With 5.30 remaining new fast lap is Doug with a 16.4. Ryan through the tables, down the straightaway. Doug end of the rhythm over the tables. Caden over the tables, Ethan over the tables. Ryan is our leader going into the rhythm, the yellow, silver, and blue. Sam, you have first coming up on you. Doug in the two spot. New personal best for Caden, 16-5. Ryan gets it wrong going on to the straightaway. And it's a sweeper, and it's a sweeper. It is clear. Over the triple goes Ryan. Over the triple goes Doug. Into the triple goes Ethan. Looks like Sam gets it wrong in the bowl. Ethan going to fall to the four. Caden back to the three. 16-5 for Ryan. 16-2 for Doug. Watch the end of the rhythm. I don't know who that is. That was, I believe that is Garrett. No, that must have been Austin. Ryan getting into some trouble. Here comes Doug. Doug going triple, double, trying to jump over him. Ryan jumps to this, jumps to the short shoot. Down the straightaway they go. Into the doubles, up the stairs. Ryan has it. Doug wants it. Someone going into the board at the end of the straightaway. Over the tables goes Ryan. He's pulling away from Doug now. Ethan up to the three. Caden to the four. Ethan to the tables. Caden going over the double, double single. Ryan messing up on the triple. Doug to the point with 335 remaining. 340 actually. Still plenty of time on the clock. Ryan getting it wrong in the bowl. That's going to put Ethan right behind him. Ethan trying to jump in front of him. He gets it. Ryan taking it back. Over the table. They go down the straight. They have Davey right in front of him. Ryan gets it wrong in the doubles. Caden gets it wrong on the straightaway. Oh, no, that was Austin. But Caden getting caught up in it. So your winner is Doug, or your leader is Doug over the triple into the rhythm. Watch the sweeper. Watch the triple. Ethan up to the two. 
Your leader going through the doubles. Coming up on Caden. Second is Ethan through the doubles up the stairs. Third is Ryan Moore. He is through the stairs into the bowl. Caden into the bowl. About a triple separates those two. Double, triple goes Ryan. Triple, double goes Caden. Caden with 2.15 remaining, trying to get to the podium spot. He was our TQ. He's in the four. Ryan spins out. That's going to put Caden up to the three. Ryan into the four now. 16-3 for Ethan. 16-2 for Doug. So third place coming into the stairs. He is the blue, black, and white. Ryan Moore in the four spot. He is the yellow and blue car. Coming over the tables down the straightaway. A minute 40 remaining. The gap is 1.2. Ryan gets into it with Sam. I don't know if Sam was trying to let him buy or not. The stairs aren't the best spot to try to let someone go. Caden gets it wrong at the end of the rhythm. That's going to put Ryan to the three. 16-2 for Ethan. Ryan up the stairs, into the triple. Here comes Caden. They have a minute 15. Doug in the red truck. Ah, oh, Sam breaking down. One minute remaining. Caden right there behind Ryan. He's barely going to make the triple into the rhythm. One minute double, left. triple, triple, double. Into the tables, down the straightaway. Watch the stairs, watch the stairs. Ethan getting it wrong. That's going to let Caden and Ryan catch back up. This is the battle for the two spot. Ethan and Caden gets it wrong. Ryan to the three. Down the straightaway, 35 seconds remaining. Ethan has it. Ryan wants it. Caden right there. Thank you, Davey. I appreciate that. Doug right behind them. So Ethan has it. Ryan wants it. Double, triple, double goes Ethan. Double, triple goes Ryan. Down the straightaway. 15 seconds remaining. This might be the white flag. This might be the last line. Ethan goes off the berm. Ryan to the two. Caden to the three. With three seconds remaining, let's see if they can get one more. Bye. Keep going, keep going. This is the battle for the two spot. Into the bowl. Over the triple. Caden looking for the outside. Into the triple. Oh, Caden. Ryan gets it wrong. Not enough, though. Caden, Ryan going to get second. Caden Meeks done. So your winner is Doug. 28-8-0-2. Ryan getting the two spot with a 28-8-18. And Caden, a 28-8-18 as well. Dax, Ethan going to get the four. And Dax going to get the five. I should have enough marshals from that one. It was an amazing run out there. Uh, you know, it was good coming from that P3. Yeah, it was good. Um, I, in qualifying, I made a lot of mistakes, so I knew if I just cleaned it up, uh, I would have a good pace, and especially in eight minutes. So um, we played some battery voodoo before the eight-minute main because, you know, just a long, 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 long main, especially on this type of track. So, uh, yeah, it was good. I had very minimal fade from my Team Powers Electronics. My uh, Team Associate T6.4 uh, was amazing, and same thing with my Jade Concept Smoothie 2s. Um, I mean, no, kind of, kind of tired, speechless, um, ready to go home. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. You got it. All the way to the end there, you and, you and Meeks were on it, and, uh, I don't know, something happened right over here, you guys both making a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake, I ended up getting better so out of it, five, so five. I just tried to stay consistent okay. throughout the entire race, and, well, that's where I ended up, I'm happy where I ended up. Congrats on the run, buddy. Anybody you'd like to thank? I want to thank TLR, Phantom, Lugs, Sticky Randy. Kicks, Whip It RC, JJ. Parents, back at home watching me right now. Right on, buddy. Congrats. Thank you. You got it. Meeks.
good run out there, man. I know it's not where you wanted to be. You know, it ended up TQing and uh, just falling a little short, but you had a good battle all the way to the end. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I breathed for eight minutes, but it was fun. Right on, man. Congratulations. Anybody like to thank? Associated J Concepts, my parents, Whip at RC, and Aunt Sandy for the park. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. All right, guys, some more racing ahead. Okay. Um, I need a marshal at the end of straightaway. One to the stair. I mean, to the 180. 15 seconds to the start of the race. Um, I need one at the top of the stairs. One at the end of the, one at the start of the straightaway. I need one more marshal, one more marshal. I believe it's Doug that I'm missing. But I think he's doing pictures. I don't know. If I can get one more marshal at the end of the straightaway, please. Thank you, Doug. You're here. Okay, check him in, guys. Get two laps, I believe it Austin is for you Crackman. guys. Brandon I don't know, but Brad we might Champion. as well. Dominic Passioni. We're coming to Racing an end Jason anyways. So B. two laps, two laps. Anthony Bidner. Watch the end of the triple. End of the triple. Straightaway is now closed. Straightaway is now closed. This is modified two-wheel drive truck. Another eight-minute race. Your order is going to be Brock in the one, Austin in the two, Dom in the three, Brandon in the four, Jason in the five, Anthony in the six, and Tyler in the seven. Okay, we have our drivers. We have our marshals. We're going to get this one going at the sound of the tone. Oh, Brock getting a little loose going up to the stairs. Austin trying not to hit him. Brock get, I mean, Dom gets it wrong. Almost gets in the Jason. We're going to go back to the three spot. Brandon falling to the six spot, I believe. Austin right there on Brock's tail. Double, triple, they both go. Brock, uh, Dom going triple, double. Dom not too far behind those guys. 17-2, 17, 17 flat, 16-5 for Dom. Over the triple, they go now into the rhythm. Brock starting the pull away. This time by for Brock is going to be a 16-1. 16 flat for Dom. So over the triple goes Brock. Over the triple goes Austin and Dom. Thank you, Tyler. Triple double goes Dom. Over the tables, down the straightaway. Brock 16-1. 16-9, 16, 16 6 for Austin. Dom looking high, looking low, trying to get around Austin. Over the triple they go into the rhythm. Triple, double goes Dom. Double, triple is Austin. Oh, Dom going to get it wrong on this straightaway. 16-4 for Austin. 16-9 for Brandon. Austin going too far on that step up. Has to go double, single. Not too far behind Brock, though. 2.1 seconds. Making up a little bit of ground. Oh, he was trying to let you by. 16 flat 47 for Brock. Let's nuke fast lap of the race. Dom has a 16 flat 55. Austin, 16-1. With 540 remaining, Brock, green and black over the rhythm. Austin in the two, pink, blue, yellow, and black over the rhythm. Dom, white, green, pink, and blue over the rhythm. 15-5 for Brock. That's going to be a new fast lap of the race this time by for Dom. He has a 15-9. Gets it up on two wheels and saves it. 
Hits, oh, misses the cone. Austin with a 16-1, trying to find the 15-second lap time. This could be a good one. Oh, jump cases the table. 16-5. This time by 16-2. This time by 16-0. New personal best for Austin. Watch the end of the triple. That was Brandon. This looks like a good one for Austin. Down the straightaway he goes. This time by 16-1. Dom down the straightaway. 15-9-73, new personal best. 15-8 for Brock. Thirteen five for Dom it said. Rolled too close to the marker there. And now at eighteen eight. There we go. Sixteen two for Brandon. So Brock on a 38.08, Austin on a 29.802, and Dom on a 28.808. Your leader going into the triple. Dom, your third place driver into the triple, and Austin through the steps into the triple. Watch the straightaway, go outside, it is clear. Oh, who was that? Well, that was Dom. Still in the three spot, though. Watch straight away. Go outside. Is clear. Brandon still in the four. Jason in the five. Bittner in the six. Unfortunately, Tyler breaking out. Two minutes left. With 135 remaining. Up next is 21-5 Masters A main. With one minute remaining, it is Brock, one minute left. Austin, and Dom, Brandon, Jason, and Anthony. Kind of want to see if Brock can break a 15-5, but I don't know. I think that's the fastest we've gotten on this track was a 15.5. Or maybe Brock hit a 15.4 yes yesterday. I can't remember.
10 seconds remaining. Brock gonna get by for one more. Let's see it, Brock, 15-4. <laughs> With time expiring. Racing Jason Ludman. Brock done. going for it. Austin Cracknell done. Anthony Brooks. Oh. Brock Champlin done. Two more, Dom and Brandon. Unfortunately, Brandon's a lap down from Dom. They're just messing around out there. Your winner done. is Brock, 38-10. Austin, 29-8-0-4. And Dominic, 28-21. I believe Brock, Austin, and Dominic, Joel will want you. So, here for him. Up next is 21-5. Bittner's going to come and announce this one. Up next, race number 51. 21.5 Masters 2 WD Buggy. Amen. Right on, we got Brock Champlin here. Happy with that run, obviously. Truck looked amazing in the longer run, and uh, dude, it's um, going into national. Should feel good. Yeah, my truck's been awesome all weekend. I think that was like, let's see, four, six, seven runs on it. So, yeah, it was good. I didn't change a single thing. It's been, it was really good at hobby action, and then it just, it's so easy to drive here. So, yeah, I'm excited for next week. Right on. We actually right, did a chassis focus on it. Uh, you let us look under the hood. What are some special features for everybody out there that you're running on uh, on this truck? Um, I do have buggy shocks on. Uh, I got the buggy front tower, and then I drilled um, body post holes through that. Ran the standard body post, just cut them down so I could lower the body a little more. And then in the rear, I made a rear tower, just the buggy tower, and then you, I took the uh, the LD2, our old two-wheel tower that's longer, Straight lined it, cut it, and then made it towards an insert that floats back and forth so I can adjust the shock angle. So it's pretty trick. And then, uh, yeah, that's just kind of the small things for sure. We have other things that are going on between two wheel and, uh, and truck that translate to one another. So we've changed those things, but it's been really good. Right on, man. It's part of the hobby. Congratulations on the run and uh, best of luck in your next days. Yeah, thank you, man. You got it, man. All righty, guys, so Brock Champlin there with a uh, modified uh, Schumacher there, and uh, a lot of the guys are doing that, and uh, Team Associated and the uh, TLR realm, so it's cool to see Schumacher able to do that as well. Congratulations. Let me see what I got. I just saw you out there. I was just assuming, and then I realized you were waiting for the camera. Um, if you can grab the 180 in the front left corner, that would be awesome. Thank you, Garrett. Can I get a volunteer for Luthman, please? Actually, I don't think we need it. I need one of you in the 180 and one of you at the top of the stairs. Perfect. And then Brock's going to get the end of the straightaway. I've got everything covered. One lap, guys, one lap. Troy Perkins, Mike Plavin, Kerry Powell, Dalen Weed, Jim Cooper, Dave Pirilla. Mark Ibram, Ed Garcia, Dale, Brian Hoskins. Straightaways closed, guys. Straightaways closed. We've got 12 more races. 12 more races in this one. Your top qualifier is Ed Garcia. Garcia. In the two spots, Dave Barilla. In the three, Jim Cooper. In the four, Sorry, Ken guys, Powell. I've been off uh, trying Perkins. to update Mod Light Media Hoskins for a lot of the six. stuff there. And um, Mike Levan in the seven. Good night Mark to Iver 140 eight. chiming in. in. He's getting to bed the out there in South Africa. Thank you. Shout out from the UK Dio from Seoul. What's happening, man? John Coe, ah, oh, not I able believe. to get. Uh, Three of get the any four. entries Dio there for the waffle? Three of the four races he ran today. Good Looks job, like we're at Dio. 106 for the cone hit meter. Okay, driver. Enjoy ready. the racing, guys. Thank you. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing at the sound of the tone. <laughs> Work together, guys. Be patient. Be patient. It's not much that could have happened any different there with what happened. With Dave Brilla out front. It's like it's Jim and Cooper up in the two. Work together, guys. Work together. Be patient. Be patient. You guys are masters. Masters in my mind means you guys have been doing this a long time. You should have complete control over your car. You should be able to see everything on the track as well. 
<laughs> it's Dave Burrow out front, Jim Cooper in the two. Then it looks like a Troy Perkins, Kerry Powell, Brian Hoskins, Dallin Weed up into the sixth spot already. Then it's Dio, Ed. Uh, I think that is Mike Plavan and Mark Ibrahim. Work together, guys. Work together. Be patient. Be patient. Dallin jumping to the outside of the rhythm. It almost paid off for him as Hoskins was wrecking right in the middle. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Hoskins rolling over in the sweeper. Watch coming in a double. Watch coming in a double. Work together, guys. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Watch the straightaway. Go wide on the straight. 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 Watch the straightaway. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You're good, Brock. It is still Dave Brill out front. Jim Cooper in the two. And then it's Hoskins, Troy, Carey. Uh, I believe that's Mike Plavan. Dallin Weed, Dio, Ed Garcia, our top qualifier. Watch the end of the front section. Work together, guys. Work together. Patience, patience, patience. You guys are working with the leader in there. You guys are working with the leader. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. <laughs> Nicely done. Down, letting the leader by. It's Barilla, Cooper, Perkins, Hoskins, Weed. Watch getting on the straight. Watch getting on the straight. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Watch the end of the triple. We're three and five to go. Three and five to go. Watch the rhythm, guys. It's Barilla, Cooper, Hoskins, Perkins. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Work together, work together, work together. Watch the triple, watch the triple. That was Mike Povan jumping into the cone. Watch front section. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Keep it clean, keep it smooth. It's Barilla, Cooper, and Hoskins, your top three. Watch the cone, watch the cone. I think that's the first bobble I've seen out of Barilla. He's been keeping it super clean, super smooth, been keeping his nose clean. Watch the front section. Your TQ, Ed Garcia, is battling right there for the three spot with Brian Hoskins. I want to thank everyone for making the trip out to Salt Lake City for the 35th annual April Fool's Classic presented by ProLine. Thank you to our sponsors, TLR, Team Associated, Reedy Power, ProTech, Hobby Wing, Sandbox, Racer's Edge, HRP, Shell Racing, Focus Lids, Mod Live Media.
Mod Racing, EFX Mobile Detailing, and Lindsay Mobile Repair. Tough break there for Perkins. Sounds like he's losing a gear. I don't know if that's an idler or maybe a spur gear. Maybe the move, motor moved a little bit or something. Perkins was running in, I believe, the four or five spot right there. Two minutes left. You heard the lady. Six down, two to go. It's Barilla and Cooper out front. Cooper starting to close in a little bit on Barilla. Last time by was 2.6. Jim Cooper's also been running a nice, smooth, clean race. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the triple. Watch the end of the rhythm. Dave Brilla no, throws down his personal best last time by. 18-7. Hot lap of the race goes to Ed Garcia, 18-3. Watch the straight go wide, go wide. One minute left. You heard the lady. Seven down, one to go. Hopefully you guys checked your motor temps. These scenes are gonna be burning coming off of here. Work together, work together. It's Brilla in the three, or two, one, Cooper in the two, Garcia in the three, Hoskins in the four, Dallin Weed in the five. Watch the sweeper, guys, watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. It's watch the end of the front section. Your battle going up the stairs. That is for the four position. Hoskins has it. Weed wants it. Work together, guys. Work together. As time is expiring on the master. Dave Barilla is out there on a victory lap. It doesn't matter if his car breaks down right now. He will still take the victory on this one. Dave Barilla over the tables down the straightaway. Dalen Weed done. Ed Garcia done. Dave Barilla done. Mike Plavin done. Mark Ibram done. He's keeping you on your toes, Brock. Keeping you on the finished. toes. And that's a race. Taking that one. Dave Barilla, 25-8-16. Jim Cooper, 24-801. And Ed Garcia coming home in third. Your TQ, 24-8-14. Top three, Dave Brilla, Jim Cooper, and Ed Garcia. Get your car and over to the table. How are you doing? All right, we're here with Dave Brilla. This is my good friend Dave, better known as Ola. How was your run? I uh, felt pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Dave basically had a flawless run. He had one mistake. Got caught up with some lappers, but was able to get going. Then you ran some quick laps. Anybody you'd like to shout out? Thanks. Just you, Brock. Thanks for being my friend. <laughs> All right. That's Dave for you guys. All right. On we have our guest announcer, Jim Cooper. Jim Cooper. John, John he can't hear me. He's he's older. He's he can't he can't hear. Hey, Jim. Okay. Okay. That makes sense now. That makes he needs sense. hand I motions. Got, I got it now. Okay. Like right now, it's powder. Come over here. here. Come over here. There we go. Good job out there, Jim. We got uh, Megan back home cheering you on. Uh, Papa Coop. Thank you, Megan. That's very good of you. Right on. Did you have fun out there, my man? Uh, yeah. Ed kind of screwed up in that first part there, and then <laughs> that's his problem, huh? <laughs> it definitely is. Congratulations on the run, man. And uh, you have fun out here this weekend? Oh, sure. Right on. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. Good job. Um, I think Jared just wants the program moving. I don't. I haven't seen him move there in about six races. Oh, he's ready to go. He's ready to keep it going. Okay, let's roll him out. Check him in, guys. Roll him out. Check him in. Thank you, guys. Watch the front section. Jared Be Knight. careful of the front section. Chris Meeks. Hey, it's clear. Art Scrimo. Ron Cherick. Alex Stroud. Hopeful loss. Randy Tanaka. Kyle Linton. Todd Radman Musin. 
Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Fire in order for this one. Your top qualifier, Big J Knight. That is Jared Knight, team of star TLR driver. In the two spot, Cliff Nicholson, his teammate over at TLR. In the three spot, Kyle Linton. In the four, Chris Meeks. In the five, Alex. In the six, Randy Tanaka. In the seven, Arch Grimo. In the eight, Todd Ratman Moosin. And your bumps ups are the Ron and Ron show, Ron Reed and Ron Turek. Uh, Jared, can you pull forward just a little bit? And Cliff, pull forward just a little bit. Okay. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. We are going at the sound of the tone. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Keep it clean, keep it smooth. It's TLR one, two, and three. Watch the rhythm, watch straight, watch straight, watch straight. TQ Blues. Jarrett down to probably about the sixth spot. It's Cliff out front, Kyle Linton in the two. Chris Meeks in the three, then it's Alex, Randy, Ron, Jarrett. Watch getting on a straight. Remember, guys, this is an eight-minute race. Don't use all the mustard up early. Art getting it wrong into the berm turn. Tough break there for Art. Watch the straight, watch the straight, watch the straight. Go inside. Thank you, Deluge. Thank you for ever hauling out on the straightaway. I didn't uh, didn't hear the car crash. It's Cliff, Chris, Alex, Kyle, Randy. Seems like it's been Chris, Cliff, Kyle, and Jared out front on most of these master classes. Davey's up here calling them sandbaggers. I believe Chris has only ran Masters all weekend long, so that's okay. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. It's right in the middle of the rhythm, right in the middle of the rhythm. What did we have, 40 heats per round yesterday? Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. I think Cliff ran in probably 35 of them. Watch the front section, watch the front section. That was our leader. That's going to let Chris Meeks take over the lead. Cliff right behind him in the two. Chris playing it safe. Cliff using up all that battery early. So when it comes down to six, seven, and eight minute, it's going to be a little drained down. He, he is running that R1 power, though. Those batteries don't tend to fade a whole lot. That one, you got. thank you. Cliff, you got to give that one back. Thank you. It's Chris, Cliff, Randy, Jerry, Alex, Ron, Kyle, Todd, Ron, and Art. You got a three-way battle coming onto the straightaway now between Ron, Art, and Todd. Watch the sweeper go inside on the sweeper, inside on the sweeper, inside on the sweeper. Your battle out front, both of them. One went high, one went low. Watch the sweeper, watch the sweeper. Go inside, go inside, go inside, go inside. Your leader, Cliff Nicholson, down the straightaway. Todd knows what to do. Chris right there behind him. Todd, thank you, sir. It's Cliff, Chris, Jared, Alex, Ron, Randy. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch coming on the straightaway. Bet you Randy and Kyle feel like they're racing a club race, racing each other right now. We're 
Work together, guys. Work together, work together. That's all for position right there. Cherik, Randy, Kyle, and Alex. They're all racing together. Let's find your leaders coming down the straightaway. Second place coming through the tables. Third place is Jarrett Knight back up into the third. Jarrett coming off the straightaway. Thank you, Todd. Watch top of the stairs. That was Chris Meeks. That puts Jarrett Knight back into the two spot. Let's see if he can track down Cliff. Cliff's only about a second and a lap faster until that lap right there. Cliff coming off the straightaway as Jarrett's going into the rhythm. Watch the stairs, watch the stairs. Cliff coming up short on the triple. It was 8.7 last time by. Cliff off the straightaway as Jarrett's going in the rhythm. It stayed pretty even by looks. We'll see by time here in a second. We're just past the five minute mark. Now it's 10. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. I believe that is your leader upside down. That was Cliff upside down. Jared just made up a huge amount of time. It's Cliff, Jared, Chris, Alex, Randy. It's 8.1. Watch the end of the rhythm. Cliff upside down again. Let's see if we can light a spark under Jared. Let's see if Jared can throw some hot laps down. Let's make it a race. Watch coming in the rhythm, 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 rhythm. Sorry, Dio. Watch the end of the triple. Left. That, that was a little too far advanced. Thank you, Cliff. I appreciate that. Cliff making up for the Marshall mistake there. Not a big deal. I appreciate that, Cliff. I know it wasn't his fault, but battery. Whoa, whoa, how? How did you make that work? It's Cliff, Jarrett, it was 3.5, now it's 2.9. Jarrett's putting in work. Watch the sweeper guys go inside. Cliff is starting to double single. Now he's double, double single through the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Cliff going over the tables. Here comes Jarrett over the tables. He's trying, He's your marshal's trying. Watch the rhythm, guys, watch the rhythm. Let's find Cliff, double single. Jared still got the power to hit the triple. They're running the same electronics in those rides. They should have the same amount of power all the way through, we'll see. We're less than a minute left in this one. It's Cliff and Jared. Jarrett seems to come out of nowhere when it counts, so we'll see how this. Cliff getting it wrong in the rhythm. Here comes Jarrett through the rhythm. Jarrett double single. We got Alex right in between the leaders with 32 seconds left. Cliff getting it wrong again. Cliff through the sweeper. Jarrett through the sweeper. Thank you, Alex. Go, Jarrett. Go, 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 go. It's Cliff and Jarrett with 20 seconds left in this one. Cliff went triple double. Jarrett went double, double, double. Going down through the tables, down the straightaway. Watch Sweeper go inside, go inside. With less than 10 on the Master Cliff off the stairs. Jarrett up the stairs. Cliff single, sing, single doubles through the triple. Jarrett tripling. Thank you, Kyle. Coming through the rhythm section now. Cliff's got to keep it on all fours. Coming on the straightaway. Cliff flipping over. Here comes Jarrett. Jarrett playing it safe. Down the straightaway. Taking that one. Cliff Nicholson. Jarrett and I coming home in the two spot. Alex Chris Meeks in the done. three spot. Then it's Randy, done. Alex, and Art, done. Ron, Ron, Ron Kyle, Ron. and Todd. All drivers are finished. That was a pretty exciting finish there. Sorry, I got a little squeaky. Up next, race number 53. Masters Mod 2 WD. Masters Amen. Mod 2 wheel. Just watch out for the camera right there. You're trying to give it up. 
It happens to me whenever I go into cruise mode. Whenever I go into cruise mode, I screw everything up. You change your you change your line choices and your pace, and you go easier. I haven't tried that double double single all weekend, and then I try to slow down just to not wreck, and I screw myself. So, yeah, I mean, it was it was fun. I mean, the car's fast, had plenty of power. I mean, when I went back to my normal line, it worked out great. So I should have just stuck with it instead of. Congratulations on the run, man. Anybody like to thank? Uh, all my sponsors: TLR, Proline. R1, Clinic, Eaton's, and you. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you got it. it. Buddy. Great job. A uh, hard fought battle there, less than half a second there at the end. Yeah, I tried to come back. Too many bobbles in the beginning. I don't know. It's a hard track. It's pretty technical. I'm trying to get two traffic. Right on, man. Well, look good out there. Who would you like to thank? I'd like to thank TLR, R1 Works, Proline, Eaton Intermountain, Bradley Fine Designs. And native Wasatch apparel. Congratulations, my friend. Great job. All right, thank you. You got it, buddy. All righty, back to some more racing, guys. I need Marshalls, guys. Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. Top three cars. I need on the tabletop oval. Top three cars. That's Cliff, Jarrett, and I don't remember who got third. I think that was Chris. Top three cars on the tabletop oval. Jarrett, your car needs to go to the tabletop oval. We're doing podium pictures. Oh, Chris's car is in this, Bobby's at least is in this one. Cliff's body's in this one. I need Marshalls, guys. Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. I didn't know the old guys can make us all that excited anymore. That was a good race. <laughs> you said it, not me. You, you said it, not me. Hey, I'll be in that class in about a year and a half. And all, yeah. They're not old. Yeah. We need a 50 plus class. Cliff would run in that class too, so I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I've got all my marshals. Let's roll them out, guys. Let's check them in, check them in, check them in. Ryan Garrett. Grayson Jason Lutman, Chris Meeks, Cliff Nicholson, Alex Mazurkiewicz, Mike Cartwright. Okay, we're all checked in. Cartwright found a car or did he finish building this car? You driving your daughter's car? You stole Coralie's car to run this class? Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Luthman, your top qualifier, Cliff, in the two, Chris in the three. Then it's Alex, Ryan, and Cartwright. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's have another exciting eight minutes in Modified Masters off the sound of the tone. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the straightaway, watch the rhythm, watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway. I think Cliff got worn out from that last round. I don't know how much he's going to have left for this one. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. It's clear. It is Jason Luthman out front. Alex Merkowitz in the two. Then it's Chris Meeks, Cliff Nicholson. Then it is Mike Cartwright. Ryan Garrett trying to drift it through the first corner. Cliff coming up a little bit short on the triple. I don't care what you guys say, the double triple is so much easier to make consistently. As I say that, Luthman gets a little bit wrong. Watch the berm, watch the berm, watch the berm. 
Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Jared almost took a car to the dome. Your leader, Jason Luthan. Watch front section, watch front section, watch front section. <laughs> Ron Reed running circles around Todd. I like it. He's going to fill that tomorrow, though. Watch the end of the triple. Watch the cone, watch the cone, watch the cone, watch the cone. Watch the cone. Watch the berm. Uh-oh. Cliff is starting to catch up to Jason. And then he messed it up in the triple-double. It's Jason Luthman out front. This is like a, a decent club race throwing Chris Meeks in the mix. It's Jason Luthman, Cliff Nicholson out front. Down the straightaway. Jason's going to keep it cool, calm, and collected. Sorry. Words are hard today. Watch getting in the tables. Your leaders are coming in. Your leaders are coming in. Your leader getting tangled up with lap traffic. Cliff gets a little loose getting on the straightaway. Does a quick little stop and go get the car collected back up. Luthman was flying in that modified B main with that car. Cliff getting it wrong in the rhythm. Luthman making it back by. Whoa, nice save there from Jason Luthman. Who says these guys are over 40? I don't think I could have saved that. Just kidding. I'm almost 40 myself. I got a year and a half. Watch in the straight. So the 37th annual will be my inaugural Masters Racing. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Good save there from Cliff. He had that car upside down and sideways. Watch the front section, guys. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Leave it to Ron to get in everybody's way, and he's not even in the race. It's Jason out front, Cliff in the two. And it's Chris Meek still holding down the three spot. Watch straight away, watch straight away, watch straight away. Watch the sweeper. It's clear. Watch in the triple. Cliff coming up just a little bit short. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Come on, guys. I'm trying to keep you all excited in this one. Jason Luthman starting to run away with this one. Chris Meeks is starting to catch up to the back of Cliff, though. We might have a battle for a second here shortly. There goes Cliff bobbling the top of the stairs. Here comes Chris Meeks. It's Cartwright right between second and third. Chris over the triple. Cliff over the triple. Through the rhythm section. Chris looking around the outside, checking up, playing it safe. Cliff getting it wrong, getting on the straightaway. Here goes Chris down the straightaway. Thank you, Cartwright, for giving him some room. It's Chris Meeks now in the two. Cliff right there in the three. Jason Luthman says, yeah, you guys keep battling. I'm just going to drive away with this one. We got less than three minutes left in this one. Less than three minutes left in this one. It's Luthman out front. Meeks in the two. Cliff in the three. Second and third down the straightaway. Watch the front section, guys. Watch the front section. Second and third up the stairs. Ryan trying to move out of the way. Went a little bit too far outside. Cliff trying to jump over the top. That scared Chris a little bit. Chris, Chris overshot the triple. Second and third down the straightaway with 2.10 left in this one. Jason Luthman's just turning laps, trying to stay awake. He's got nobody in front or behind him. Two minutes left. You heard the lady. Six down, two to go. Six down, two to go. Thank you, Ryan Garrett. Watch the straightaway. Cliff trying for an option line. That wasn't very bright. That's not the fast way around the track. Cliff going a little wide, getting on the straightaway. I think he got in the dust. Didn't want to get on and get sideways. That puts Chris in the two. Cliff right there in the three. 
Cross the rhythm section, into the rhythm. Cliff coming up a little short in the rhythm. His wing marshaled it for him. Hopefully they didn't take out a tranny case or something. I know that's a TLR car. Lost the end of the triple, lost the end of the triple. Lost front section, watch front section. Todd's on it with corner marshal. Watch the rhythm, guys, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. Good footwork, Jarrett. If you'd have stepped down any faster, you would have taken Chris's car right to the back of your foot. That would have hurt. We got one minute left in this one. It is Luthman out front. One minute left. Chris Meeks in the two. He is 6.7 seconds back. Chris getting a little bit wrong in the rhythm. No harm, no foul. Here comes Cliff through the rhythm. Barely making that triple. It might be time to go double triple instead of triple double. Just saying. It's Jason Luthman, Chris Meeks, Cliff Nicholson. Alex Merkowitz is holding down the four spot. Watch Cone, watch Cone. Jarrett just got his toe, lost the straightaway. Tough break there for Cliff. He lost the right front. He sent it off the rhythm, ended up on the straightaway. Oh, Cliff is still going. Watch straightaway, watch straightaway. It is four position with Alex and Cliff. Cliff nose dives in the front section. Alex making a bye. Cliff trying to go, and it's not turning very well. We got time expiring on the master clock. Chris just lapped Cliff. Alex Mazurkiewicz. Alex, you are the first one Brian done. Garrett done. Chris Meeks done. Mike Cartwright done. That car looks Cliff dialed Jason through done. the sweeper, Cliff. Racing Jason Luthman done. And that's a race. Taking that one, Jason Luthman. Chris Meeks bringing home second. Alex Merkowitz bringing home third. Cliff Nicholson, Mike Cartwright, and Ryan Garrett. Top three, bring your cars to the tabletop oval. That is Luthman, Meeks, and Merkowitz. Take your cars to the tabletop oval, and then immediately come out and corner marshal. Then after you marshal, go do podium pictures. I believe Cliff and Chris need to be over there for podium pictures anyways. And Big J Knight, over for podium pictures for your master's class. Up next, race number Amazing four. run out there, man. Hey, undefeated this weekend in the Masters class. Yeah, it was fun. The car is amazing. The B7 is so stable and so predictable. Just kept getting better and better. So, yeah, really good time. Congratulations out there. And thank you for all your help with uh, the entire event and getting all the sponsors. And uh, I know Eaton really appreciates it. Yeah, these guys put on such a great race and run an amazing facility. And, yeah, it's great to give back. So, yeah, happy to help out. Most definitely. Well, thank you to Skull Candy as well. Shout out to them. I know they're giving a whole bunch of stuff away. Hooked us up for the waffle as well. Thank you so much for all you do for the community, my friend. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thank you, Jason Luthman. Good running out there. I need volunteer help, volunteer help. And I need to see Jared Deluge. Jared Deluge, come see me. And I believe the other one would be Daryl Ma. Daryl Ma, come see me. I see you too, Breezeville. I need marshals, guys. Marshals, marshals, so we can get this one going. This is 17.5, four-wheel drive, buggy A3. I need a marshal on the bucket and a marshal at the end of the triple. Marshal, and I need a marshal up front. Thank you, Dominic Passion. The gazelle. Oh, now he's stripping for us on camera. Hey, Tucker, I know you're supposed to be in this race. Do you want to marshal this race for me? Or do you want to just watch? It's completely up to you. I need a marshal right here. Thank you, Tucker. He wrapped this one in A1 and A2. He's going to come out and help these guys out and marshal. I still need a marshal on the bucket. I need an experienced marshal on the bucket, please. No. No, he's marshal. 
marshaling for me. Is that a Breezebow heading down to go marshal for me? Thank you, Breezebow. We'll get Breezebow out there to marshal. We'll give him a little bit of a workout. Once Breezebow gets to the bucket, we will roll him out. Check him in one lap, guys, one lap. Green Wolf. Troy Perkins. Tony Sadison. Chuck Erickson. Casey Ford. Dave Birula. Dayton Bartlett. Jackson Bailey. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Watch the straight away, guys. Watch the straight away. Your top caller, Fire Tucker Eaton, wrap this up in A1 and A2. And the two box is going to be Casey Ford. It, that's a little bit further forward, Dom. A little bit further forward than that. Keep coming, Casey. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. And the three box is going to be Dave Barilla. A little bit further forward, Dave. Just a smidge. Yeah, that works right there. And in the four, Chuck Erickson. In the five, Dayton Bartlett. In the six, Troy Perkins. In the seven, Cooper Lindsay. You want to move Cooper's car a little bit off that wall? In the eight, Tony Sadison. In the nine, Jackson Bailey. In the ten, making a bump. One of three that he made today, Dio. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, keep it clean, keep it smooth. Concourse yeah. top five, you guys can pick up your awards. Concourse top five, you can pick up your awards. Watch, back section is clear. It's Casey Ford, Chuck Erickson, Dave Brilla out front. Cooper Lindsay right there behind him. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Cooper getting it wrong in the berm. Work together, guys. Work together. Be patient. Work together. Tough break there for Cooper. It is Casey Ford out front. Your podium right now. If it finishes right now, that puts Chuck Erickson on the three box. Moves Dave Rilla out of the podium position. So your top three race in this one, Dave Brill has got to get around Chuck Erickson to solidify his spot on the podium. It's Casey Ford starting to break away. Chuck's just trying to keep his car straight through the rhythm. Dave Brill not too far back. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Chuck getting it wrong. Dave making it by up the stairs. Dave coming up a little bit short. They were going to come in side by side. Chuck made the start move and checked up. <laughs> Casey Ford's going to try to prove a point in this race. Throw down some heaters. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Your leader, Casey Ford, through the rhythm. Second place, Dave Brilla, through the rhythm. Hot lap so far is Casey Ford, 17-8. Your leader, Casey Ford. Thank you, Troy. Leader coming through the rhythm. Watch the straight, watch the straight. Go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight, go wide on the straight. It's Casey Ford out front. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Hot lap of the race so far is Casey Ford, 17-6. Dave's got an 18-2. Chuck's got an 18-1. Cooper Lindsay's got a 17-8. Watch the front section. Watch the front section. Cooper Lindsay's got a lot of track to himself. Let's see if he can throw down some hot laps. As soon as I started talking about him, he ran in three pipes. That is your leader right there, Cooper. Thank you, Cooper. It's Casey, left. Dave, Chuck, Cooper, Troy, Tony, Dayton, Jackson, Dio, and Tucker not starting this one. <laughs> Mike. 
Mama Bear says Cadillac. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's important. <laughs> Have you ever driven a Cadillac? They're not that great. <laughs> Settle down, Kuby. Now, early 90s, late 80s Lincoln Town Car, that thing is smooth. That is a boat and a half. One minute left. We'll work together, work together. I mean, we all have our own downfalls in our own way. It's okay. It's Casey Ford out front, Dave Brill in the two, Chuck Erickson in the three, Cooper Lindsay orbiting around in the four spot. It's Casey, Dave, Chuck, Cooper, Tony, Troy, Dayton, Jackson, Dio. As it finishes right now, it'll be Tucker, Casey, and Dave on the podium. Watch the straightaway. Watch the straightaway. Go inside, go inside, go inside on the straightaway. Go inside on the straightaway. Chuck almost needed to buy himself a new front end for that thing. Might need to go change his shorts after that, too. That was pretty close. As time has expired, you guys will be done when you cross the line. Dave, you are done, and Dio, you are done. Dayton Bartlett done. Casey Ford done. Waiting on a few more. Waiting on a few more. Jackson Bailey done. Troy Perkins done. Chuck Erickson done. Taking that one, Casey Ford, Dave Brillin two, Chuck Erickson three. Then it's Cooper, Dayton, Tony, Jackson, Troy, and Dio. I need Tucker, Casey, and Dave Barilla's cars to the tabletop oval. Tucker, Casey, and Dave Barilla. Did your car start running a little weird there, Chuck? Did your car start running a little weird? Yeah, that's why I felt so fast. <laughs> Same thing, I probably should have announced time. Dave Barilla got third. Awesome run out there, man. Where was that run in A1 and A2? I was just, I wasn't in the right mental space for that. And there's a lot of pressure coming from my parents trying to get me to do good, but I'm glad they pressured me into something like that. <laughs> right on, man. Well, you look good out there. Congratulations on your uh, A3 win there. Second overall. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. You like All righty. Threw that thing in reverse and backed right back up over you. Okay, I need Marshalls to hustle out to the track. Marshalls hustle out to the track. Up next, race number 55. 13.5 super stock for WD buggy. Uh, A3 main. Um, I don't want a child on the triple. All I've got left is children. Are you sure, Chuck? Are you sure? Okay. We'll get Casey at the end of the straightaway. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all weekend, saying these guys won't wreck. Come on. Let's roll them out, check them in, roll them out, check them in. Xander Nicholson, Landon Cartwright. Chuck, he Roger just proved Bell. you wrong within 35 Jordan seconds. JJ Nutter. Work together, guys. Chris work Yancey. together. Work together. Keep it smooth. Yancey. Chris Mueller. Straight away is closed. Eric Brown. This one's coming down to A3. One minute to the start of the race. Your fire in order for this one in the one box it is Xander Nicholson in the two Keaton Grant in the three Chris Yancey to the start of in the, the four JJ McNugget. Hey, turn JJ's front end into the corner. Turn it into the corner. There you go. In the five Robert Yancey in the six cameraman Chris in the seven Ron Turek the the in the race. eight Landon Cartwright in the nine Alex and in the ten. 
Eric Brown. Okay. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. To the start of the race. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Keep it clean, keep it smooth, guys. Keep it clean, keep it smooth. Work together, work together, work together. Work together. Work together, work together, work together. This one, I believe Xander took A1. JJ took A2. Work together, work together. Wash the stairs, that's clear. Xander getting it wrong, that puts Keaton out front. Xander in the two, JJ right behind him in the three. Wash the short shoot, wash the short shoot. Work together guys, work together. Smart checkups there, JJ getting a short on the stick. Watch straight guys, watch straight, watch straight. It's Keaton way out in front. Work together, guys. Work together. Work together. Work together. It's Keaton, Xander, Robert. Then it's Chris, Landon, Ron, JJ, Alex. Watch front section. Watch front section. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the end of the triple. Your leader's already working through traffic in the rhythm. Your leader, Keaton Grant. That is your leader. That is your leader. The white, red, and black car. Xander jumping over the top of them. Thank you, cameraman Chris. JJ, that is second right in front of you. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm. Watch the end of the rhythm, watch the end of the rhythm. It's clear. It's Xander out front. Keaton Grant not too far back. Keaton's going to try to play spoiler in this one. If Keaton can get by Xander, it's going to come down to a tiebreaker between Xander and JJ. Watch straight, watch straight. Xander getting it wrong through the rhythm. Keaton trying to come up short, tapping a pipe. Watch the triple, guys. Watch the triple. Keaton throwing some style points on that one, throwing that four wheel sideways over the triple. I think JJ might be losing a gear somewhere. That thing sounds awful. Or is that how the 64s used to sound? Chainsaw. Makes me think we're running 4x4 four four short bus out there right now. Two minutes left. You heard the lady. Three down, two to go. Three down, two to go. Watch the rhythm, guys. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Good eye there, Dayton. That could have been horrible. I think JJ's over there rooting on Keaton, saying, please, please, please catch him. It's Xander out front, Keaton in the two. Watch Cone, watch the Cone. We should have put a bell on the Cone. That way we can hear people hit it. It's Xander out front. Let's find Xander on track. I haven't been really paying attention. Coming down the straightaway. 110 left in this one. Keaton is in the two. He's coming down the straightaway now. Xander going double single. Keaton pushing hard, trying to catch up, going huge on the triple. One minute left. You heard the lady four down, one to go. Four down, one to go. Xander's playing it safe. Keaton's pushing that car as hard as he can push it, trying to catch up, coming through the front section. Xander into the rhythm. Xander still sending it through the rhythm. I don't know if it's worth risking it for the biscuit for that. He's got about a two straightaway lead. He needs this point to take the overall. Xander getting it wrong into the triple, going double single. Keaton getting a little bit wrong in the stairs. Watch coming in the rhythm, watch coming in the rhythm. We got 20 seconds left. Xander's gonna go two more. Keaton's going to go one more. Xander 
Xander's just got to get to the line. Work together, guys. Work together. Watch the rhythm. 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 Oh, good face work there, Dayton. Chris Yancey done. Alex Stroud hope Work together, done. guys. Work together. Robert Yancey done. Ron Xander Trump ended done. up putting a lap Chris on Keaton done. that day in there. Xander Nicholson done. Just waiting for Landon. Done. And that's a race. Taking the overall. Xander Nicholson. Keaton getting second in that race. Chris getting third. Your overall is Xander, JJ, and Chris. Your top three. Hey, JJ, put your car on the tabletop oval. And Chris, I need your car on the tabletop oval. Hey, JJ. Well, that one was a little bit less interesting for you. You're able to kind of take the lead there and uh, just make it happen. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a, it was a little hard of a race at the start, you know, the track starting to rip apart, as you can see. But, you know, just have to, I was driving it smooth out there. They were all making mistakes and just came down to where I want it. So. Right on, man. Well, congratulations. Grabbed A1 and A3 for the overall. Congrats, my friend. Thanks, man. I appreciate Great it. Job. Great job, buddy. I've got Benny out there for a JJ. I've got both the Yanceys out there. Thank you. I need a Marshall to the bucket. I need a volunteer for Xander. Bye, Felicia. Who's leaving? What? Bye, Felicia. I need a volunteer to the bucket. And there's, is there still a Daryl Ma in the building? I haven't seen him for a while. All right, guys, we have some tabs that still need to be closed. Andrew Batman, Dominic Pascioni, Brian Hoskins, Jason Luthman, Blake Champlin, Doug LaRivier, and Rob York still have tabs. Okay, I've got my Marshall spots covered. Two laps, guys, two laps. Ryan Moore, Jared Deluch, Ethan Hoskins, Caden Meeks, Cliff Nicholson, Kobe Yonker, Eddie Money. Watch straight, clear. Eddie will be the last car down the straightaway. Austin Riley, Alex Sturgill. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. Your lineup for this one. Your top qualifier locked it up in two. That was Doug Lurier. In the two box is going to be Kobe Yonker. In the three, Caden Meeks. In the four, Ethan Hoskins. In the five, Ryan Moore. Then it's Jared Deluge, Cliff Nicholson, Eddie Rapley, Austin Riley, and Alex Sturgill. I've got my drivers. I've got my marshals. Marshals, be ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Kobe turning in a bit early, watching the triple. Work together, guys, work together. I know Kobe will put his head down, put in some laps. We're going to see some heaters out of that pink ride. Work together, everybody. Work together. Out front, it is Caden Meeks. 
In the two spot is Ryan Moore. Then it's Eddie Rapley up in the three. Ethan Hoskins. Ray, that's uh, Austin Riley. Jared Deluge. Jared coming up a little bit short on the triple. Kobe going triple double. Kobe's driving that thing full strap right now. Ethan Hoskins has hot lap 15 3 last time by. Work together, guys. Work together. Keep it clean. Watch getting on the straight. Ethan upside down. You all right, Benny? You good? Watch the sweeper. Watch the sweeper. Watch the sweeper. Caden's trying to put his car on cruise control. I don't know if Ryan Moore will let him. I know Ryan will keep pushing. Kobe tapping the cone, doing a 360, sticking the landing. It's Caden, Ryan, and Kobe. Then it's Eddie, Cliff, Jared, Ethan, Austin, and Alex. Hot lap of the race is still Ethan Hoskins, 15-3. Caden's got 15-7. Ryan 16 flat, Kobe 15 8 last time by. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. As somebody told me a few minutes ago, we got plenty of other marshals in the building. Just kidding. It's Caden, Ryan, and Kobe. Ryan getting it wrong in the triple. Kobe's not too far back. Watch in the triple. Ryan getting it wrong in the triple. Landing back on his tires. Here comes Kobe Yonker. Two minutes left. You heard the lady. Watch top of the stairs, it's clear. Your battle for second. Thank you, Austin Riley. That is much appreciated. He saw the battle coming. He doubled and waited for them to jump over the top of him. Watch the cone, watch the cone, watch the cone. Yeah, right there, right there. No, the cone can't move. That's there for the marshal. If that, that cone wasn't there, marshals would be getting hurt over there. Kobe tapping out. Watch getting on the straight, it's clear. That was your leader getting it wrong in the tables. We got 110 left in this one. Hot lap is still Ethan Hoskins, he's down to a 15-2. Watch the triple. Watch the cone. Austin, your car is making a ferocious squeaking sound every once in a while. Watch the triple, watch the triple, watch the triple. Sorry, Marshall wasn't going to risk his life to go get a car that's a lap down. I don't blame him. We've got 15 seconds left in this one. 15 left in this one. It is still Caden Meeks way out front. Ryan Moore in the two. Watch the rhythm. Watch the rhythm. Kobe Yonker in the three. As time is about to expire on the master. Kobe, you are the Kobe first Yonker one done. Cliff Nicholson done. Eddie Money done. Caden Meeks done. Austin Riley done. Wait on a couple more, wait Ryan on a couple Moore more. Jared Deluge done. Ethan and Hoskins that's done. a race. Taking that one, Caden Meeks, done. Ryan Moore, All and Kobe Onker. Your overall is going to be Doug in the one, Caden in the two, and Kobe in the three. I need those three cars, Doug, 
Caden and Kobe's car to the tabletop oval, please. And then I need Caden over here for Matt's interview. Chris Yancey, I need you for photos. Chris Yancey, I need you for photos. Right on, man. Good run in that one. Uh, just coming up short on uh, on that overall. Yeah, that was way out in front, but I had a decent run in the second one, so it was good. Right on, man. Anybody you like to thank? Uh, Associated J Concepts, my parents, and Whippet RC. Congrats. Thank you. Can we get a couple experienced track blowers to blow the track off for modified four-wheel drive buggy? Um, hey, Eddie, can you grab one of the blowers and do the corner right there, tables down to the straightaway? Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it. Up next, race number 57. Modified for all the way down the straightaway. A3 main. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate you. Okay, uh, where's my, there comes Cliff. Okay, two laps, guys, two laps. Blake Champlin. Dominic Passioni. Rob Gillespie. Harley Yoshii. Austin Cracknell. Brandon Foote. Ethan Hoskins. Shane Weed. Okay, I believe everybody got their two laps. I need to try to add Taylor real quick. Give me one second. Your firing order is going to be Dominic, Austin, Harley, Rob, Brandon. We've Easton, been told Blake, by our uh, and Taylor, Give our cone of shame hit Taylor counter. Counter, Kyle Killey, that that was the most cone hits of any race. He says nine of them in that one alone. Hoo -hoo. What do you think we're going to get to, guys? Cone hit counter at 120. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I've got my marshals. I've got my drivers. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Brock Champlin wrapping this one up in two. He was our top qualifier. Right now, the battle is for second between Dom and Rob. Dom is out front of that team associated Reed Power Pro Line Rubber Wits Racing Products. And the two spot is Austin Cracknell. That's the TLR Hobby Wing J Concepts Rubber. It's Dom out front. Austin, the two hot lap of the race is Dom so far. 15 2. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Watch in the triple. Perfect Marshall job there from Ryan Moore. First in, first out. It's Dominic Passione out front. Austin Cracknell starting to close the gap a little bit. 
Watch in a triple, watch in a triple. Austin coming a little short on the triple. Landing back on his tires. That gives Dom a little bit of breathing room. Watch in a triple. It's clear. Your leader coming in the triple. Tapping the pipe. Austin through the triple. Rob, and I believe that is B Foot in the solid white car. B Foot's all over the rear wing of Rob Gillespie. That is your battle for second between Austin, Rob, and B Foot. Oh, good driving there for him, Harley. He's all over the rear end of Blake. But let's go back to the battle for second it is Austin, Rob, and B Foot. Rob coming up a little bit short on triple, able to keep it in the right direction. Watch in the rhythm. Watch getting on the straight. That sounds like something broke. Tough break there for Ethan. Broke a rear arm, it looks like. Your leader starting to come up on the back of Yoshi and Dags. But the battle for a second continues through the triple. Austin has it. Rob wants it. B-foot's there to pick up the pieces. Two minutes left. Three down, two to go. Three down, two to go. It's Dominic Passione out front. Blake getting a little bit wrong in the front section. Right in front of your leader. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate that. Harley, you got the leader behind you if he catches you. Your battle for second. Austin's starting to break away a little bit. Your leader upside down in the stairs. We got 120 left in this one. It's Dominic out front. Austin cracked on the two. Rob Gillespie in the three. B foot in the four. Watch top of the stairs. Austin getting it wrong. B foot going around the outside. Getting a two for one. Watch the end of the triple. Watch the end of the triple. B foot threading the needle at the top of the one stairs to get a two for one into the triple. Four down, one to go. Four down, one to go. It's still Dominic Passione out front. B foot in the two. Rob Gillespie in the three. Watch the rhythm, guys. That's your leader upside down in the rhythm. With 30 seconds left in this one, Dominic's got about a straightaway and a half advantage over B foot. B foot is charging hard. He's down to a 15 5. We got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Dom should make it by for one more if he keeps it clean. Watch the end of the rhythm. It's clear. Battle starting to heat up for a second on the last lap. This is their last lap coming into the tables. Down the straightaway. Dominic out on a victory Austin lab. Austin Cracknell done. B foot bringing home second and A3. Done. Then it's Gillespie, Harley Cracknell, Yoshi, Yoshi Champla, Dax, Champlain. Weed, and Hoskin. Your overall is going to be Brock right, Champlin, Dominic Passione, and Rob Gillespie Jr. I need Brock, Dom, and Rob's car to the table tabletop to oval, please. Sorry, words are hard. Words are hard. It's been a long weekend. Brock, Up Dom, next. and Rob to the tabletop oval, 21.5 Sportsman 2 WDA3 Main. Dude, amazing run out there. Uh, a little bit too late, though, against Brock. You haven't had some pace with the thing. You're just making too many mistakes to begin with, but you got second overall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, the second the second name, man, I just, a couple too many bobbles. I, I mean, this track's just too hard. I made a crash in the beginning and just couldn't make up the time, but 
I tried to go for a flawless run that one. A little frustrated. I crashed the two times, but still fun. <laughs> right on, man. Who would you like to thank? Uh, my dad, Team Associated, Reedy, Proline, Wits, Ian's IRC, R, more RC, and everyone else that helps me. Congrats, buddy. Thanks. Got it. <laughs> All right, back for some more racing, guys. Okay, I should have 10 marshals for this one. I've got a Gillespie, I've got a Foot, I've got a Weed, I've got a Hoskins, I've got a Champlin, I've got a Yoshi, I've got a Cracknell. I don't have a Passion. And I need a Champlin or a Dags to the top of the stairs. Dags to the top of the stairs, please. Roll it out, check it in, guys. Roll it out, check it in. That was quick. Hudson Eden. We got a four-horse race, four Hudson second Eden. in this one, guys. Russell Prina. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. We got a Dags that's taking A1 and A2 in this one. He's going to take home the trophy and the TQ. Dom says the only Dags taking home a trophy this weekend? That's Dom's words, not mine. Your firing order for this one's going to be Hudson on the two, Colton on the three. That one's on the three, Dom. Russ on the four. Where is Eli Garrett? Eli is not running this one. Did Ryan leave? Eli, Ryan, anybody know? Okay, I guess not. And Russell on the seven. Okay, driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. That face he just gave me, it made it all worth it. <laughs> Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Oh, I thought I was going to catch him twice. Watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway. Watch the tables. Okay. After one lap, it's cold now in front. Looks like Russell up to the two. Russ in the three. Hudson in the four. Watch the straightaway. Watch the straightaway. Watch the end of the rhythm. Looks like for the overall. Watch. Hudson would need to finish third to make it on the podium. He's got, right now he's got a four a, and a three. He needs another three to bump up to the podium. That will be good enough right now. He's running in a two spot right now. Your leader coming down the straightaway in the blue and white car. It's Colton out front, Hudson in the two. Then it's Russ and Russell. Watch the straightaway. Oh, huge shout out to Russell. He was running tech the last couple days for us. 
Jack was keeping the facility nice and clean for us. So Russell stepped in and ran tech for us. I appreciate that, Russell. I've done that job for numerous years. It's a very thankless job, so I want to uh, tell you we appreciate you. You did an amazing job. I haven't heard any complaints, so that's always a good thing. Russell's taking out his nephew as he's driving by. Oh, Hudson showing him how to go around the outside, then doing a quick little donut. I think Hudson's just playing with his uncle, letting him think he's fast, and then Hudson's just going to blow by him here shortly. Two minutes left. Watch the straightaway, watch the straightaway. Watch the triple, watch the triple. Your leader, Colton Herzog. He's pretty much got second wrapped up. So I'm not sure what the tightbreaker, I think it's overall laps and times. I don't think it goes that best, single best finish. Pretty sure it's over our laps and times. Watch the tables, watch the tables. Watch front section. Twinkle toes on it with the marshal. One minute left. I hope Austin and Harley and all them take that back home. Make sure where Brandon runs. Make sure they know his new nickel name is Twinkle Toes. I know Lee will do it for me. Where's Lee at? Lee, you gonna you gonna take care of that for me? Make sure everybody back home knows it's Twinkle Toes. Thank you, Lee. Brandon's up there shaking his head. It's cold now front. We got 20 seconds left in this one. Ten seconds left. I think everybody's going to be on their white flag. I don't know if Russell's going to make it by for one more. He might. And he does. Hudson, he Hudson caught at the line. Bringing home second in A3. Still going. The white car is still going. The white car is still going, guys. That's going to be the final finisher. Coming into the rhythm section now. Hudson's done. trying to lap him again. Just messing with his uncle. Oh, Hudson's going to try to go over the top. Oh, he does. Not able to make a stick down the straightaway. Russell Prina done. All drivers Taking that finished. one. Colton Herzog running his fast lap on the final lap. Hudson bringing home second. Then it's Russ and Russell. Overall, it's McGuire Dags taking the win. Colton Herzog in the two, Hudson Eaton in the three, then it's Mia, Russ, and Russell and Eli. Up next, race number 59, 21.5 stock 2 WD buggy, A3 main. Why is there only nine up on the stand? Twenty-one five stock two-wheel drive buggy. I need Marshall. I need a bunch of volunteers. I got my sportsman Marshalls out there. Oh, I need McGuire Dags out to Marshall. I need to add two people to this race. I don't know who my tenth driver is that I do not have up there. 
It might be a bump driver. I need a bunch of volunteers, bunch of volunteers. I want experienced marshals. McGuire, can you get the front section, please? I, I, know. I saw him. I was OK with that. Yep, thank you. Thank you, sir. I need a marshal at the end of the triple. Thank you, Jared. He's earning those headphones he got today. Thank you, Jason Luthman. Okay, I've got all my marshal spots covered. Let's roll them out, check them in. One lap, guys, one lap. Casey's Chuck out Hayden. there draining his battery, doing circles around Chuck. Ed Garcia. Casey Ford. Chuck Erickson. Rick Riley. Dave Pirula. Jim Cooper. Straight away is close. It is Carrie Powell I do not have. Did Carrie Powell take off go home? He left? Aw, oh, Carrie. Straight away is closed, guys. Straight away is closed. I don't remember which one. Did Dayton or Tony win the B main? Did Dayton or Tony win the B main? Dayton won. Okay, I just want to make sure I put you Dayton in the right Robert. order. Tony Sadison. You're firing order for this one. Your top qualifier, Tucker Eaton, in the two spot, Casey Ford. In the three, Chuck Erickson. In the four, Ed Garcia. In the five, Jim Cooper. In the six, Dave Brilla. In the seven, Kerry Powell. In the eight, Rick Riley. In the nine, Dayton Bartlett. And in the ten, Tony Sadison. I believe Kerry Powell went home. Drivers ready. Marshall's ready. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Sorry, it didn't go off. Let's try that again. Driver's ready. Marshall's ready. McGuire, I need you to sit down up front, please. Thank you. Let's go racing on the sound of the tone. Tucker took A1. Chuck took A2. This one's coming down to A3. I believe Casey got two in both of them. He did. It's Tucker, Casey, and Chuck. Three car breakaway. They're the only three drivers that got skin in the game for the overall in this one. It's Tucker off the straightaway. Casey off the straightaway. Chuck off the straightaway. Your battle out front between Tucker and Casey. Casey's all over the rear wing of Tucker. Casey's got so much rip out of the corner. All the little short shoots, he makes up ground. It's Tucker, Casey, and Chuck out front. Tucker Avery will save that one. Tap the pipe coming out of the double single. It's Tucker, Casey, and Chuck. Then it's Ed, Dave. That looks like Dayton. Jim, watch getting on the straight, watch getting on the straight. Watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm, watch the rhythm. That was your leader getting upside down. That puts Casey Ford out front. How's that mix up the overall? That keeps the overall the same so far. Ed Garcia up into the three. Throwing down hot lap last time by. Your battle down the straightaway between Casey and Tucker. That is a team associate All right, guys, we are battling out here. Now. Casey Ford and Tucker it's Eaton. Casey and Tucker. Casey's got a beautiful line through that double single. Tucker, I thought that Tucker, Tucker had, Tucker had, Tucker had four wheel Torchy. drive, I believe. It's clear. Looks, looks like, like Special Ed right over. Maybe now going into that P2 position here for Ed Garcia and Chuck Rock Erickson front as front well. Front Work together, guys. As Keep Eaton clean. goes Keep down clean. there. So it's going to be Ford, Garcia, and Erickson. Your battle for second through the rhythm. 
Chuck getting oh, making it by there. Down. Chuck having an issue. There goes Eaton on by. It's Ed and Tucker off. Do you believe that it'll come Tucker down to inside. overall points? Ed jumping over the top. Tucker almost made it underneath. With this one. Lodge, or Ed Dawn darn it. That puts Tucker back in the two. Your leader down the straightaway. Second place, solid green, green wing down the straightaway. Make sure you so get right now, a little Casey bit of room. Ford Thank you, Rip. would win this one if he stays where he's at. He would have a one and a two. They would tie on time between Three him and Tucker Eaton, and he would get it by out. less than half Through of a second Here right now Tucker. for Ford. Tucker Eaton now back in that P2, trying to chase down that of Casey Ford it's coming Casey through the double doubles. Let's see Casey when they come by this time what it's going to be. Ford coming by. And Eaton coming by. It's Casey Ford out. Eaton bro. versus Tucker Ford. Now with that one as Tucker gets closer to Casey, he would beat him on overall time on the tiebreaker. So Ford needs to get as far away as he can from Tucker. Oh, uh, getting it wrong there for Ford as he climbs riddle. on the side of that Able jump. Keep it in the right direction. With four down, one to go. Four down, one to go. Justin Jensen, it was a pleasure meeting you too, my man. Thanks for coming down and saying hello. Enjoy that keychain. Coming through the doubles here, down the straightaway here for Ford. Oh, Ford getting up on two wheels, slamming it into the wall here with 30 seconds left to go. Casey versus Tucker through the doubles. 20 seconds left. Let's see what Tucker does. By the start finish line right now. Casey back to the lead now. Overall, is it would actually be another lap, so Tucker needs this next lap. He needs to catch up. Oh, five seconds to go, so Tucker, let's see. Does he get by? Tucker will be caught at the line. Casey Ford will lock this one up. Wow. It doesn't matter, even with time. He will have it. He'll still win it on laps alone. He got the extra lap. So Ford will snag that one, that extra lap grabbing it for him. Congratulations there, Casey. We we're looking at the times, and he had you on time. Then he dropped below the lap, and you actually got it on laps alone on the tiebreaker. Congratulations on the overall win. Thank you. How's it feel, my man? Nerve rocking. <laughs> right on. Who would you like to thank? My parents and Jay Concepts and AE for making the products they do. Congrats, buddy. Thank you.
All right, right on, guys. All right, I am back. This is supposed to be my race, but I locked it up in two. Well, my fa my ra my face isn't there because they spelt my last name wrong. So it should be Matt Olson or Matthew Olson, and that's how it derives the photos. So, and I didn't even have enough time to upload my own. <laughs> that's how it goes. It's okay. Alrighty, guys. As we are green lit here, let's see what's able to happen here. We got Xander already taking that P2 down the straightaway. Xander going to the two right now. Something I should have had all along. I forgot about this. Especially for those triple A's. That shows on the bottom right hand screen. We'll show your top five with how they're doing for points. As long as it all is clicking through properly. Xander looking at that P2 overall. Joe Zaire Jr. is the waffle finally sold out. Yes, it is, Joe. With three minutes to go. Who wants us to add more tickets? <laughs> Maybe we'll throw something else in there. Sweeten the pot. If we have enough, we'll throw a couple more tickets there and I'll throw something else in there. <clears throat> People chime in if they want one. All right, coming around here. I mean, still Xander in the lead of this one. Chris Yancey in the two. As we wind down here. Here for Xander Nicholson. Chris Yancey going to be in the two. He started grid position two. Xander started grid position three. Down that straightaway. Only two second differential right now on overall pace. With 150 left to go. I'm sorry, Xander's way ahead. Looks like Chris Yancey is a lap down. My bad. My apologies, my apologies. And the straightaway here, Xander's in his own zip code right now. Joe Sayer Jr. saying, awesome, I bought my two. Right on. Thank you, Joe. Down that straightaway here. Coming off the straightaway there for Xander Nicholson. Got this one on lock for P2 overall, it looks like. He had a 10 in the last one. Uh-oh, something happening. 
coming up a little short. Don't break her. So he just pissed Chris Yancey, putting a lap on the field right now for Xander. And overall, he would only have been, if he keeps on it right now, we'll see when he comes by. But on time, he would actually be faster than my time. So 34, 10, 13.9, so three tenths of a second faster than my time from one and two. So let's see if he's able to do it. Ah, he messed up there at the end. So he would have been three seconds back. Up until that last lap, he was ahead. Right on. Man, oh man, but he could run out there lapping the field. I was looking at the, the times. If we would have tied, even on points, you were three tenths ahead of me until that last That's lap right. right there. So having the pace out there, just uh, no luck in, in A2. Well, you know, it really sucked breaking, but, you know, we found something out that would help. And actually, what's funny is why I was up there, I was like, I wonder if I, what, what would happen if I would beat Matt's times in both races. So that's funny that you brought that up. No, most definitely. I would have lost on time, but would have won on points. And uh, But you had the pace right there to, to be there. And just uh, unfortunate, I wish we would have battled it out in A2. Congratulations on your overall second. And uh, good luck in this race. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Great job, buddy. All right. Another one up for grabs here. Let's see how it goes. Nothing is on lock for this one. All right, guys. Two more. Two more. Let's go. Almost done. We are almost done. Two more. Two more. As the pits are evacuating here, people going to be going home for the weekend. Long weekend out here at the April Fool's Classic. Good times with your friends. Good times overall out here. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for all the support on the waffle as well. Doesn't look like anybody commented in, so perfect. Makes it easy on my life. It has been a fun weekend, but no offense, I am tired. I wanna clean up and I have not had a good meal the entire time I've been here, because we've been up at about 7, 8 in the morning, here at the track all day till about 10. So our choices have been pizza and fast food. So it hasn't been uh, the most nutritious weekend for us. And we have to clean all of our gear. Everything is coated with a fine layer of dust. 
If you know me, I'm not about that with all my gear. So everything will be clean by the time we get packed up. All right, this one is interesting, guys. Nothing is locked up. We have Ethan's got one. Doug has one. And actually, Colby Yonker is your current leader overall. So, Kobe's going to be your leader overall here. Let's see how this one goes. Yes, three ways. A two and a two, a one and a three, and a three and a one here. So it's going to come down to Yonker, Leverrier, and a Hoskins. Nobody else has a chance at this one. Your ones that are starting out in the top three are the ones battling out for the overall. All right, through the triple, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Yonker was very promising in that A2 as your top three coming by right now, which is the likes of Hoskins, Leverrier, and Yonker. Up and through the triple. Now through the second set of triple doubles here. All of them opting for triple double, not double triple. Ooh, looks like Doug might have found some pace here. Coming up here on Ethan. Ethan catching the rear end of his car. Oh, jumping over him there. Wasn't able to get the drive over the triple there for Ethan Hoskins. So is he able to catch up to Doug as Doug looking the best he has all weekend long in two-wheel drive? Yonker looking to do something about it, though. Any sort of mistakes out of either one of them, and Yonker is going to take it. Doug now starting to stretch out his lead slightly from Ethan. Ethan needs to wrap it in, start being able to push smart as he's coming over, waiting for maybe a mistake here out of Doug. Hoskins up and over. We just did a chassis uh, focus, mod chassis focus on that car. He's got the mod puck system in there and also a shock piston on his spur gear. So a little bit new. I'm, we're going to have to ask him about that. People were commenting in. But it looks like uh, Doug Leverrier right now. Oh, just to the side wheels there. Getting away with murder there for Hoskins as Hoskins tries to push to catch up to Doug. But Doug on the afterburners right now, trying to just stay ahead of him here. Yonker right behind him, trying to put a tow hook on as they have Cliff in between them. Cliff moves out of the way. There goes Dougie Fresh. Makes it by there. Oh, a little bit more pace there for Hoskins. Hoskins edging up now within 1.0 seconds. So one second in between that of Doug and Ethan. Kobe starting to catch up too as well. So let's see what happens. They're all closing in on each other, and this guy needs to beat it. Yeah, out of the way there for lap traffic. Oh, man, here we go. Top three in battle right now between Leverrier, Hoskins, and Yonker. Coming through the doubles down the straightaway. Straightaway distance is what separates everybody, or straightaway stretch, I should say. Everybody's on it. As Hoskins, a little bit of a chassis slap there for him. Toes it back in. Oh, Doug with a mistake. That is what we needed right there for lead change. Now Yonker is in tow right now. He is still your overall. But with this one, this would move Hoskins to the overall lead. Yonker would go two. Doug would go three if it stays how it is. An issue there for Doug. Unfortunate for him. But fortunate there for Hoskins. Yonker now. Oh, and he hits a cone. That's a cone hit on the marker. So now Yonker's going to have a rear view. Uh, uh, what is a, 
I'm getting tongue twisted right now. Rear view mirror full of Doug LaVarie. That's what I was going for. Coming through the triple right now. So right now we focus in on our battle in between Yonker and LaVarie down that straightaway. Up and over, oh, Doug with a mistake. He didn't hit the cone, but he didn't get enough drive off that triple with his team associated B7D. Now it looks to be Hoskins' race to lose right now as he goes through the triple. 45 seconds left to go. He's still doing that triple double with that mod puck system. Coming in stock within the next month down that straightaway through the doubles here for Hoskins looking solid. Up and through the triple, got the TQ, lost A1 in fashion. Well, he was still third, but he didn't look too strong in that one. Roped it back in, grabbed a lucky A2 win, actually. And looking to grab this one with a one and a one here for Hoskins. Yonker, oh, just ahead here of Leverrier. Or no, Doug was ahead of Yonker there for a second, but Yonker making it back by. Down the straightaway, and that will end out the podium into the wall there for Doug. He's gonna finish it off. And with that, Doug Leverrier will actually go second overall with that one. So he would go faster on time than Yonker. Yonker will go three. Well, it wasn't easy. Yeah, um, it's been a really hard battle. The three-way tie was a little little nervous, knowing anyone can win and anyone can just go third overall. So kept it really smooth, kept it out front, and just put my head down and just focused real hard. Looked good out there, man. Doug had that. He pulled away, and he just had that one bad mistake over there. Once that happened, what were your thoughts? Yeah, I was just like, got a little sigh of relief, got out front, and just like said, this could this could be it, and just put my head down so then Yonker over here had a problem with the triple once that was it I was like all right he's pretty much has it yeah it was a very very fun race very uh interesting race I just I didn't know I could get it and I just believed in myself so congrats man anybody you like to thank yeah my dad he's the only reason I'm here and like the only reason that I'm racing and uh just all my friends like Doug's helped a lot Kobe Brock, we had a little bit of uh, drama earlier, but just we ended up sitting down and talking, and he's been a great help this week. So, Right on, man. Congratulations on your win. Yeah, thank you. You got it. All right, guys. Last one up of the day. All right. Oh, my headset's gone. Hold on, I'll go grab it. You want to fix them? Thank you, Alex. In the two spot is Domna Passion. In the three spot is Rob Gillespie. In the four, Harley Yoshi. In the five, Austin Cracknell. In the six, Brandon Foote. In the seven, Brick Champlin. In the eight, Shane Weed. In the nine, Jason Luthman. And in the 10, Taylor Daggs. Okay, driver's head, Dayton. 
Pegan should move that way a little bit off the start so everybody can see the corner. Everybody see their cars or just kneel down. That works. Okay. All righty, guys. Driver's ready. This Marshall's is it. ready. Let's go racing on the stand. All right. Still undecided here between Brock and Dom. They each got one right now. Oh, and a pass there for Dom. Up and through the triple. Oh, and he messes up. Oh, what a marshal. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, Dom, what are you doing? And he crashes again. He had it. Let it slip through his fingertips. Marshal of the century. Gave it away. Yeah, we could get that on instant replay. Nobody wants this one. Wow. So Brock in the lead right now. Let's check out that instant re re replay real quick. We'll do it on that top left-hand screen there you can see. I'm going to play that. This isn't. He just grabs him and goes. That was not in. That was not sped up. Look at this. He just grabs Dominic. Bam. Done. Didn't lose any time. And then he crashes at the end of the straight. Man, oh man. So Brock Champlin assuredly looking to take this one home as he starts onto the straightaway. But we'll get with our other battle coming onto the straight. Between that of Gillespie, Cracknell, and Dom. This is for second. Two, three, and four. Cracknell making a mistake. Pacquion going by. Oh, that's not, uh, that would be Doug. Let me refresh this thing. So Rob, Dominic, and Cracknell, your current leads. So right now, Dom trying to catch up to Rob Gillespie. Rob Gillespie right now would actually set him up with the overall. And now Dom back ahead of Gillespie on time by two seconds. So I'm hearing that they're catching up to Brock as they head down the straightaway. So right now, these two are pushing the pace. We might have thought this was done, but one mistake out of Champlin. Someone, that, I don't know if they hit the cone. Down the straightaway here. And these B7s definitely look better than Brock Schumacher right now. Just Brock has been able to just keep it on all fours. A little bobble, though, out of them as these two are starting to catch up. The team associated teammates with the B7s, they're starting to push the pace down the straightaway here between Gillespie and Pacquion. Is it too little, too late though? Oh, Brock with another bobble. Here comes Rob and Pacquion. Pacquion definitely with the pace. Can he pass him? We don't know. So Pacquion looking, oh, another mistake out of Brock. Here we go, Pacquiao, no! Pacquiao, these guys getting together. Oh, a hard charge there. I think they took either different lines. We're gonna have that on instant replay. Oh, one took double, triple, one tri took triple, double. Or one was taken double double. It looks like Rob Ober jumped it. He was not, or was going to make it. Oh, that's unfortunate there. Still with the battle in between Gillespie and Dom as he rolls up on to Gillespie. 
Man, oh man. Ah, oh, John, what did this thing? Oh, almost having flashbacks there. <laughs> for, for, <laughs> almost having flashbacks there for uh, Brock at RC1. Almost getting smashed out by another B7. Oh, cone hit right there for Dom. Dom with another mistake. He might give up third overall with that. Oh, into the wall. Wow. Rob Gillespie will take second overall with that one. Wow. Well, you made it through that run. The car still didn't look like it was super happy. Did you have flashbacks of RC1 when Dom went onto the straightaway? You were on the binders. Yeah, I definitely was, I thought I was in, down for the count right there. But yeah, I went out on new tires. Blake made a change that was really, really good. Um, and it was like a rear hub height adjustment. And I made the change and my car did everything way better. But I literally put on brand new tires. And that was probably the worst decision I made all weekend. So, yeah, I was kind of just like hanging on. I didn't really have like a ton of forward grip. I, my tires were just brand new. So I guess I know in the future here, don't run brand new tires in A3. Uh, but yeah, my car was a lot better than it was for sure. I think just like the end of the straightaway and stuff, like it's just so challenging. And then like the front section and getting through, like could not get any grip after the triple. Um, just a tire choice. But yeah, it was good. Definitely got a little scared there at the end. I thought I was going to get destroyed, but made it through. Another B7 almost tomahawked you right there. You know, you're having flashbacks from RC1, front arm gone, but you're able to look ahead and use your peripherals. Congratulations on the win, and that's a clean sweep for you this weekend. Best of luck at the Roar Nationals next week. Yeah, thank you. Shout out to all my sponsors, uh, Schumacher, Wits, J Concepts, um, Hobby Wing, Gen Zace, Power HD. You for the awesome media coverage, my girlfriend, the Lord, everybody. Just, it's been a cool weekend, so. Congratulations, my man. Yeah, Best of luck out there. Thanks. You got it. All righty, guys. So, we, I have to shoot my podium right now. The waffle is set up, uh, so we will get that going. We don't have a camera to point at the uh, guys because it ended up being where it's on the back of our stand. So, we're not going to take anything away from those guys when we're doing it. Um, I will uh, take my podium shot. And then I'll be up there in probably about three to four minutes. Thank you so much, and stay tuned. All righty, guys. Looks like they're doing some... Uh, <clears throat> some stuff out there. Let me, let me prep this, guys, and give me a second. So, waffle to come. 
I'm going to turn on Eaton real quick. All right, let's go through the Riddler in Superstock with 20 points, JJ Nugger. JJ, you are a Superstock winner. You win $200 and the Riddler, Riddler plate for Superstock. In Pro Stock, with 11 points, Doug LaRivier, you win $300 and the plaque. And in modified, with eight points, Brock Champlin, you win 500. I need a photographer. Alrighty, who was closest to the hit counter of 125? I don't know if I have all of the things here. All right, here I actually do. One of 40 had 198. Ooh, who was B? B had 135. 215, 275. But if B is not here. I think that our good friend Joe Zaire Jr. would be next up. So let me know. Let me know. Who is B still here? Kyle Killy. Did you guess 125? <laughs> he just goes and he has access to the cone hit counter, so he just makes it whatever he wants it to be. <laughs> oh, man. All right, give me a second here, guys. I'm setting everything up. All right. Thank you all for your participation. Really appreciate you guys and uh, all your support. So actually, I think I'm gonna, it wasn't our biggest waffle, but it was successful. And we had to fund a lot of the stuff that goes into it. So it'll end up being, I think I'll get a, I'll think I'll get a new lens to make the, the coverage a little bit better. Okay, Kyle Killy, he goes, I guessed 112. All right. Kyle might get it. <clears throat> People might think that that's, uh, that you would be the, uh, that that's rigged. <laughs> I'm not really that worried about it, though. If anything. All right, guys. Modify. Give two modify away. to the podium, please. Modify. So I think both of you guys podium, already please. got some. So, Joe Zaire Jr., are you still here? Comment in. We will leave the track closed for 20 minutes, so we can have photos done out there, and then we'll open it up for practice. All right, looks like we're still doing photos. Let me click it over to that. There we go. Look at that. All right. Okay, this is saved. All right, let me open it up on my side. I have not heard anything from my buddy, Joe Zaire Jr. Where are you, Joe? Do, 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 do. 
All right, I've not heard anything from him, so, so I think, let me see. Joe had said something. I'm only 31 off of my cone hit, guess. I don't think it was that much more. So you were within 12? Or 13? 13? So I'm going to give it to you, Kyle. All right, that'll make it easy. I'm just going to put you in. All right, pro stock, Doug LaRivier. Need all three of your cars. Four wheel left, truck center. All right, right, so in total, guys, there was there's 79. We gave four away, and there was 75 tickets. So we gave a bonus four for trivia. <clears throat> there was three trivias, and then one for this one. Thank you, Kirsten. All righty, guys. So, it's pretty cool, everybody getting their photo there in the back. Way awesome. All right. All right. Your super stock winner, JJ Nugger. All right. That is the a wheel right there. I did the maths on it and everything checked out. So I will show you guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. And people are just taking photos. Okay, that's fine. All right. <clears throat> All right, now if I can get the three Riddlers with their Riddler award and money, I don't need the cards. Just your awards and money, Riddlers. All righty, guys. So, where's my clipboard? I don't my need cards. I just need, need clipboard. awards. All right, here I don't we go. need cards. Just All cards. right. Now I need a pen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And all my trash up here. Let me find a pen. I got all this stuff but a pen. Ah, my handy dandy J Concepts pen. Thank you to J Concepts for sponsoring my pen. All right. Okay, guys, track will open at 7.30. Right on. Okay, get so I'll go photos, through our winners right photos. now. Check track it out. Photos, get your track photos. I'm going to just uh, scroll through so you guys can see your names. Let me make this bigger. Dave Barilla, Brian Hoskins. Trying to think of who were. We have the Concords Awards. There it is. And then Kyle Killy there at the bottom for that bonus one for you there, bud. All right. So you guys can see once again. So Brian Hoskins has not picked his up yet. Dave Barilla has not picked his up yet. Okay. So that's uh, it. Sam Ford. What we're going to do is we're going to shuffle them. Award Let me yet. see. We got a couple prizes here. So we have a grand prize of the Team Associated B7D, grand prize of the Skull Candy Skull Crusher headset, grand prize of the MIP Metric Black Tool set uh, for the Metric ones. We got a mod two wheel drive or four wheel drive puck system. That's easily about $1,000 worth of goodies right there, guys. Uh, Pip Pal, shirt, hat, sweatshirt, and DRC charge cable. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight winners. Yep, eight winners. All right. All 
All right, guys. So good luck to everybody out there. Going to shuffle these up. All right, shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right, we're going to spin. Let's see who wins. All right. Brady Anderson. Brady Anderson. Wow, very cool. Okay, we're gonna hide that choice. Shuffle this again. You're gonna see it goes to 78 to 79 there. Spin that again. Ben. Ben Pierce. Find that choice. All right, shuffle that again. Steve. Steve Peace. All right, we're gonna hide that choice. Shuffle it again. Ronald, ooh, that was one of our latest ones. Ronald Burnett. Hide that choice, I'm gonna shuffle that up. All right, number five. Steve McGeorge. Hide that choice. Shuffle once again. I think Ronald Burnett bought like the last four, I want to say. Laura. No, Laura did. That was that's it. Laura Statison. Hide that choice. And Shuffle this, this is number seven. All right. Brady Anderson again. We got some swaggage. Okay, hide that choice. Just gonna spin. We're into like the swag now. The mod swag. Mod Pip House stuff. Aaron Grant. And you know me, guys. I don't like to just do the minimum. I like to give you guys a couple extra because you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate all of you. So we're going to give away two more. See, so these guys will be into the swag stuff, jackets, mod goodies. We always do that. We always give you guys a couple more spins there. More goodwill. Kenneth Keezer. Kenneth's always been a big supporter. All right, going to hide that choice. One more. All right. Let's see. Uno mas, guys. We give you an extra two. It's like another 20%. David. David Stephenson. So there's actually pretty good chances, like one in seven chance or something like that, that you guys will get something. So, thank you. Okay, that is it for that. We drew ten of you guys. So those are our winners. Eh, we really got the fish eye. There we go. So you guys can see the winners. Boom. All right, well, let's see you guys didn't see. These are the cool trophies. We'll be posting up the photos soon. So very nice trophies here at the April Fools. I ended up winning this. Thank you to all of our winners. Brady Anderson, Ben Pierce, Steve Peace, Ronald Burnett, 
Steve McGeorge, Laura Statison, uh, Brady Anderson, Aaron Grant, Kenneth Kieser, and David Stephenson. You should hear from me guys this week. Um, takes me a little while to get to you guys sometimes. So I have to get through the people. Don't worry, I will get to you. And I know that there's some guys, even on the last one, I've been traveling so much, I think there's like five I need to get in contact with for some swag. Um, so apologies to those guys, and I will get to you. I always do. Um, so thank you guys for an amazing, amazing time out here. Um, and uh, Andres does one and seven and still not a LOL. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Steve McGeorge. Steve McGeorge, I think he won one. Yeah, number five there for Steve. Thank you for allowing me to participate in the stream. But yeah, Kyle Killey, he ended up buying a couple tickets there and he won one. I think he bought one and he, he won one and uh, that's a BOGO deal right there. And he helped us out, guys. So um, I think we'll do more of that. We're getting more of our participant or more of our viewers trying to participate in there. I think stuff is cool. Let me know how you guys are liking the, the coverage. I, I, I think that one more person is is needed because um, I do see the value in the photography side of stuff. I'm personally simply not able to do everything. Chris is up here on camera. I can't announce, take photos, do the reports, um, post everything up, uh, edit all the photos. It's very difficult to do all of that, but I see the... Um, the advantage of having it so that was uh, one thing that I've looked at kind of I always like to try new things like I said I'm probably going to with the extra money we probably put into the waffle we'll spend out of our own money about six hundred dollars uh, for it so the other basically nine hundred uh, you could do simple math of what 75 times 20 is um, so the other 900 is actually going to go towards a lens um, for the camera so thank you for that I'm gonna be purchasing all the money that we get. It goes right back into it to make to make better um, uh, better content for you guys for these things. So that's what really helps us out and uh, and gets us you know stuff where it's not as as much of a drag on the on mod um, because it funds everything. Um, so much appreciate if you guys want to support us. Go and grab something on modspeedshop.com from swag to puck systems, um, drivetrain stuff to MIP tools. We kind of carry everything. Um, so if you guys have a choice, you know, uh, it, it helps us out. We're a very small company. There's like three of us. Um, and we greatly appreciate all your guys' support. And we try and have a lot of goodwill and, you know, uh, give a lot of stuff away too and, and support the races and support the tracks and get out here and, and, and produce good content for you guys um, and really capture it for all these racers that are here that, you know, put a lot of money and energy into this uh, doing that. So um, it's, it's good. Uh, special thanks also to Cliff Nicholson. Um, he just said, hey, Matt, you want to run my car? And I had a couple guys come up to me and say, hey, would you like to run my car? And, and um, you know, I, I don't race as much as I like to anymore. Um, I used to be decently proficient in 10 scale in the stock divisions and short course and stuff like that when they used to have it um, when I was working for MIP. And since then, being self-employed, it's, it's really difficult for me to get to the racetrack. So I am running two, three businesses. I have to go where the money is. And, and to keep it going, we have, you know, quite a bit of expenses from the two employees to um, keeping the buildings and everything for what Mod is out of and, and uh, you know, filling all the rigs and, and getting all of this uh, equipment that's here. I don't know if I can turn you to the side. You'll kind of see some of it over there. Uh, that's just a little part of it. Um, but, you know, we're constantly improving and as well as bringing people on, um, we try and bring more people. I was trying to get Zach here. I actually had plane tickets for him, but he was not able to. Um, so I'm trying to bring more people in. So if we make anything extra, it goes to them. Um, and hopefully we get it to a point where, you know, it's making, it's making some coin and, and doing good. But the main thing is at least for where I'm at right now, because I know the, I know what it is, is um, it is limited time, if that makes sense. It's really hard to do this uh, week in and week out, so that's why, you know, you guys help out so much. Um, I've been traveling for three weeks right now, home for a day and a half, and back out again living out of a suitcase, so um, it is really difficult on the home life and everything. Um, 
So it's, uh, we want to try and narrow down kind of what we're doing as well and still, uh, still keep it up and still bring you guys more value. Um, so hopefully that's what we're doing for you guys. Um, we work really hard and, you know, it's kind of nonstop from sunup to sundown trying to do something for the community and, and spread more goodwill. And that's, that's the main goal. But uh, I'm trying to keep up as much as I can for you guys. I got one more event next week. We got a week off and then Silver State. Um, but we're, we're doing all that we can for the community to, to bring you guys good content. It really show, you know, uh, how awesome this, this sport hobby is. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, again, let me answer any sort of, uh, any sort of questions here. Um, what's going on, Bryson? Oh, thank you, honey. Uh, Megan chiming in. I appreciate you. She's been, uh, I've been talking to Megan all weekend long. And she's amazing. Uh, thanks, David S. Kyle Kelly, I told you, man, five dollar tacos, and you got a deal. I'll pack my bags tonight. Thank you, Kyle. We're may have to make that happen, man. It's some of these ones that are near you. Um, Bryson's streams were awesome. Had fun watching them and had fun being there. Thank you, Benjamin Pierce. Hell yeah, one meal waffle. Thanks, Benjamin. You are, yeah, you're number two. So thank you, Benjamin. I'll be in touch with you over the next couple days. Um, thank you, Marie. Uh, I wish to see the races uh, in real time right on. Kyle Killian and Matt running a 21.5 stadium truck and 13.5 stadium truck class in Iowa. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try and get that. I gotta talk to Sammy Moran about that. He got because that's what it is too. Is is these guys just hand me rigs and I'm like, all right, well, let's uh, let's get it going. Let's let's do this. So um, it's an awesome weekend, guys. Um, just uh, thank you so much um, for tuning in. Um, kind of the standout ones is is some of those ones we were talking about with um, you know JJ. Uh, he the kid's got speed, so hopefully somebody picks him up. Uh, Mod will help him out once he gets some cars uh, in this century um, for it, but a lot of skill out of JJ there. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking the content with um, with that kind of stuff, the, the driver driver shots with how they're all set up and the inside shot of their car. I don't know if you guys saw that. Check Mod Live Media. Um, maybe I'll post it up here. Let me, let me kind of show you guys what, what we've been covering. Thank you, buddy. Good job out there, my man. Have a good one. Drive safe. Let's see if I can show you guys uh, kind of what we've been doing. If you haven't followed uh, Mod Live Media yet on Facebook, um, that's going to be a good source for you guys to kind of check out. Give me a second here. All right, let me see if I can pop this up for you guys. Yeah, so look at that. Look at that. Look at that mug right there. Um, so this is, if you go to Mod Live Media and follow that, guys, on Facebook, we have a couple posts here, and there's us. It's like Inception. Um, so you guys can see that we had some detailed shots here of Ethan Hoskins' uh, car. Looking at that, getting some detailed shots. I shot all those. Uh, Brock Champlin's car had one there of uh, JJ. And look at look at JJ's car right here. Look at this thing. He got an A main win with that thing. That's awesome. So JJ nugged her, you know, talent um, out there, and we had a flag guy. That was pretty cool. Brock, or Champlin versus Bacone there. Special Ed. Look at these little dudes here. That's funny. I don't care who you guys are. It's funny. Little special little dudes. For Special Ed. So hopefully you guys are liking this kind of content. You know about it. So we shot some things and doing these kind of special little layouts. It's take forever. But I did all that. You know, for all the TQs. So check those out, guys. We kind of did that for every day. 
This was Nugter's uh, truck. Look at this thing. I love it. That's a T5M. This thing's operating on hopes and dreams. Look at that. I need to get this kid a sponsor. So he TQ'd and won with that thing. It's awesome. There's Prox truck. Yeah, so hopefully you guys like that kind of content. Um, we're going to try and do more of it. When our photographer's here, he does a really good job, Jason, with everything. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, lot of work. I, I have more appreciation for him now because I cannot do everything from announce to um, make sure everything's running good. We, I, we got the zip line up, but we never got the zip line camera up. Um, we even have the PTZ with us here. We just had no time. Um, and the days were so long that uh, it caught me off guard because I didn't think that we were starting at 9 a.m. On, uh, on Friday. So that, that really caught me off. And we were here for, you know, 12 hours on Friday. And same thing for Saturday. And then pretty much same thing today. So it's, uh, it's been a long one here at the April Fool's Classic. Um, worth it, though. A lot of fun. Um, people coming up and just saying thank you for the coverage. And... You know, we appreciate it. So it's uh, it's a good time. So <clears throat> let me see here. Um, Jason Kescher, thanks for the coverage. As always, I spent more time watching Mod than any other programs this weekend. Thank you, Jason. Uh, Brady Anderson, thanks, Matt. Love the live coverage. You guys are awesome. Thanks, man. Cone Counter was awesome. Thank you, Henry. That was uh, Kyle Killey's idea. He's like, we need a cone counter. And I'm like, Psh. you know what? I could do that. I know I, I, I can make a cone counter happen. So I found, I found one. Then I had it where he can control it from his house or from his phone. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, Sammy goes, hi, Matt. I know, I summoned him. Was, Give me a truck ready, Sammy. I actually have a truck, Sammy. I have two trucks. I have two new trucks. They just don't have electronics or tires or anything to make them run. So, Sammy, come. I'll just give you money and fix up my stuff. I need to get an electronics sponsor. I'll go find some of my old goodies. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Megan, feed this man a good meal for me, please. This guy is an absolute monster and needs rest. Oh, thank you. Kyle Killy. Megan's gonna be like, nah, she wants to be pampered. I know how I know how my girl is. We're gonna have our Chili's date. We love our Chili's dates. And <laughs> Sammy goes, I got you, send them my way. So I'm just gonna send out the fine electronics for me, Sammy. Find everything for me. I'm just shh. I can't, I don't have the time. Too much. All right, so what's next, everybody? What's next? Um, we have the Wally's race next week uh, at the Dirt. We we'll have a pretty good little crew out there. Uh, luckily, it's gonna be home base, so I'm gonna be near home, hang out with Megan out there. She lives like 15 minutes away from there, uh, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna be dialed in. It's gonna be some good racing, some good eight scale racing. So be sure to tune in. Uh, new layout that's like uh, very supercross style, style with points and how they're doing it. Um, so we'll have more coverage for you guys. Then we get a week off and we got some fifth scale Silver State. And then we have a lot of May off, which is okay. Which is okay. I know you guys wanna see me every week, you know, for a couple days, but. Uh, I need a little bit of rest. Megan's gonna get rid of me if not, so we gotta gotta take some time off. But um, your guys' support is bar none, the best ever. Thank you um, for an amazing time. Thank you to uh, Eaton's um, Joel Eaton. We've been trying to hook up uh, and get us down here for at least two to three years now since I was at 702 and I was talking to him about kind of what we were doing. And, um, and he's like, dude, we need to get you out. And it, and it didn't work out. And then it eventually it was like, you know, let's do it. Let's do it. And then we got the time. There was a free weekend, and it worked out. And glad we were here to cover this awesome event. 
you guys need to be at the 36th annual April Fool's Classic. The, the amount of run time that you guys get at this race is crazy. From the AAA mains to, you know, Friday and Saturday qualifying for four qualifiers and all-day practice Thursday. So if you can take the time to do it, and you basically you're going to have to take an extra day off. Um, but the competition out here is fierce. Uh, they got classes for everybody. Um, I wasn't a super fan of the track layout at first. I'm like, man, this thing is nuts. But after it made such close racing and people were kind of messing up, I think a lot of times tracks are so easy and, and one line um, that you can't battle. But this one, man, it, it invited, you know, for people to be really consistent. Um, so I became a fan of it, really not in qualifying, but on race day today um, is when I became a fan of this layout when, when I saw the racing on it. And I was like, man, this thing's bitching. Um, so yeah, that's so good. Uh, West Car, Matt, thank you for everything. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you for your support, by the way. See you next weekend, right on. So yeah, I'm gonna have to send Sammy my cars. He's gonna have to get them ready for Iowa. I just need to do it, just here, Sammy. Sammy's got the time. He don't have a girlfriend. He just has a job. He could do it. I love you, Sammy. Sammy's the reason why I ran truck all last year. Ended up with an INS win, or an NCTS win. That was cool. So now I need to get back on it. I love driving. It's super fun, um, as you guys do, uh, I'm sure. So thank you again to Cliff. Awesome trophies out here, by the way. Uh, he's right here. So thank you to Cliff over there. You can say hi. And there's Cliff right there. So thank you to Cliff for all his support. Um, you good, buddy? You out of here? Oh, oh yeah. I'm, a, I'm just... Perfect. I got, a, I got a road soda, guys. Got the road sodas. So thank you to Cliff. Give me some road sodas. I got to clean up all the gear. Super cool trophies out here. Look at these things. Very sweet. It's going to scare me at night, but that's okay. I got these when they were out of metal, too, back in the day. To put them with that. Back when I was of the quickness, guys. Back when I was fast, I won trophies a day or two. All righty. Right, All right, we're done. We're out. It's been an awesome weekend. Thank you to the Eatons. Uh, thank you to all of our sponsors. ProLine, TLR, Team Associated, Reedy, ProTech, Hobby Wing, Savix, Racer's Edge, Shell, Focus Lids, ModLine Media, EFX Mobile, LMR, uh, Eatons IRCR, EatonsRC.com, Mod, um, and any else, buddy else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Uh, thank you to Joel Eaton and family for the hospitality. They built us an entire perch, by the way. It's pretty sick. Um, so be here for us uh, another time if we're ever able to make it back out here again. If they want us back, we will see. Uh, hopefully we did, did them justice for their awesome facility that they have here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you guys can, stop by here, guys. Um, facility's awesome. The ones that are running it are family, and, um, you know, they, they got their heart in the right place. And uh, it is a family-run business. Mom, dad, um, kids, wife, everybody's here, all hands on deck to make this place go round. So, um, and it shows. Uh, attention to detail out here. Um, beautiful facility out here for Eaton's IRCR. And uh, hopefully we did this race justice, and we will see them again here in the future so uh, blessings to all you out there you guys have a safe trip home glad you guys like the coverage once again and uh, now I gotta dust off everything that I own um, here because I have a nice thin layer on everything so it's, it has to be fixed and wiped down and fixed we fly out tomorrow be home just in time for some dinner so we will see you guys soon next week for that uh, Wally race, uh, the Nitro Supercross uh, race that they're, RC Supercross that they're having at the Dirt Raceway. Uh, we'll probably be going live, I think, Saturday. Um, I don't think it's going on Sunday. We'll probably be setting up. So Saturday, Sunday. Tune on in on Mod Media on YouTubes. We will see you guys soon. Have a blessed night, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time to go get something to eat. Brady Anderson. No, we are not. 
Um, I do believe either Elite is or Live RC is covering the Nationals. We are covering another event next week. And I am good with that. I am tired. No more, no more plane flights right now. All righty, guys. Have a good one. Thank you to all of our supporters, guys. You guys are the real MVPs, all of our viewers, subscribers, and guys that support us all the time. And uh, we'll be back with some more awesome coverage for you here in the future on this channel. Love you guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.